welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 21. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs and Jeff. Here we go again. Here we go again. We are now in ECW in Ruins. School. Yeah, ECW <laughs> Ruins. This might be my favorite. Yeah. Well, don't ruin the fun for us. <laughs> well, you'll probably ruin the fun for yourself. Pretty good. Yeah, Jeff's beating this level. Oh, yeah, all, all, the, all the time. All the time. I'm, I'm like five hours ahead of you. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, well, Jeff's been in every dungeon so far, if you know what I mean. Whoa. Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're on thin ice here as we are in this hard dungeon. It's, uh, it can't be, it can't be kind of hard. Probably not the hardest dungeon in Zelda history. I still think the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time is, but, whoa, what, what the heck? Um, man, this game's Ooh. weird. I have sickness. Wah! So no, come closer. That. Come closer. Uh, uh, how about uh? No. He just rolls over to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just roll over to you. Give me just a second here. Oh, this is uh. Impress the lady. This is the snow beast's wife. This music. Since I get mirror, I get sick. This music. Hold on a second. It sounds like the Goron Mines. <laughs> Atmospheric. No, well, never mind. The fever makes head blurry, but it probably here in the room marked by this symbol. <laughs> it's ironic we're doing this dungeon today because, as you know, I live in Maine, and we are in the process of getting pelted by the biggest snowstorm of the year. Oh, wow. I was just telling him, and I'm sure it's better down where you live, Ronnie. It's about 65 degrees here today. It's beautiful. I'm oh, yeah. sure it's better, of course, in Texas. Yeah, it's beautiful over here, and it's 74 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry for you people living in Maine. I don't know how you do it. Yeah. You got to maintain. That's how we That's how we dress right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As we meet Star Soldier again. I have to dress like that when I go to Minnesota. Yeah, I, I, I make soup for her. <laughs> to Minnesota. Minnesota. You betcha. Okay, what mm -hmm. the heck is he making? He, he He's making soup out of the bones of other links that have come through here. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll oh. drink your, your soup. Wait a minute. What's that noise? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Wait a second. No. Dang it. There you are again, Jeff. Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny, Great funny. Last. Gracious, you're that nice fellow who helped me out the other day. Nice to see you again. Sorry I fell asleep. You now I with Jeff. why I said. Now I remember why in the last video, Ronnie, I said I don't. I don't even know if that if that little guy's in this one because for the longest time I didn't find him here. Oh, uh, well, there he was. Well, I, I knew he was in here because you could hear him. Ronnie, Ronnie likes to likes to make fun of me. Well, I can do a Ronnie. Yeehaw! We're gonna let's play. Woo! <laughs> yeah, because I definitely talk like that. <laughs> I'm gonna use my cheats. Woohoo! Yeehaw! No, just Shut say CW boy. every five seconds. That's oh yeah, what... that's all I have to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't even. Said trying... yeehaw. Oh yeah, I... Ryan's from Texas. Let's stereotype him as a country guy. Well, I hey, you know what? How many times in the past have you told me? Oh, do you live near Chicago? Well, that, that's totally you don't different. say it anymore. Oh yeah, because it's totally different. Because you know, I don't. I live at the opposite end of the state. Yeah, but yeah. how how often do you hear me say yeehaw? I don't, but... I use Yahoo. It could be worse, Ronnie. It could be worse. He could be asking you if you were in the Branch Davidians. Oh. Right, yeah. See, you, you could have done that. We are live here at the Branch Davidian compound. <laughs> I wouldn't have went that far. But, t so do you worship the ashes of David Koresh or something, then? <laughs> no, people, people back then used to ask me that, like, oh, man, like when I moved to Georgia and I was a new kid uh -huh. in Georgia, are oh, you from Waco, Texas? Oh, were you in the compound with David Koresh? <laughs> I should have said, yes, I was. It was freaking awesome. Now we're going to start a cult here in Georgia. <laughs> I'm on my way to Washington to kill Janet Reno. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow. Oh, oh, God. Oh, goodness. We might have not have known the Ronnie today if he said that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, what the heck? Don't, no, no. Is this Shoutgate 64? Oh, well, it looks like you need oh, a heart, heart shake lock. Yeah, you you better go to Resident Evil 2 and get the heart key. 
Welcome to Let's Play Shawshank Redemption for the GameCube. <laughs> Fresh fish. <laughs> yeah, and then you're in Maine, and Tibbs it lives in Maine. He's one of the prisoners there. Lodge. Tibbs, are you there? Yep. I'm there. Whoa, what the? What is. Okay, let's play Snow Dogs again for the GameCube. <laughs> I'm there, but my butt hurts a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, more Snow Dogs. Wow, oh, you got dig this up right here in order to get it. Da, 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 a small key. Hey. Dogs can't open doors. <laughs> Some can, depending on the door. Uh, my, cat, my, cat, my cat can open doors. Yo, cat is a spawn of Satan. But, but that's because you have an open door policy. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't like dislike cats, but I can never own a cat. They just look evil. They'd murder me in my sleep. Cat fight! Cat fight! <laughs> uh -oh. Whoa, these uh, snowball demons here, whatever these are. I kind of feel like I'm in the, what was it, the fifth dungeon in Link to the Past? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah the fifth. We ice. I see little snowflakes around. Freaking crying, being offended about everything. I, I like it how he's so polite and opens and closes the doors, just like whatever. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just kick him in. Yeah. Like, like someone actually lives there. <laughs> Alright, there's a treasure chest. That's not I what I'm looking for. I just hope all these for. creatures aren't their pets. Oh, oh no. what? Whoa, what the? What? Uh, yep, nope. Time to go home. <laughs> right, here you go. They look like, what's this, Ice Ridley's without wings? This guy's pretty cold. He's cold as ice. Man. They're willing to sacrifice you. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, not my love. Also, how did killing those two guys make the doors open? I don't get it. Because that's how the <laughs> castle's triggered. <laughs> that makes no sense. It was right. tied to their life force. <laughs> yeah, time to use the armor of ECW. You know, you figured you'd wear that all the time. It's nice armor. <laughs> oh, what? boy. A pumpkin. Da, 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 Wait a minute. <laughs> she got the wrong you, location. You, you're telling me I got stabbed by some icicle to come in here and get a pumpkin. <laughs> Jeez, really? <laughs> Man. Yeah, I think the longer you wear this, it counts down your rupees, right? Yeah, it yeah, looked like it was... Funny. Yeah. Or maybe it's just... Actually, I think it's just when you move. Huh. Thank you, because Mike, I know if you're mind. if you're if you're out of rupees, you can't move. Oh, that oh, well. sucks. And also, so like I never it, use it. Thing. So it, and when you get hit, it doesn't uh, take any energy away from your hearts. Mm, it's really that's weird. right. I mean, it's kind of a nice little thing, I guess, but I never really bothered using it. What flavor? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Star Soldier here. I smell yes, pumpkin. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You oh, have over. Hey! Jeez. Jesus. <laughs> you have to push me. You down. What the? Pumpkin, Don't push me. Pumpkin. I'm Rambo. Don't push it. Thanks. Uh, You can taste it if you want. Uh, uh Maybe uh. later. <laughs> yeah, no, ass. thank you. Dang. I don't want somebody who puts pumpkin in a soup. Yeah. Step on his tail or his long ass or whatever that is behind him. Oh, yeah. Hey, you stupid idiot! Oh no! Go. Idiot! Talk to her. Rolling around. He's like shy. Uh, no, I didn't find it. Uh, because you told me the wrong location. You stupid idiot. You know what happens you know, to like people that give me? Her. You know what happens to people that give me the wrong location of an item? <laughs> you just made the list. It just made the list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you play as Chris Jericho here, he's trying to hopefully figure out the right location for the item we need. This is definitely not Skip Rogers, because if it was, he would have marked the item at the right location. Yeah. This is this is Skip Rogers. We'd just be at the end of the game. He's like, see, I beat it. Yeah, I was gonna say, go. yeah. he, he, he'd be on, like, Skyward Sword by now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ow. So this is Shawshank Redemption where you play as Andy Dufresne. 
Come on, get in the window. There you go. What's that noise? Dun dun da da. What? Something going on. What the? What got a cannon over here? It, it was uh, strategically located. What's well, this game is non cannon. Cannon, you figure it out. <laughs> Ooh. Cannonball can run. <laughs> oh, come on, shot that thing. Ah, fail. There's a cannonball. Why don't you just use the bombs you have? <laughs> I was about to say, where's Miley Cyrus, but that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still think you're gonna have a cannonball run. I think you can use bombs in the cannon, right, Tibbs? E bombs, yes. I oh, would I'm presume. Stupid. I'm trying to throw the ball through the ice. You can't do that. Matter of fact, you have to. Yeah. You should know, Ronnie, you're playing the game. That right? Oh, yeah. To play the Man, game. Man, oh, come on. Play the off. game. Jeez. Don't freeze up on me. To beat the game, you, you got to beat the dead. game. <laughs> exactly. To play the game. Or as he would say it, as he would say it, to beat to, to be the gamer, you gotta beat the gamer. <laughs> yeah. It looks too big. <laughs> uh, here big is in the eye of the beholder. Whoa. <laughs> Link knows that. Oh, oh, nice. oh, snap. Key. Oh, no. Bo wait, bombs? Really? And more bombs. Jeez, I wonder what they expect me to do. Right. Hoo, 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 hoo. So many hints in Zelda games. Ah, take a hint. <laughs> Heroes clothes. Well, it just looks like shitty silk to me. <laughs> because you don't Made know what true beauty is. Uh, okay, I guess I don't. It's like silk stockings, jeez. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. Do, 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 do. Oh, nice. <laughs> Well, you know when you make that noise, you win something. You ever walk out of the house and you wish you had one of those at your disposal? <laughs> no. Oh, let me equip the arrows I hate this and... One. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It took me a while to figure out... Uh, well, no, not in this room. The uh, It's a room that looks like this one on the upper floor with the, chandelier, the, the chandeliers, I think. Oh. My, don't fall down. There. Hey, your coins aren't falling anymore. Ah, uh, oh, I, that's right. The white frosty uh, bar right there makes you slip. They're called rupees. <laughs> uh, what, whatever. Hey, they're called rupees. Don't. Get it right, you idiot. Uh, oh, oh, okay, Mr. Nitpick. This isn't Mario Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> All Nintendo's Nintendo. It's... Rupees. It, no, it's, it's all um, coins. It, 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 it's twenty rupees. Get it right, not eight rupee. It, it's all it's all coins, and you guys are playing Mario to me. It's all Mario. I'm like I'm like your mother. It's like you guys playing Mario on that Nintendo device. Yeah. <laughs> da da da. Uh, the really? compass. The fucking compass, like the most useless thing in the Zelda game ever. Here in this uh snow dungeon. It's not a dungeon. I can't. It's a ruin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, running one of these days. Seriously, I'll I mean, give I, you I, a I can't, It's I, not I the hook shot, it's the claw shot. I know, right? I can't stand those people. I had, on the uh, S2K forums, like in 2008, I posted my Let's Play of Metroid, and in my commentary, I said, These rippers or zippers or whatever they are that fly in the air. And someone, I, I didn't get the names right or something, but someone said, You know, those flying things are called zippers. And these over here are called Rippers. Man, if you're going to know the name, you're going to commentate on the names of these small characters to get them right. I'm like, <laughs> dude, really? Yeah. If that bothers him, he should watch your Captain Skyhawk video. Right, oh, yeah. boy. Oh, yeah. The one that's taken down, they have no chance of seeing it anymore. <laughs> of course, oh. not, well, not the one that's currently up, but there was one in 2008 where, I don't know if Jeff heard the story, but Mo 2007 Captain Hawk, Skyhawk review. Um, I, I bashed the game, just like uh -huh. I did the one that's currently up now, but um, I took the old one down because <laughs> the quality was too poor. 
Oh, okay. But the comment I, put, uh, I, I received was, this game is awesome. You just hate it because you suck at it. And I beat this game when I was four years old, which is BS. And I didn't need no faggy cheat codes to beat it. So while you're playing <laughs> games that are 20 years old, I'll be having sex with a girl later. Oh, my God. The, the YouTube comments are just astonishing. Internet tough guy. Yeah, internet tough guy. I love those people that they, they make one long troll comment like that, and then they don't even wait for you to respond. They're just like, later, bitch. <laughs> yeah, and then they probably block you after that. Oh, I got the last word. That means I won. That means I always like win. Like that meme that's going that meme that's going around about that girl that was on Dr. Phil. Like, How about that? Yeah. How about that? She came back. Yeah, I know. On the show. Supposedly she's making progress, but I don't know. Dr. Phil's not a real doctor, though, so she can't really make any progress. Hey, let me tell thanks you something. Thanks to the internet, you know, thanks to the internet, you can be famous now for the stupidest shit. God, God, God bless America. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah we need all the help we can get. I am a real doctor, dadgummit. I may not be yeah. your precious little doctor house or doctor Wiley, but I'm still a doctor. Uh, honestly, Dr. Wiley has more credentials, and so does Dr. House and Dr. Phil does. <laughs> At first, I thought you were trying to do Hank Hill. <laughs> yeah, he does sound kind of like Hank Hill a little bit. Bobby? I want Bobby? you to say Dr. Fail. Ladybug, no! Dr. Fa Dr. Dr. Fail? <laughs> and then Dale's off in the corner. You uh -huh. are aware that Dr. Phil works for the government, right? <laughs> right. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? <laughs> and then and then Bill's like, well, I wish I could be on TV. And then Boomhauer's like, and I don't feel like I watch that damn Mario and Jerry Springer and all that damn stuff there. Them dang old, dang old, them dang old well, yeah, Zelda that's, uh, Link. That's Catch Me Outside Girl's Dad right there. <laughs> well, it, 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 either Boomhauer or Farmer Fred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's about that time. Oh, no. It's on. Wait. You're dead, Link. Link, behind you. Link. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, no. Can I just go home? <laughs> no, no, no Ooh, question. He's got a ball. I yeah. wanna, I wanna play with his ball. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna beat this guy. Let's you got your it. balls to the wall, man. Da, da, da. Wait a minute. That's that. That's that night from Link to the Past. It is. You're right. It's just in yeah. tall form. Did you say tall form? Uh, yeah, 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 no. <laughs> they could have been tall and late to the past. You don't know. You don't even know. You don't even know. You don't know me. You I don't know, they... know you. That, that's my purse. You don't know me. Let me see you beat this game. How about that? <laughs> How about imagine that? her? <laughs> imagine her being in a let's play. Oh God, that'd be oh, awful. No. We have a spe Welcome to the S2K show where we interview. Uh, Whatever her name is. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, you cut my back. My back. I beat this game the first week. How about that? Yep. <laughs> I mean, as far as I ain't your Chico's, how about that? Well, you need to go. I can't, I can't do Dr. Phil at all. It's so <laughs> dull and boring. I just can't even do it. <gasps> oh, An idea. None is done by four, okay? <laughs> okay. Not everyone okay. is as good at games as you, so you need to let other people do their thing. Right here. I How got... does this make you fail? No, right here, no, I got you the, need. I got the ball and chain. I'm going to proceed here to the next level. No, you need to learn how to play Legend of Zelda better. It'll it'll help you in the end. Okay. It, not everybody quick. can be good. Not everybody can get good at Legend of Zelda, but everybody can be a legend in life. Where, where's uh, where, where's where's Oprah at? I need my paycheck. <laughs> you get she, a free Zelda uh, she's game. She's inside one of those statues. Yeah. You oh, get a oh, Zelda. Wait, not big enough. Yeah. No, you get Breath of the Wild. You get Breath of the Wild. Everybody gets Breath of the Wild. You're getting Breath of the Wild. Now what the um, heck is this? No, you get goat cheese geez. instead. What the? Man. Well, now, now, now you have some cheese. You can eat the cheese. I mean, that sounds delicious. That Link woman like, don't know I what she's doing. I'm here. I'm, I, 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 I can't even talk right now. <laughs> that woman don't know Link's what she's like, talking about. I got about. what I came here for. <laughs> she don't know. This is the second time she gave us the wrong location. What's wrong with her? Well, she's lost her mind. That's for sure. But we got a ball, Ronnie. We got a ball. Dang it. She should be in the kitchen instead. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. 
Ronnie, Ronnie went there. Triggered, Feminazi's triggered, and uh, <laughs> Blue Blue Rose is gonna come after me again, again, Ronnie, with women in the kitchen. And and all those SJW hipster feminists with their multiple colored hairs, oh, just, they're just gonna be so yeah. mad at you. Well, I got people protesting. They're wearing vaginas my window. on their heads. Yep. Jeez. Oh, that is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, good for you for protesting and standing up for what you believe in, but that is ridiculous looking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I got. Protesters outside my door right now. I should have kept my mouth shut. Oh, um, yeah. it's okay. Uh, Gamergate, and there now, and everyone will hate me because I even said the word. As Jeff sounds very enthusiastic in this part. Oh, I'm, I'm so enthusiastic. Sorry, it's just the end of the week for me. Oh yeah. I'm it's okay. A, a I'm Sunday, just... a time to unwind. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still working, but less work. I've cut back on my work, which is good. I I can afford to a little bit, but I just need to take a break. Yeah. Pushing myself too hard. Like, Link pushes himself too hard on every quest. Yeah, that's good. good. I gotta ask you two something. Now, regards to this ball and chain, this is one of those <laughs> weapons that seems that's to that, be... Some people that, love it, some people hate it. What do you think? I love it. Well, it's my fiancé, actually, so I kind of have to... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ah, it's okay. Aaron would have a laugh over this video gets thumbs down, it's from her. Oh, probably Aaron. Aaron's not happy. No, she'd laugh too. She'd laugh at me. It'd be fine. Oh, Jamie, I say, oh, you're whipped. Uh, I am a little bit, but I'm okay <laughs> with that. You got Jamie, no, 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 Jamie and Doctor Phil. There's so, a good story behind that one. Yeah, you got mm -hmm. Jamie and Doctor Phil. So, what do you mean by whipped? Well, Michael wants to spend time with his fiance rather than commentate with us, so he's whipped. But how does that define? How does how is someone whipped if they want to spend more time? With their fiance, because you gotta commentate over video games first. <laughs> Priorities, man. Well, you Priorities. can't you can't blame him for wanting to spend time with his beautiful lady instead of sitting with a or talking to a bunch of guys who can't even get good. So f you. Wait, are, 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 <laughs> yeah. Is your is your fiance right beside you as well? Because that may not be. <laughs> that, that's why that's why you're talking like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she is sitting next to me. <laughs> I know exactly. That's why you gotta behave. She's gonna Can't do that. Can she hear look. us or just you? Hello. I think he's telling her what's going on. What? Wait, hello. I'm here. Oh, I said oh, we're here. Hear, can she hear us or just you? Just me, because she's doing her own thing right now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Until Star Soldier comes along and says a feminist comment. Oh yeah. 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 Right. You know, this looks like the Resident Evil box puzzle. You gotta put the three boxes together. It's not really a puzzle, but it just... Yeah, this is uh, very you. tedious here. Ah, uh, you got it, Ronnie. Uh, any any little kid or grown Ron Mower can do this. It's okay. Grown Ron Mower. Grown, grown, <laughs> grown <laughs> Ron Mower. I just, did a, I just did a quick cut because I got tired of that. <laughs> just, fuck that, I'm editing it. Edit! So we what know would what an immature doing? lawnmower be? Instead of riding the lawnmower at the beginning of your videos, you're pushing one of those little ones with the balls in it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I remember those, yeah. That's Need how it all got punch. started. I, I used that when I was little, and no, I was kidding. What good smell, what you have, uh... Stop, seriously. Jeez, I'm... Stop pushing me. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my doctor Did... bill. Cause you, Dude, I safe have space. <laughs> yeah, doctor, your doctor bill to Dr. Phil. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I talked I talked to my chiropractor. He says you've been damaging my back. We need to talk right. about this. Before we talk to her again. Listen, woman, you better give me the right directions this time. No wonder why women can't drive. Ooh, oh, snap, crack, oh, land, oh, pop. Boy. Now, what, what, I bet Nikki just looked at you. No, she has headphones on watching something on oh. YouTube, so. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, well, oh, she, she, she she's, she's still hear me. She's pretending like she's not hearing you, but... <laughs> Oh, more more rubies. Yay. <laughs> and he got another ruby. I don't think I knew this about this part until now, because uh, back then when I first beat this game in like 2008, 2007, I never went over here to smash these knights over here. Oh, okay. Well, it makes sense now that you have that. Oh, I get it. There we go. Another Poe. Ouch. Oh. Damn. Poe, where's Finn? <laughs> yeah. Sick him, boy! Sick him! Get him! Link nice. is so badass, he rips the spirit right out of him. I'll Ghost. eat right. your soul! Yeah. This is Shane the Soon's dog. <laughs> your soul <laughs> is mine! Oh boy, a yellow ruby. And that's a bad miss. 
And let's get go back over here. Ooh. Alright, now listen here, woman. She's like she's like, oh no, oh no. I think I remember. And then, so no forgetting it. Uh uh no how I forget. But how'd you forget it? Right. I am an idiot. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, because you were very accurate the first two times. <laughs> yeah. Three strikes and you're out. Yeah, hopefully the third time's a charm. Whoa, what One. is... Mm -hmm. Big snow beast there. By tour in the snow look dog. At, look at it this way. If she had told you this right off the bat, then you'd have no way to get through. Yeah, well, no, she would have said, yeah, there's a magical ice demon. Just maybe start a fire if you bring a torch with you, you know, just kind of... Yeah. Just carry a torch. Wait, just look at that. Thing. What is that? Uh, uh, is that an ice crocomire from Super Metroid? Link Not doesn't really. get any, so he always carries a torch. Yeah. Oh. Well, this ain't Shadow Gate. No Shadow Gate. Shadow Gate 64. Uh, That's what it is. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. We got just recently did a live stream of Shadow Gate for the NES. Shameless plug. Shameless plug for Wii Guy. Like he needs it. And when I saw <laughs> that. I thought of you, Ronnie. Well, yeah, because I'm the one that requested it. Ah. Because remember the ten dollar donation before I got screwed over by Streamlabs? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so that that's what he's it. doing. Yeah. So we don't got get him on started the... on that. Uh, I know. I've heard it. <laughs> so so he does his through Streamlabs? I didn't know they were that's that where, big. He gets his yeah. I guess that's where he gets donations uh, from. Oh wow. When people donate. And, yeah. <laughs> oh idiot! <laughs> Gosh, idiot. It's part of the house demo. under construction. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to get it repaired, we promise. Yeah, get this fixed up. It's a nice mansion. It reminds me of Villa from Castlevania 64. Uh, did Wait, you played Castlevania 64? Wow. Heck yeah, both of them. You are a brave soul. Yeah. Oh, brave souls. This oh. game is poopy. Yeah. Monster, you don't belong in this world. Yeah. Oh, Who's a what? Sim you! That was Sympathy in the Night. Wrong. Or Symphony. I keep saying Sympathy. Sympathy in the Night. It's a Sympathy. <laughs> what is a man? A miserable <laughs> pile of ECW. Oh. I think oh, the guy who who did Richard Belmont in the beginning of that also was uh, the voice of Chris Redfield in Resident Evil. Sounds almost the uh, same. At least in the first one. Uh, his name is Richter. Uh, yes. You almost became a Richter sandwich. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> This right here took a while because I now know, did not know how to get across, and then we'll find out here in a minute what I'm talking about. You use your man do you have flying boots? They do make those right, right here. I'm like, how do I get over there? Well, here you go. Uh, that's creative, Nintendo. I think I accidentally figured it out because I was staring at that area. How do I get over there? And I think I noticed either chandelier move or I don't know how <laughs> I figured it. All that for a small key. It's so great. Well, you needed to progress. You needed to progress, but I digress. <laughs> digress and then progress and whoa. I digress. I mean, digress. <laughs> I wonder where Link puts that thing. <laughs> right? Well, he puts it up somewhere special. We'll just say that. Yeah. Uh oh, one the ice. The, say, the old ball and chain. No, one the ice enemies again. Ice stick figures. You know, this seems really dangerous to have bomb arrows. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, have, cool. to call, I'm gonna have to call Osha on Link. He's using some pretty dangerous stuff here. Who? Uh, Osha. Osha. Oh, I, Osha. Th I thought it was Osha. Osha Link. Oh, oh Shia LaBeouf? What? <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Well, you pay uh, money to see him in a room by himself as. You don't speak? Oh, uh, I just... He's the kid from Even Stevens. That's all he'll ever be to me. The kid from Holes. Oh, yeah, the Holes. That was a good movie. I like and, that. Indiana Jones' son. Oh, no one no one will ever remember that movie in five oh, years. I would. I like that movie. Yeah. 
Wow, Ronnie, I we have to talk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, it's not as great as the originals, of course, but for what it was, ABGN is right. Uh, people like high, had had high expectations of it, and I well, think they look, expected look, too much from it. I I didn't like all the super amounts of CG. Like you can have CG, that's fine, but they just went a little overboard. And the reason for that, I thought it was Steven Spielberg because he was saying it was my idea. It turns out it was just George Lucas and Steven Spielberg was trying to cover for him. Yeah, which is kind of hilarious because I was like, yeah, because that doesn't seem like Steven Spielberg's style. Definitely feels like a George Lucas movie. Yeah. He, I mean, he just I let him try. Good or bad, depending on your point of view. I enjoyed it for yeah. what it was. I didn't expect it to be as great as the originals, so uh, I went in with that mentality, and I thought it was, you know, I thought it was pretty good. Now nothing will beat the Last Crusade, but I'm not like the biggest fan of Raiders though. My favorite is Temple of Doom. Oh, no, I meant Raiders is fine. Actually, sorry, I don't really like Temple of Doom that much. It's okay, but uh, I don't know. The it's, female much better than the, it's, it's much better than NES video games. You know, short Round's amazing. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Short Round, the kid from the Goonies. Okie dokie, hold on to your potatoes, Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, shut up! Slap my back hands him. Uh, I'm, the Last Crusade's my favorite, though. Him and Sean Connery fighting Nazis. It's great. Temple of Doom scared me when I was a kid, seeing that guy's heart ripped out. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Me, man. Yeah, oh, Dal seen from Street Fighters in that movie. Did you know that? Yeah, that's right. He plays like yep. a foreign minister or something for India. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Such a... You know what? I, I miss Rob Julius. Shouldn't be dead. We need to get him back to life. Yeah. Somehow. I don't know. Magic, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he died during the making of Street Fighter. Yep, he did it for his kids, which is really sad. I bet his kids really regret that. Just saying. Wait, why would they regret it? Because that was a terrible movie. Uh, well, I mean, uh, it was a terrible movie, but I still liked it because I'm a Street Fighter fan. and Well, it, it, it was just been a worse. shame it was his last movie, that's all. Oh, okay. well, I mean, it, 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 it wasn't been worse. It, was, it wasn't the worst video game movie ever. No, it could, it's it could have been Mortal Kombat no. Annihilation. Oh, yeah, dear lord. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers was the worst video game movie ever. Yes. I, I still think I still think any one of the Resident Evil movies past the first one you could consider for the worst. I think but, the best video game movie was the first Mortal Kombat movie. I really yeah. Yeah, so far. And they're not making them any better. That's the yeah. thing, you know, you figured at this point we would be able to make video like if you put a good director and a serious budget into it, still hasn't happened. Not making it any better. They're making Eddie better. Where? E Eddie Vedder. Oh. You know. Well, Jeremy spoke. Big old son. I'm a liar. Jeffrey uh -huh. spoke in class today. What a different thing. Now we're all gonna act like Eddie Vedder the rest of the day. How we talk bad about Sega. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. <laughs> Ouch, you know, always, always, always dissing Sega, Mr. Nintendo, Mr. Clean and Squeaky Clean. Hey, Howard Lincoln was a douchebag. We all know that. What does that have to do with Nintendo and Sega? <laughs> well, Howard Lincoln was president of Nintendo. And he Abraham was a douchebag. Well, no, like, like when they went to testify over violent video games, all he did the whole time was talk about how great Nintendo is, how oh, perfect they are. Oh, I thought you are. said Abraham Lincoln. No, I'm talking about Howard Lincoln. I don't know. I heard of Senator Lieberman, but not know Howard Lincoln. Oh, uh, well, Senator Lieberman's a giant douchebag. If anyone listen who knows Senator Lieberman, tell him to shove something up his ass. I don't know. Drop an arcade cabinet on him. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, and, and it's not even like his anti-video game stuff. He's done just a lot of crappy stuff in his life. Not been a good politician. Yeah, but, yeah I'm, I'm not anti-Sega. I'm just pro-Nintendo. Oh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I'm okay with that, yeah. I'm not anti Nintendo. I mean, I've had I'm just a pro Sega. Memories, a lot of great memories of Genesis alone. Well, I had a lot of great memories on a Super Nintendo, especially. I mean, some on a 64, decent amount on GameCube, but always just more with Sega. It seemed like. I didn't realize until I watched ABGN's live stream of Street of Rage 2 that uh, there's a Ghouls and Ghosts for Genesis, apparently. Yes, and it's pretty good. Yep, there is. Wow. Of course there was. Ghouls and Ghosts was like on everything. It was even on the 7800. Atari 7800. Yeah. Yeah. What? Where wow. have you been, man? <laughs> I've only heard of it for Super Nintendo NES. No, yeah, it's on everything. I think there may be even a Neo Geo version. I could be wrong on that. Do they have it on the R Zone? I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, hey, they have it on the R Zone, well, then forget it. 
They have Resident Evil 2 on the R Zone. Why not? I mean, what about Virtual Boy? Come on. <laughs> that actually would have kind of looked cool on a Virtual Boy. All right. Oh, there's another uh, claw shot. Are you ever playing Twilight Princess here? This is Ron Moore along with Tib. Oh, and, and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm surprised you haven't got comments yet saying, You guys are idiots. When I was four years old, I stayed on topic. I talked about other faggy games. And, and you stay on topic. I'm not trying to insult people from this generation, but man, I feel smarter than I thought I was. Just seeing some of the comments from kids today. It's like, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, makes you had, feel, it makes you feel smarter. Tibbs had his first uh, troll not too long ago. Well, oh, yeah. Tibbs, at least your first troll wasn't a 30-something-year-old grown man. That was mine. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know who it was. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that was when, you know, YouTube and people would show their faces. Now they won't even dare. Oh, yeah, because it's easy to be anonymous. Mm-hmm. I, I miss those days. I'll give that guy that. He, he at least showed his face. Who did? Uh, remember, remember that one meth head who was making fun of me? Like when I first started. Oh yeah, yeah. And you did a video he, he response. He apologized. Yeah, he, he apologized. Yeah. And you did a video response, and I told Charlie, he goes, "Oh no." <laughs> yeah, that was that was stupid. But I was being immature. I mean, I was like 19. I was still, you know. I remember that video. Immature. I remember the part where you go, and I could. Uh, he said something about, uh, "And I'm not a guy that you want to piss off." And after you said that sentence, you had a, this funny look on your face, like, "Oh, oh yeah." Did I have to say that? Not really. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I, I had a stupid moment, I know. I was still a little childish. We've all still had in. stupid moments on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Th yeah, thank several of yeah. <laughs> them. Why, that's why you just start a new channel. That way no one knows. <laughs> or at least they may not know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn you, Ronnie, you've kept a record of my evidence of talking. <laughs> <laughs> now someone's going to dig it up. Or oh, either, yeah. Either oh. you delete it, they'll somehow get a hold of it. Oh, yeah. No, I still got... Oh, I did delete that video. Like, a sane person, yeah. Remember Gaming Palooza, whoever it was, that uh, had a, oh. a feud with Charlie? Yes. Oh, man. Minor YouTube feuds. They were the best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Tibbs. You, 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 missed some, you missed some fun times. It would have been fun to have Tim's you along. He's been around for, for a while. He's probably seen... Not probably not the Charlie well, and Game of I, I one, know but. he's been around for long, but I'm saying not part of, you know, this. That's all. He, I wish he would I wish he would have been around with us way back in the well, day. Oh, I agree. I agree. No. But yeah, speaking cool. of missing things, guess what happened? What's that? I think the weather here has started to affect things because YouTube has stopped working for me on every device that I have. But let's keep going. Uh oh. You, you, oh you please tell me please tell me you have like fiber optics so it's all underground and not phone or cable line internet. <laughs> so Tibbs we've cable to wing it here. Oh yeah, we may lose Tibbs if it keeps getting like this. Oh boy. Because he's got he's in the you got cable. I'm in the call. The, right. the call's not it, it even in the worst weather it usually stays and it's only YouTube that won't load up for me. Well, okay. if we lose Tibbs, don't worry, he'll probably survive the ice. If that happens, uh, it stops recording automatically. <laughs> Whoever leaves the call, it stops recording automatically. Yeah, so uh, I'm not leaving the call. No, no, well, unless we the will. weather makes you leave the call. <laughs> yeah. Then then we're going to have most of an LP. It depends no, whether or not Tib stays in the call. Well, I, I tell you what. Um, I don't know how long your winter lasts, but I was surprised when my fiancé was telling me, yeah, I could go as far as May. I'm like, snow in May? <laughs> what is wrong? Oh, you'd be not. surprised. Oh, there was there was snow in Waco, Texas, in April of tw 2007. Well, see, I could see April. April's still a month where anything. Yeah, but happen. that's rare. No, I mean like it was no, wintry it's... snow, like snowy. Everything was white in Waco, Texas. No, I know April. it's 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 super rare. I absolutely understand that, but it can happen. Ooh. That that's, that those videos are still on YouTube, I think. Wow, you guys not, not are for me. Pro not for me, not for me, uh -huh. but from others. Yeah, I'm not making funny of you, but you guys in Texas must be so unprepared for snow. Oh yeah, we still want snowflakes. Shut all the schools down. <laughs> yeah, I love those memes. <laughs> uh, Shut see, all the schools down. We're we're kind of in the middle, so if it snows like more than an inch, then then we panic. If it's under hey, an inch, we're okay. When you were in like elementary, junior, or high school, that was the best news to receive. You look on the TV to see if your county was one of the schools closing down. Like, yes, I get to sleep <laughs> in. <laughs> and it's still really nice outside. <laughs> Yeah. 
Well, I'm having a snow day tomorrow, and I'm still just as excited as I was when I was little. Hey, there Yay. you go. But to me, it don't mean as much no more because, uh, you know, not in school anymore. <laughs> just because mm -hmm. I, I was one of the people that skipped school a lot, and uh, I did not like school. I mean, well, I mean, not many people do, but some people actually like school. I was one of the I, ones that did not. <clears throat> I like school. It was fun. Well, school, am, school, oh, school. I like school. Yeah. I like school. It like was... the Undertaker telling David Flair, all right, now we go to school. Now I'm going to take you to school. Wait, is he going to rape me? I may have not to push trouble. things just a little bit further. Uh, no, he did not rape David Flair, but he did, like, sit down with him in, the, in one of the showers after he beat him up. That's awkward and weird. It was funny. David was like, let me go. And he goes, shut up. He hit him in the face again. Oh, boy. All right, so. All right. Uh, got to go through that door now. I don't know if I was Link. I'd be like, what is that music? What is going on? Every time I do something, I hear that. Am remember I going Mel insane? <laughs> remember, remember Metal Gear Solid? What happened to the music? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love that. I wish I wish other games had that kind of breaking the fourth wall every once in a while. Not all the time, but just every once in a while it's fun. I see him punk. Here's an update. Here's an update on my current situation. As we've been talking here, I've been trying to figure this out. Other videos on YouTube are working just fine for whatever reason. It's just this one. Uh, it's my fault. I didn't, I didn't decode the video right. Ronnie, damn it. Record your videos properly. Right. <laughs> why, See, why don't you... I, uh, the, YouTube's trolling me because it knows that this is the dungeon I really <laughs> love. Oh, man. <laughs> well, at least you go back and watch it after we're done. There you go. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, we're uh, in church and... now. We're in church. <laughs> and... <laughs> Gonna have a bit of a icy mass, huh? And it's too bad because when we got to the boss, I was looking forward to giving a big ah. Yeah. Well, I run. You just you just drop a bomb. Well, I'm suicidal. I'm a suicide bomber. <laughs> you definitely <laughs> are. Okay, Has now. this ever happened, Ronnie, in one of your vids? Um, no, no. What what happened? Just just stop playing altogether. Just still buffering. Is it stuck? Like it, it was slowing down. It was slowing down, and then it kind of like froze, so I got out of it, and then I went, tried the YouTube on my phone while we were talking, it wouldn't load up, then on Nikki's laptop, wouldn't load up, so I was like, okay, I tried other videos, other videos are playing fine, but this one is stuck where I left it, and it gives me an error message. Did you refresh? Yeah. That is weird, I do not know what's going on. You broke it. You broke the internet. Yeah, I guess. Oh! Hey, at least I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, ouch! I just got speared by Goldberg oh, right in the face. Seven, seven <gasps> years, and I'll still never live that down. Uh, who's looking forward to uh, Star Soldier versus Goldberg at Fastlane? <laughs> <laughs> well, this right here could be my interesting story, what's happening now. Oh, there yeah. you go. Like, hey, stay. Keep your video working. Uh -oh, no, wait it a doesn't minute. work as well, though. Finally! <laughs> that is the most ridiculously shaped bedroom key ever. The bedroom key. Wouldn't it be funny if when you post this, it stops for me in the exact same spot? Oh! oh <laughs> the video's cast. <laughs> it's all over. It's all over! Man, this is a long, complicated dungeon. It really is for just because of a stupid lady who couldn't remember where she left her key in. Yeah. Whoa. Wait, what? What? What the? Uh, <laughs> How is she just gonna appear in thin air right in front of us? <laughs> well, you... at least I know where you are now. Mm, yeah. My husband's soup, which contains some bones, some contains, cheese, uh, a pumpkin. It, it gives me the ability to just materialize right in front of you. Yeah, that's. Uh, you materialize. You just poof, popped up right there. I am. <laughs> Nikita, I am... Nikita is determined to figure this out. <laughs> okay. Okay, now, she's supposed to take us to the master bedroom here, but she's freaking slow. We Ooh, just la made la. it over here without her. <laughs> yeah. And she'll teleport there with you. Right, yeah. Oh, she got there fast. Hold on, I'm going as fast Just roll, as Just I... roll her up the hill. Yeah, yeah that would or be she the like, easiest. Or she stumbled backwards and rolled backwards all the way down to the beginning again. <laughs> <laughs> Link's looking at her like, hurry up! 
Also, why does your bedroom lead from the outside? I don't understand this. Ah, uh, so pretty. Yeah. I know this game extremely well, so I don't have to see. So pretty. Pretty. Funny. I feel funny. I feel so weird. What's his anger what management? What the hell? Anger management? What the? I feel pretty. Oh, so uh... pretty. Pretty and witty and get. Ah! Whoa! Oh. Ah! Okay, kill it with Jeez. fire. Blazetta. Kill what is going her on here? Fire, please kill her with fire. Wait, is she the boss the whole time? That's fucked up. Oh, so what are you gonna do when you murder her and tell your husband or her husband you're walking out? It's yeah. like he's oh, really yeah. gonna shove you then. She, she's right? just she's just she's taking a nap. Hard. She's taking a nap in her bedroom. It's okay. Jeez. What's the French toast? Whoa, pull out ice mask, Blazetta. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Um, okay, so you see the boss told Thomas probably is under the influence of the of the shard. Ah, oh. they got bigger. And because it reminds me of uh, the little girl that you took into the light and a link to the past, blind, and yep. he had to fight it. Yeah. Blind the thief. Yeah, except that was a real boss. This is just she's under the influence of this mirror. You know, <laughs> the Twilight Shard mirror is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Child Murphy. I like this mood music. Oh. Super Metroid music now. Dun dun. Okay, she's possessed. Dun dun da 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 da. It's really getting cold in here. Could you turn up the heat? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, what the? Says the guy what? who's living in 60 degree weather right now. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a little chilly in this room. I mean, look at that. That's cold. It's almost it like a Castlevania ice boss or something. A little bit. They probably ripped off Konami. Why not? Oh, God. Oh. Ouch. Oh, yeah, baby. You're on thin ice here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this yuck, game yuck, is yuck. better than Mega Man 5. Oh. <laughs> Which I do agree with, by the way. Uh, it's better than Mega Man 5. <laughs> mm -hmm. Including Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Aww, I remember that's... when I mentioned Mega Man 5 to him when we recorded last with him. He seemed just so uninterested. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the best oh. Mega Man ever. Oh, uh, what now? Well, I want it is if you die. like Plant Man. <laughs> oh, wait, Plant Man was number six. <laughs> my, my bad. Oh, yeah. Oh. Jeez. Is, is there like Fork Man where he has forks for arms? They're gonna run out of characters yeah. eventually. Oh, like, I think they have. Eventually, you're gonna get like Sex Toy Man or something, and it's like, what? Jeez. <laughs> no, that's something really weird. What about Superman? <laughs> well, then they'd be sued by Copyright. DC. And hey, DC could actually make some money finally. Oh. Garbage Man. Gar there you go. Well, that, that, that. This is total garbage. <laughs> Well, well, that oh. that's my stepdad. He's already garbage man. <laughs> he is a garbage man. Iron Man. Oh wait. It's kind of a rip off, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, finally. Are you dead yet, you crazy lady? Is she dead? Yep. The heroic victory music's playing. Good. Curtis, I murdered. Are you dead? Really? What? That just the the mirror came back together, or I mean that piece of shard came back. Yeah. Well, you're a piece of. Oh wait. I go. didn't say. And then it got small. Well, we have two mirror shards now. <laughs> what the hell is that thing anyway? It's not a human. It's a twilight being. Oh, can we can we kill it? Because oh, it looks like it. an we, abomination. We need, we need it. Oh, it's a it's an abomination though. It needs to probably die. 
needs to be euthanized, you know, quickly. Abom abomination? Uh, abomination. 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 Ooh. We get C Nation, Abomination. Dun, dun, oh, dun, are, dun. are we turning into the O'Reilly factor now? Ob yeah. Abomination got trumped. <laughs> no, if this is the O'Reilly factor. Ow. Your your uh, microphone would have been cut already. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then I would have said I'm a I'm a I'm a bleeding heart liberal, even though I'm not. Because I don't agree with Did you with see that clip of what's his name telling uh, Pierce Morgan to F off? <laughs> no. Uh, something's Which, wrong. I don't blame him because that, that guy is a jackass. Oh, oh yeah. I just saw the clip of him playing Battletoads. Oh, yeah, Pierce Morgan's really good at <laughs> Battletoads. Oh, oh, God. Bill, Bill run, run, oh. run, run, uh -oh. run. Ah. I'm sorry oh, I had to kill no. your wife because she's trying to kill me first. <laughs> Self-defense. And that's what she gets for not telling us the exact, exact location of the bedroom key the first time. That's right. I mean, when, when my woman disobeys, gotta take her out. Forget perfect timing for this video. Per, per, perfect timing for this video right here as we are approaching Valentine's Day. That's uh, right. That holiday that was named after a sacrificed... Catholic saint, then Hallmark invented it. Actually, it's based off of originally off of a um, pagan holiday. I thought it was Christmas. No, Christmas is too. They're they're both days you eat and uh, screw. I mean, that's like. Well, don't ruin the fun. Don't ruin the fun for these two. Don't forget, don't forget the massacre. Oh yeah, yeah. and then and then the Saint Valentine's Day massacre. Yeah, that, in was, that was a good. That was a good wrestling pay per view. Ooh, their their love. <laughs> wait, wait. Their love created a heart piece. A heart piece, I, yes. Because I, they want to share. Yeah, they want to share the love. Yeah. They want to share the love while you're over there talking about it's a pagan holiday. People die and sacrifice. What is love? I I don't understand. Actually, what what it traditionally was, they would take a skin off an animal and beat a woman with it so she could be fertile. That's what it originally started out as. Well, you gotta do whatever you can to have babies. Man, this video has been all over the place. Right, yeah. <laughs> what hasn't happened in these 50 minutes? Right, yeah, yeah. Where all did right, the guys. time go? Well, happy uh, Valentine's Day, and uh, we'll see you later. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Remember to beat your woman with a piece of an animal skin so she'll be fertile. <laughs> that includes your own. <laughs> that includes your own. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to part 22 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. We have returned. Yep, and uh, don't hold your breath. This is a wild game. I fail. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as that we didn't record, take long. Yeah, this is in the midst of uh, the, the release of Breath of the Wild, so not many people talk about Twilight Princess right now, but that's okay. <laughs> But we're about to do something that, in a sense, could train you for something you can do in Breath of the Wild. Oh, okay. Because you can actually use your shield as a snowboard. Oh, nice. And yes, folks, I will do my best to try not to mention that game every five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow... To be fair, though... Oh, to be ahead. fair, though, ten years ago when when this game came out, this game did make my jaw drop when it came out ten years ago as well. Yeah. And tomorrow, Tibbs will do an LP of Breath of the Wild. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'd have to quit my job. Yeah. All right. So now, I just um, as you know, I just defeated the Snow Temple, Snow, uh, Snow Peak ruins. Yeah. And, uh, now and I had some technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean? Remember the video quit working for me? Oh, that's right, because of the weather. That's right, yeah. And uh, so me and Jeff, uh, was, uh, um, Tibbs had to wing it. Because me and Jeff still watched the video. Yeah. Oh, there's, I mean, Thankfully, I know this game very well. <laughs> yeah. And we're doing some more Poe hunting here. And I forgot. It's been a while since I. Proposed. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done uh, another part of this LP. I think uh, did jo Giovanni want us to collect more pose to uh, do something else. I forgot. Yes. There's a total I, of sixty. I don't Is that yeah. right? Okay. 
Yes, but I, I can't remember if you've gone back to him with 20 or if you even have 20 yet. Yeah, I can't remember that either. I guess we'll find out in this part. Um, I just know we're not even close to being done quite yet with uh, clicking on the pose. And now I'm going to go back to the surface here. And do a little, I guess, bonus game, if you will. We're going to try to race um, I, I, that, that snow, I love this part. That snow couple, whatever the names are, I forgot. Yeto and Yeti. I love how those doors have their handprints on them. Yeah. Now, there you are, Star Soldier. <laughs> now, we got to leave Star Soldier alone. He's still depressed from losing his universal title to Goldberg. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now he's going to race with his big butt, wherever the heck that is. Jeez. Looks like a freaking... When did Zelda become SX Tricky? Right. So, uh... Link Hawk here, or, or Tony Hawk, whatever is <laughs> snowboarding, or no, that's, that's skateboarding, fail. Now we need some Rage Against the Machine playing in the background. Lights yeah. out! Gorilla Radio! Yeah. Have you played the fan-made game Streets of Rage Against the Machine? <laughs> is there really a game like that? No. Anyway. It should be. Right. All right let's see if... Oh, Link, missed. Link can, Link can beat Ghetto, or Ghetto, whatever his name is. I think he's Yeti. His wife is Yeto. Oh, yeah. Ghetto. The Ghetto. <laughs> I like this music right here. I've always loved snow areas. Uh, to me, I, uh... I'm trying to think. I know I don't like water areas that much except for Jolly Roger Bay. That was cool. Um... I don't know what my favorite, uh atmosphere is in the game like as far as you know weather like snow water uh i don't know i guess i don't have a preference never really thought about that i always like the i guess nighttime levels especially in racing games in this game in particular there's something about the desert that i really love yeah it's pretty cool you uh, 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 know <gasps> <gasps> thank you principal mcvicker Oh, you old bastard, huh? Uh, you beat me! Uh. Does she even have any arms? Right? Either she does, or she's always very, very cold. She's a fat fee. A <laughs> fat fee, yes. <laughs> or fi, <fine>, whatever. <laughs> I love the thing he wears on his head. Is it like a saddle? Uh, I have to look. Oh, wait. I have to look at him again. Race to house. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Remember, remember the beavers in Majora's Mask. The beavers, beavers in Majora's Mask. Yeah, those two beavers, man. Man, I got a. Uh, that's another Zelda game I'm not too familiar with because I wasn't too fond of that, <laughs> that one. Game, that game's full of beaver. <laughs> if I see him, I'm sure I will remember. I just don't. Uh, I don't know it like the back back of my hand like I would maybe Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past. Yeah, in the Great Bay Area, there's two bucktooth beavers that you race underwater. Yeah, I have to go back and check that out again. So, I mean, well, you gotta leave it to beavers. Yeah. I mean, it's a close race. She's you, more, she's more you, challenging than, than uh, her husband. You really have to take all the shortcuts to beat her. Yeah. Oh, I love the sunset. Yeah. Uh oh, is the Twilight's approaching again? The fate of the kingdom is in the balance, and you're just doing this. Right, yeah. I'm surprised uh, Midden does not get onto him. <laughs> Translation, <laughs> what are you doing? We gotta save Hyrule and the Twilight Realm. Are you over here snow, uh, snowboarding? I think I might have mentioned this when we first approached the mansion, but I love during that last turn how you can see it approaching. Dang it. Oh, you lost, Ronnie. I saw me losing approaching. Uh, you gotta get good. Yep. Yeah, yeah that wins. Yeah, sad face. I wanna race again. Alright, so. Jump cut. Yeah, jump cut. And, uh, hope you jump cut to me winning. Five days later. Yeah.
That's a strong piece of ice he's on. Right. I think he's on thin ice here. Then it just shatters. Yeah, it's a photo finish. Not really. You can clearly see Link 1. You too good. Don't worry, one day you'll get good. <laughs> you slimmer than husband. You aerodynamic, huh? Yeah. yeah. And she ripped out a pipe piece of her heart and gave it to you. Yep. Shot to the heart, and you're to blame. I stole her heart. Right in front of her husband. Okay, I see that thing on his head, whatever that is. What a heartbreaker. Is. Yeah. So you play as Link Michaels. Yeah, I see it's a saddle. Okay, yeah. R right, ride right him. <laughs> that too bad. Shut up, Star Soldier. That's what you get for making fun of Mega Man 5. Oh, now, cool. I wonder why why she doesn't give you crap about being near them in a wolf form. I don't know. Hey, long loading times. Come on. All right, here we go. Back to Hyrule Field. Where I'm supposed to do something, and I forgot. I know it seems like forever since we've done this. Yeah. You see that meme on Facebook where it shows Captain Jack Sparrow's face looking all confused and it goes, it says that moment when you play a game, when you open up a saved file of a game you haven't played in forever. Yeah. Looking around like, where am I? What is this? Where was I at? Zelda games are good for that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it took me a year to beat Twilight Princess because of delays and just putting it off, and then finally, I beat it in like uh, December 2007, January 2008. But I'm the type of guy that once I start a game, particularly a game like this, big game, it's usually the, for the most part, the only game I play until I beat it. Yeah. To me, I was just kind of lose interest, I guess, a little bit, and... Uh, or get sidetracked with either life or other games or other stuff. And granted, at the time I was going to school, and so yeah, I just uh, it happens. But uh, I was like, you know, I want to beat this game all the way through. So I finally did that. Oh, you cheated here, Ronnie. Yeah. Well, I quick cut through that. All it is just pushing those blocks out the way. Yeah. And it took a while to figure out. To, and yeah. I should rephrase what I said. I, I it's like. This wouldn't be the only game I play. It'd be like the only big game. Like I wouldn't play two huge games at the same time. I'd play one huge game, and then off to the side have like smaller games, and of course games that I play with Nikita and stuff like that. Kind of like what I do with YouTube. There's one long project, let's play, and then there's side projects like let, let's check out, long time no play, or whatever. Exactly. And hopefully this LP won't take three years. Like Ocarina yeah. Time did, so far it's taken December, about three months, not that bad. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Love this guy. Yeah. I don't care if you're a wolf, there you go. Right, right in the dead of night, this guy is dedicated. Yeah. I wish all postmen were nice and dedicated like him. Yeah. Yeah, he would, uh... That's probably the only postman that would not go postal on you. Speaking of which, has Amazon started that, that drone thing where they'll supposedly, right after you buy it, drop it off via drone right to your house? I've never heard of that. <laughs> Maybe they decided not to do it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, a drone will, will literally fly to your front door? and drop the product yep. off? Yep. I don't know, that's kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> that, maybe that's why they decided not to do it. Yeah, I mean, what if it's a secret way to kill you? <laughs> although, <laughs> although I will say this. If next Friday or whenever 
uh, 17th, yeah. If next Friday, a drone flies down and drops Binding of Isaac on my front stoop, I would be very happy. Well, I ordered the movie Son-in-Law, and it's supposed to arrive tomorrow, and um, if a drone drops it off, I said, nope, never mind. <laughs> I'm not opening that door unless the drone flies away in peace. <laughs> now, it, I guess, is, is the drone supposed to fly away after it drops it off or wait for you to confirm that it's you or something? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> if it flies away and I don't see it in sight, then open the door real quick and take the product, close the door, lock it. Have you ever seen the South Park about the drones? No. The bush? Oh, it's so good. Right, there's the, uh, I forgot her name, the, uh, the woman that was investigating the Snow Peak Ruins. Uh, Ashai, Ashay, yeah, something Ash, like that. Ashy, Ashy, yeah. Ashy. Like. Ash Ketchum. Yeah. Oh, and Nikita wants me to thank you for calling her a guy. Oh, no, I didn't call her a guy. I just said someone stole her name. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. I, I remember. Mystery yeah. Trolley, viewers. Yeah, inside, uh, like inside joke there. Oh, that's right. I said in the comment yeah. on the picture, dinner with Nikita Kolo. Uncle Ivan. You go down. That's too bad Ivan died. Yeah, it sucks. So now we look at the map and see where we need to go again. Hey, he's been taking lessons from Skip Rogers. Yeah. Well, Skip says something that's actually true. <laughs> in all fairness, some of the stuff I think he said in the Simon's Quest tip tape was not that bad. <laughs> but it's the Mega Man 2 one where he really messed up and became infamous. For <laughs> <laughs> that's like saying... When you fight Ganondorf, don't use the silver arrows. What? <laughs> or not Ganondorf, again in Zelda. When fighting Ganon, use your sword and don't use the silver arrows. <laughs> <laughs> in Breath of the Wild, use your tit tacks. No, oh, fail. <laughs> oh, the screech bird. Oops! You don't have any money. Oh, wait, yeah, you do. And what? Don't pay. What's he gonna do? <laughs> He'll fly at you and peck, peck you to death. It's like um, Alfred Hitchcock's birds. <laughs> There's Russell again. Do 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 do. As we look at the entrance to the Forest Temple. The good old days. Yeah. When I was still nervous. Yep. Yeah, I would say very sophisticated because it seems as the farther back the Zelda timeline goes, the more technological it gets. Yeah. So I wonder where in the timeline Breath of the Wild falls in. Uh. I, I've pa I know what the story's about because I've passed the point where it tells you what's going on, so I think I have an idea. We'll find out in the book of Historia. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> the golden. Uh, That's a. Yeah, the golden, the golden cock. <laughs> yeah. The golden chicken from a KFC or whatever they're promoting right now. Finger licking gold. Popeyes. Yeah. See that commercial Enzo Amore and Big Cast? Uh, well, he dresses like the colonel, I think, and, and uh, talk about uh, the new chicken and whatever they're selling now at KFC. What? Either KFC uh. or something. It, it, they show it on Raw, or they show it on WWE programming. Not really. I don't know if it's really a public commercial that shows everywhere. All right, so as the golden goose. Um. Helps me get to where I need to go. Well, at least it's not the gobbledygooker. Oh, jeez. You know, I heard a rumor 
that that was originally supposed to be the Undertaker in that egg. Thank God it wasn't. I know, right? That would make him look so stupid. But I did hear that Hector Guerrero was the gobbledygooker. Yeah, yep. I don't know what they were thinking. I, Bastion Booger was a better idea. <laughs> I'm the Booger Man. Yeah. Or, or before that, Norman the Lunatic. Whoever came up with the idea of Bastion the Booger was a lunatic. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I'm a deja vu. Oh man, don't tell me we gotta do this again. Hey, you're in the wrong game, man. Yeah, I. Ah, oh, we gotta do this again. Jeez. Come on, it's me. Don't you recognize me? I like I like this part a lot better because it's at night. You can see like the light from his lantern. Yeah, well, that's right. I don't recognize him because the last time Link was Wolf Link, right? Yes, actually, you're right. You know, I don't think I ever thought of it that way. That's probably why I don't recognize him. See, 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 folks. This is why you want to watch. You learn stuff. Yeah. Oh, come on. You don't. Know, you can't tell a wolf from a human. You can't tell if they're the same person. You got problems, bud. Yeah. You got nine nine problems, but a wolf ain't one. <laughs> nine to nine, said love bottom. You got nine nine problems, but the wolf pack ain't one. Fail. Uh, the NWO wolf pack. Yeah. The finger poker doom. Remember the uh, remember the uh, the Latino world order. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, you have Wolfpack, Black and White, LWO, what's gonna, what was going to be next? Oh, yeah, the BWO. Yeah, the Blue World Order, man. Yeah. Do you, do you remember who they were? Big Stevie Cool, the Blue Guy, and I forgot who Nova was. Hollywood Nova. Nova was Hogan. Yeah. Hollywood yeah. Nova. Yeah. Oh, let me tell you something, dude. Yeah. Well, when I was in high school, me and my friends talked about what if Kane joined the Wolfpack? Well, he wouldn't have to change his colors. Yeah, yeah, that's why we said that. He's wearing red and black. He had that, like that, 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 that voice modulator. Kane yep. in the his house. You're just too sweet. <laughs> yeah, that would not work out. Lex Luger was a better Wolfpack member. I don't know why, but I actually held my hand up to my throat when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do a Luna impression. Say about it. <laughs> Say about it. Tonight. <laughs> I would sleep here. Minus all those guys chasing me. Right. Yeah, there's no danger, no enemies, no, nothing creepy. Yeah, that would be a beautiful place to sleep at night. That could be said about any city in America. Yeah. You see that picture I posted on Hyrule Warriors where it shows Saria? This is Saria back then, and this is her 20 years <laughs> later. Feel old yet? Yeah, right. Yeah, she just still looks the same. <laughs> That's good. So, so you didn't know that they were all dead? No, I just thought they... I didn't think they were dead dead because they look like ghosts floating like, like the Zora child's mother. I just thought they were confined in that... Uh, in that realm. Like, forever to be guardians of uh, their own... Their, their, uh, where they're from. I didn't, th I didn't think of them well, like actually being it, dead. It, well, it makes sense because... With Saria, I'm not sure, but with Darunia, like he went the last time you see him, he's outside the boss door, like he's gonna go fight the dragon. So the dragon killed him. Ruto got killed when Zora's domain froze over. Impa got killed when she tried to seal the monster in the well. And Naburu got killed by those witches because when you're a kid, you see them take her. Well, see, I thought she was just earning a spell. 
or something. Because remember, oh, wait, she, that's was, right. she was in that armor. She was wearing that uh, inside that uh, armor. That's right. So and then, but then after she tries to run away, they do like hit her with magic, and she disappears or something. Right. And, so I mean, I don't know. It just I never thought of that theory. I never really thought of them as being dead. Well, at least they're alive in spirit. In spirit traps. Mm. Just like it, it's believed that uh, Kepora Gebora, that annoying owl, is actually the spirit of Raru, the sage. Yeah, Raru, yeah. Uh, that, everybody's dead in Zelda. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> everybody's a reincarnated mess. Including Link himself. Who's prob probably probably no. dead Majora's mask and is probably the the the, the Stalfo's training me. <laughs> yeah, because remember nobody ever dies at Nintendo. Yeah, they they d disappear or turn into an item and float away. Yeah. Except Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, you and your friends are dead. They just. Cut the BS and just say that. Friday thirteenth. They don't sugarcoat. Whole world, the uh, whole, yeah, the whole world hates you. You're going to hell. Live with it. Yeah. <laughs> Not me on Elm Street though. Yeah, you. It shows you floating away. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, with that freaking halo on your head and everything. Yeah. I'm thinking though, like in the end of Kung Fu Kid, or some games. They show like the villain dying and then like going going to heaven. I'm like, if they're villains, should they go to hell? But no, you can't show oh, hell at Nintendo. There's one game where Hitler, his like head explodes or something, but I can't remember which Nick which game it is. <laughs> Bionic Commando. Hitler's in Bionic Commando. I think it's that game. Like it ends with a picture of like his head like blowing up or melting or something. Well. Wow. I'm pretty sure it's bionic. Yeah, because you got that bionic arm. Yeah. And Bowser, I think, flo yeah, he floated away in Mario World. All right, are we almost done here? Jeez. You know, until recently, I was uh, remi reminded of the fact that... um. Nikki just checked, by the way, it is Bionic Commando. But in the Zelda lore, it's only adults that are lost in the woods that could turn into Stalfos. If you're a kid, you could turn into a Skull Kid. I, I recently reminded myself of that fact. Okay. Tibbs, everybody, the Mike Tanay of Zelda. <laughs> Link's the... Link studied his archery moves on the... Uh, on whatever. <laughs> also, the Luchadors came from Gerudo Valley in 1800s. At least, at least, at least it's not, I'm not as bad as Josh Matthews. I don't know much about him. Mr. Uh, I always knew I would end up in TNA. I mean, yeah, I know who he is. I just don't know much about his commentary. I haven't <laughs> watched TNA. And I really can't. Well, I could you, if you I know, look it up my line. He he's the ultimate charity case. I'm sorry, but he he lost tough enough, but because he was so tiny and so lovable, they gave him a job, even though he does can't really do anything, and he's been employed. And then he went to TNA, and that's sinking ship. Yeah. Well, at least they found something for him. I I would, I would be thankful if I was him. Well, if you read some of his tweets, I mean, he, he even told Jr. to go away. <laughs> Well, wow. uh, someone worse than Michael Cole. Well, people say Michael Cole is bad, and yeah, at times he is bad, but there is worse out there, people. I mean, Mike Adamley, enough said. Yeah. Or, uh, what was that, that that guy's name? We mentioned him. The uh, Ron Bartlett, I think was his name, the first oh, few episodes of Monday Night Raw. Yeah, he didn't last long, though, at all. Like, I don't know why they gave yeah. him a job. I remember that I was, I, was watch, I watched one of the episodes of Raw when they were new, like the fourth episode. I think the episode where uh, Money Incorporated bashed Brutus Beefcake's face in supposedly with the briefcase. And oh yeah. 
Rob Bartley's mic was not working, I guess. And Macho Man took his... No, Macho Man's mic was not working. And Macho Man just grabbed Rob Bartley's <laughs> and took over it. <laughs> so awesome. you, you hear Rob Bartley talk throughout the whole show. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> no one probably noticed. Yeah. And all right, so now we're finding the Sacred Grove. Again... So things look different now. Took, the, the first time I played this game, it took me a while to think to put that back in there. Yeah. I mean, you're so used to taking it out. That's what she said. Whoa. Uh, all right. So he, he took out his master sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We've been here before. Yeah, jeez, oh, these guys. Well, I think this is the last time. Yeah, let's just cut through that. All right. Another warp zone. I got the, I got the music from the second stage of Blaster Master in my head right now. Uh, I never, I seen the game, but I don't remember much of it. I do remember some tracks. Dun, 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 Yeah, Blast of Master yeah. Zero is coming out this Friday, or this Thursday, something like that. Oh. Yeah, Thursday. Whoa, look at this. You already have me into the Twilight Zone now. Yeah. Do, 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 do. The Twilight Zone. Was it the Twilight Zone where they show the episode of that kid that was God and don't make any noise while the music's playing? Yep. <laughs> I want to be that kid. Don't make any noise while the music's playing. I'll turn you into a Jack in the That's Box. Re <laughs> That's real good, Link. It's good that you broke all those pots. It's real good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good that you caught a snail and you're going to turn into some weird bug and then kill it. <laughs> all right, so... I'm leaving here to t return return to Akathis Castle for one last time so that we can get our big reward for finding all the bugs. I uh, better be good. Yeah. Do this dude, she's bugging. Yeah, and like I said before, I work with a girl that reminds me of Akathis or mainly her voice. Hi. All right, I, I, I can imagine Akathis restaurant in Breath of the Wild. Would you like an appetizer? We have nachos. <laughs> and then you order nachos. Oh, nacho, 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 if, man. How tasty are you? Here? If, I, if I'm if i running along the field and I, and I find her, I'm going to, like, lose my mind. Yeah. <laughs> if you're an opponent, just run over her. <laughs> That'd be so wrong. As the undercover decoy, Agatha, played by a 19-year-old actress, approaches Link... <laughs> He then gives her what she, what they asked for in the chat room, a snail. Did you bring the snail? Yes, I did, honey. <laughs> okay, have she a seat. She wants to take a bath in the slime. Yeah. Just what I always wanted. Yep. Damien Memento? Oh. Fail. Giant wallet. Whoa! You can hold a thousand rupees now. Well, that, that, that's pretty cool. In the HD version of the game, there's actually a bigger one. The tycoon, ty yeah, Tycoon's wallet, which can hold, I think, 9,999. Oh, wow. I bet Breath of the Wild you can hold a million. No. <laughs> open world. Have an open wallet. <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, Giovanni's house. Okay, I think about to find out here how much pose we got. Are we in Uncle Scrooge's money bin? Jeez. <laughs> Jingle all the way. Put the cookie down. Yeah.
Oh, Tim. Okay, that's right. We did talk to him. Tim more, Tim more pose, and then he'll be fully back to normal. Oh, you've killed a lot more than I remember. Mm, yeah. Here's a another one. Thing we will go. Try not to lose count here. All right, so nine more to go. You know, it would help if they tell you right here, like where you're at, like how many how many you collected already, or how much more you got to go. But I guess they well, don't... that's what the pot, that's what the menus are for, Ronnie. No, I don't want to look at menus. It's too much hard work to first start and look at the menus. <laughs> that's what the that's what the menus are for, Ronnie. <laughs> you don't know anything. I beat this game when I was two. <laughs> right? I ain't no faggy. I I didn't have to <laughs> steal any faggy footage from YouTube <laughs> to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Faggy. Laggy is faggy. Uh, once again, we enter uh, Albert Hitchcock's uh, Twilight Zone. I fail. <laughs> Rod Sterling, whoever the heck hosted it. Um, Rod right. Sterling. Rod Sterling, the owner of the Clippers that made the racist comment years ago and a few years uh, ago. And, no, that's Donald Sterling, I think. Never mind. <laughs> Sterling Sharp he used to play for the Packers, I think. Uh, anyway, all right, the Temple of Time. I say turtles and tur turtle and time. The Temple of Time yes, here. Yes. Finally, the Temple of Time gets its own dungeon. Yes. Whoa. Led Zeppelin, Stairway to Heaven. And I do believe. He yes, there's Jeff. Whoa. Jeff, where are you going? I ain't got time in a hurry right now. <laughs> I guess he's going to the shop. He's busy. Yeah, he's got to go take a nap. Yeah. All right, so... Whoa! Uh, this is going to be pretty cool. But we won't be able to see that until part 23. Well, we will go through the Temple of Time. Until then, God bless and take care. For you! Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. Yo, yo. And we are finally in the ECW, uh, ECW of time, the Temple of ECW. Yes, the Temple of Time finally gets its own dungeon and I love it. Yep. Well, is that the Freedom Bell? Nah. Or Liberty Bell, whatever it's called in Philadelphia. Yeah, this is the story of how it got the crack in it. Yeah. Will Link crack under pressure here in the Temple of Time? What statue? Oh, you can't see it over there. And you can't hear you. Can't even see it. I know, like, well, I'm looking at a door here. Is it mean the, being the big door? Yeah, oh, there's the a statue over there. should have been a little wider there. Yeah. Well, that's what you noobs get. You should play on the Wii. It's better. <laughs> we didn't need no faggy console like a GameCube to play Twilight Princess. Little lunchbox, that's for girls. Yeah. It's for girls! Nikki, excuse me? Someone actually took a Wii U disc and cut the center out of it so it could fit inside of a GameCube. What? Yeah. <laughs> He's on the list. <laughs> All right, I heard I heard that uh, Sony, I think it was Sony, was mad at Nintendo in 2001 because the size of the GameCube discs. Because Sony was going to do that, but I think Nintendo beat them to it. I'm, I don't know about that, but I know that the it was either the Vita or the PSP had those little UMD discs. Yeah. The, do comp do do. the compass. Oh, nope. small key. Like, yeah. He looks so unimpressed. Yeah. This is one of my favorite dungeons in this game. Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. And his son.
If you smell la, 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 what the Jeff is cooking? He barely has a nose. Yeah, what your cocoa is cooking? <laughs> he That's still what? hasn't found what he's looking for. Yeah, a cocoa's uh, son, whatever's more creepier than than a cocoa. <laughs> oh, him, oh, it's a her. Oh, I thought, was, I thought Coco was a guy the whole time. I thought you were saying Coco. Like what, Coco Beware? Yeah, Coco Beware. Jeez. Oh, yeah, they put him in a Hall of Fame, but not Bam Bam Bigelow yet? Come on. And how was Coco Beware in the Hall of Fame before Ravishing Rick Rude? But whatever, I, I dig digress. Alright, right, we got Resident Evil spotters here. This is a beautiful temple. Oh, yeah, this really takes yeah. me back to like late 2007, uh, early 2008 when I was actually getting to this part of the game here. I remember I, I got so excited once I realized that the Temple of Time was going to be a dungeon. Yeah. Oh, look out. There's another one of those Liberty Bells. Hmm, I ring, wonder why. That rings hmm. a bell. <laughs> Southwestern Bell? A fell. I don't think they're around anymore. These, these statues are the laziest thing. They they hop and then they go. Ugh. Yeah. Then they flip Whoa, out. What the? He's let his light shine and they just disappeared. As another treasure chest materializes before my eyes. the map. Jeez, jeez Link, Link don't look so happy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same thing over and over again. It's like, yeah, another map, yeah. yay. Just take him to the fishing hole. Oh, yeah. Huh. Ah! This might be my favorite dungeon in the game, not sure. It has a mechanic. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played this. But there's a certain mechanic in this dungeon that's really unique, and it's probably the reason why I love it so much. Yeah. No, set it down, you idiot. <laughs> Alright. Wait, what? Oh, it's not quite on there. I guess if Link wants to be in the NBA, he's got to get good. Right. It didn't even occur to me that the guy commenting on my post last night was that guy. Yep, the good, good guy, Maximus Justinus. If I didn't butcher his name. I mean, it's not just about get good, get good, <laughs> get good. F you. It ain't got nothing to do with getting good. I think that's becoming more your thing than his now. <laughs> yeah. I have a tendency to do that. Someone makes up a saying or a catchphrase, like in, like at work or wherever, on YouTube, and I end up, I end up adopting it, and like making it to more of a thing of mine than, than anybody else's. I start using it more than they do. Who are you, TNA? Yeah, well, no, well, Jericho invented that. Oh, excuse me, Impact Wrestling, or yeah, whatever Impact they call wrestling. themselves I'm, I'm, now. Well, I'm glad they got rid of TNA. That name was stupid anyway. Thanks, Vince. Russo. <laughs> you know, people say that Vince McMahon is out of touch or not a good bur burger. Not a good booker, but, geez, he's ten times better than Russo. <laughs> Vince may be out of touch, but at least... He doesn't book like a stupid idiot. Yeah. And and he's genuinely a smart man. I don't think Vince Russo is very smart. Yeah, some people think Vince is stupid. No, I, I never thought he's stupid. He's just, he's actually smart. I wouldn't say he's a genius either, but he's, he's a smart man. He's just stubborn, petty, and vindictive. But don't forget, if it wasn't for Vince Russo, we wouldn't have gotten Austin and The Rock. He said it himself, bro. That's right. 
originally, bro, we were going to have Zelda come out in a bikini, bro, but we decided not to do it at the last minute, bro. And the final battle was supposed to be Link versus Ganondorf in a Zelda on a pole match. Remember the Judy Bagwell on a pole match? <laughs> oh, that never happened. And I wonder if that was really his mother in real life. I don't know. I mean, I looked on Wikipedia and they did say he has a mother named Judy Bagwell, but was that woman actually her or just the actress playing as her? You know, getting back to Rick Rude, one of the rare times that a restless wife actually really did get involved was uh, when Cheryl Roberts got involved with Jake and Rick. You must remember that. Uh, no. You don't? When did this happen? Back in the late 80s, when Rude was at his, uh, most, his, I don't say his peak in the WBF, basically, you know how he used to bring women out from the audience and give them a rude awakening, which is a kiss? Well, he yeah. was going to do that to this one woman who said no, and he's like, you know, who else, you, you know, tell everyone who you're here to see. And she goes, my husband, Jake the Snake Roberts. And it started this feud where he'd be hitting on her. He even had her face in the crotch of his tights so Jake would come out and strip him off him and everything. When in reality, the reason why she was there was to keep an eye on him because of some of the stuff he was doing at the time. Okay, I think I vaguely remember that. I do remember well, Macho Man's wife, Elizabeth, that was his real-life wife, and she was involved in wrestling. But I vaguely remember the... Jake and Rube storyline. What I like to have right now is for <laughs> all you fat, out of shape, ST2 games. High rules, sweat hogs. Yeah. <laughs> Keep the noise down while I take my robe off and show you what a real man is supposed to look like. Hit the music. Start playing the, the over, overworld theme. <laughs> Try, hey, he tries to put the rude awakening on Nabaru, but she doesn't have none of it. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you here to see? I'm here to see Link. <sighs> Feud of the year. Rick Rude versus Link. <laughs> oh, there's the compass. The compass. You know, it'll be uh, Rick Rude trying to put the moves on uh, Zelda. <laughs> I'm here to see Link, the hero of time. Hero of time! I hero. bet he doesn't have abs like mine. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. I saw that clip the other night of when Rude's back got broken in that match with Sting. That every time I see that, it makes me wince. Oh yeah. I never knew that happened until years and years later, and I was always wondering why Rick Rude retired. And the storylines in the NWO, he said Sting retired him or broke his back or something, but I never saw the footage until like 2011 on YouTube. We should title this video, Let's Play Twilight Princess and Talk About Wrestling. Yeah, right. We'd That's probably like, get uh, more views. <laughs> no, uh, The Legend of Zelda, Rude Awakening. <laughs> Link's Rude Awakening. Come what are you on, doing, do dance? Oh. Oh. oh! Come on, Link, show him your moves. Ronnie. Come on, learn the skills. Use the skills that you learned. Ah. Got the skills to pay the bills. It's not just about getting skills. Get skills. Get skills. Sounds like JR. Or you'll get killed. Get killed. Yeah. Sounds like JR trying to say school. Ron Simmons now with a with a power slam. Ron Simmons from uh, Marietta High School. <laughs> ah, JR. Yeah. Nobody cares about football. You do that JR. better than me. <laughs> Nobody cares about football, JR. <laughs> Boomer Suda King. You know, for a second there, I was wondering, how the hell is he zooming in? I forgot the Hawkeye. Yeah. The Road Warrior Hawkeye. Jeez, everything I, everything I said, I turned it back to wrestling. I know. Someone's I wonder how many times in your life have you said ECW? Yeah. Someone's gonna post a comment. You guys need to get, get in and stay on topic. Must have been Master Hand. Yeah. Or Skip. Skip, Skip, yeah. You see, you see his dumbass post in Hyrule Warriors? He thought Symphony of the Night, or Symphony of the Night, Symphony of the Goddess was going to be a sequel to 
uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it would be a good title for a game, for sure. Yeah, I mean, a competition with Sympathy of the Night. I say Sympathy? Sympathy? Sympathy, sympathy. of the Symp <laughs> Symphony of Destruction. That sounds like a bad 80s rock ballad, Sympathy of the Night. <laughs> yeah. Remember Symphony of Destruction? Oh, yeah. Take a moral man. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, these uh, what the heck? Little milk duds coming after me. What the? <laughs> what the they look more like little pill bugs. Yeah, right. Brian Pillman bugs. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't. Ah, oh, I can't stop. Oh, another one of these uh, little statues that uh, we can we put on top of the switches. Uh, the Nintendo switches. This seems to be a theme in this place of statues. I wonder if that'll play into anything. Yeah. Wink, wink. Well, wink a link, yeah. Wiki links, leaks. And I actually winked. I actually winked when I said that. <laughs> All these statues. This game has a statue delimitations. Yeah, statue limitations. If the game is more than six months old, you will be spoiled. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think bomb arrows only uses up arrows. It doesn't use up bombs, right? I don't remember. Oh, I never thought. I thought it used up both. Or does it? Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I might be wrong. Been a while! Yeah. Come on, get it. Get good, oh, Link. There. Hey, come on. You can't kill that little bug. Yeah, he can hit with the arrow. Arrow bomb. This game is much better than Breath of the Wild because it don't have cartoonish graphics. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, oh, them's fighting words. What's a cell shading BS, but it's, it's being shady. Cell shading, they're being shady. The graphics, no, not really. Yeah. Hell in the cell shading graphics. See, there we, uh, here we go again. Another wrestling reference. There you go again. Someone shoot me. Maybe Link will shoot me with the bomb arrows. <laughs> In the comment section, that idiot Ron Blower needs to stay on topic. This dumbass talking well, about the fake the wrestling BS. Because it's got it's got electric arrows. So there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, the scales of justice. I remember this part. I'm like, what, what do I do here? Oh, yeah. Oh, I hear a Poe. Oh, what am I doing? If I can make my mind here what to do. Where is that Poe? Is it up or down? Up, up, down, down. With Austin Creed? This is Contra? Yeah, our Austin Creed channel. Yeah, Link. Ah, fell. Come on. I did a couple of puzzles like this in Breath of the Wild yesterday. With the, these weight type puzzles. Scales. Yeah. Alright, let's go up chair. Another fun ride. Whee! And who says it doesn't have any other uses? Right? Ah, there's the Poe. You gotta admit, the Poe's in this game are pretty badass, how they look. Ow! Yeah, much better than Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Rip their freaking soul out. Yeah. I mean, this wolf has Shane Assume capabilities. Yeah. Imagine Gandorf versus Shao Kahn in a Mortal Kombat fight. <laughs> you will die. Gandorf or Ponum. I think it was in part 19, the Arbiter's Grounds. Me and J-Man were in that one. And we talked about who went out of Gandorf and Dracula. I think J-Man said <laughs> Dracula. I'm not sure. All right. Well, if you think about it, uh, Motaro could be similar to Ganon. I love Motaro's bum. I like Motaro. He sucked. I mean, he was hard to beat in CPU at first, but 
to use him as a character, he's very limited. I remember in your Mortal Kombat 3 uh, low budget view, you were like, um, what did you say? Goro and Kentaro would kill Motaro. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so what more great puzzles await me here as I. Ouch! As I fail and run to the freaking. Um, <laughs> run to this well, thing like an idiot. The pendulum axe. Cons is, considering you ran into a huge blade twice and you're still in one piece and walking around, that's pretty impressive. At least pretty tough. Tough as shoe leather. Yeah. Tougher than $2 tougher steak. Than <laughs> tougher than a government mule. Yeah, tougher than tough enough. <laughs> well, watch out for the what those things that they use to roll dough with to make cookies. A rolling pin. Yeah. It's like metal, like the old Metal Gear games, the rolling tube of death. Yeah, he's going for the rolling pin. One, two, three. What is this, Jeff Jarrett versus China? Yeah. Um, uh, the Get Good guy, he was been watching Raw 93 on the network. He's talking about, uh, I think, McMahon on commentary and uh, uh, the jobbers. I remember McMahon on commentary. He always go, one, two, he got him. He got him. Oh, no, no, he didn't. I know. No, wait. He, he would always get so overexcited. What a maneuver. I know. What a maneuver! I didn't realize how bad of a play-by-play -play announcer he was until I got older. Because when I was a kid, I actually liked McMahon. Because I didn't even know he was the owner. I thought he was just a commentator. And then, Him and Jesse were a good team together. Yeah. Shut up, McMahon! And then the king would always talk about his toupee. Yeah. Shut up, McMahon! I think it's toupee! You toupee! You toupee is getting a sitting hairline up! <laughs> That 97 when JR joined and they became a three way, so to speak. Yeah. Welcome everyone to Monday. I hear. Raw. I haven't seen it, but I hear that Josh Matthews in Impact is now doing the heel Michael Cole shit, except it's even worse. I heard that too. I think what's going to happen is he's going to transition to probably a heel manager or work out work behind the scenes with with uh, Impact Wrestling or something like that. I mean, I don't know. Well, this this temple's about to take shape. Yeah. We're Coming up is one of the reasons I love this place. We're here in the Impact Zone Temple, which is why it's empty. <laughs> Ouch. Well, and people say wrong. Now, be fair, they they did draw like maybe eighty hundred people in a multi-thousand seat stadium. Well, and people say Raw is hot, hot garbage, but still not as bad as Impact Wrestling. Or, I mean, I don't know. I've heard recent weeks Impact Wrestling was, has been that bad, but it's just it's, the damage seems irreversible. It's like no one really knows. His. It's amazing they're still in business. Yeah. Well, what I the? bet Billy Corgan's kicking himself now. I don't know. I think he was... And this, folks, is a dark nut. Ah. Uh. ACW Dark Nut. Yeah. Mini boss. Mini These boss guys time. are cool. I remember this fight was on the back of the original Wii box, and I, I was like, man, this game's gonna be awesome. Yeah. I love how he like swings the sword in his hand, like, come on, make a move. Yeah. So you didn't like Wind Waker, huh, Ronnie? No, I gave it a chance. I tried. I just could not get hooked. It wasn't just because of the graphics. Just the, the gameplay didn't get me hooked either. I've probably played Wind Waker more than any other Zelda game. Except for maybe Ocarina of Time or Link to the Past. Like, those are probably the three I played the most. Yeah. I think it's in a recent, I don't know if it's a, it might have been a Mike Matei doing a Link to the Past live stream. 
I think he talked about some people didn't like Wind Waker because, I mean, uh, I forgot exactly what he said, but I think one of the things was not just the, the cell shading graphics, but like uh, navigating through the water, there's some, uh, uh, I can't explain, like navigating through the water, it takes a long time, it's a lot of, it seems like uh, you're going out in the middle of nowhere and it's like boring. A lot, a lot of people, they feel like it's empty, but he, he actually said, and it's true, there is stuff to do and find on every single quadrant in the game. Yeah. And I love sailing on the water, and actually in the Wind Waker version, you get a, uh, a faster sail, so you can sail twice as fast, and the wind will always be moving at your back when you use it. But just like Breath of the Wild, a lot of people, the people who were hating on it, are like, oh, it's so open, you know, there's not much there, it's so boring, it's just an empty world. It's like, no, it's not. There's stuff all over the place to find. It's unreal. Who wants to play a game where you just walk a straight line? Unless it's an NES game. Yeah. Ponage. These guys actually become easier once they're armor. You know, once they get faster. In my opinion. Yeah. Now, I think I asked you this, Ronnie, but are you planning on doing the Cave of Ordeals? Uh, in this game? Yeah. Uh, I do plan on it, but not guaranteeing it. Now, this item is cool. Yes, the ECW rod. Yeah, Link, you better look amazed. Now he's amazed. Well, yeah, it's something new. Tell me something new. Wait, that didn't make sense. Yes, I have dominion over you. Get down here. That's right, folks. In this game, you can control giant statues. Nice. And if you look at the floor, it's the same design as the light medallion. Oh, I never noticed that. Because originally, the, the Temple of Light was uh, supposed to be in Ocarina of Time, but it ended up get cutting cut out. That's why Araru just gives it to you. Ah, uh, Araru. Ah, it's going to the Freedom Bell. Liberty Bell. Well, look out, Link. Oh, you almost got crushed. <laughs> well, where'd you go? I know the first time I, I looked up into the bell, like, how does that happen? Right. There's, like, no hole there to suck him up. Magic. Magic. All right, now the real fun begins. I tried to get Jeff in this video, but oh wait, he is in this video. I was gonna say we just saw him. They're carrying yeah, him yeah. with you. <laughs> That's very funny, Ronnie. You know what? I'm gonna do Ronnie impression. Yeehaw! Even though I never say that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is pretty awesome right here. I mean, this is a new feature in Zelda games at the time. I don't know if it happened after that, but it's cool. No, I can't think of any other game where you control... No, that's not true. There are other games where you control inanimate objects. You actually can in Wind Waker, but not like this. Uh, even though I could do research, but you're still the Mike Tanay of Zelda to me. I could just ask you anytime. Well, hey, Tibbs, uh, did this happen in Minish Cap? Or is it true that this person is that person? <laughs> Maybe you Minish Cap. If, if you haven't played that, you should. It's really good. In the year 2020. Ouch. Idiot, don't go through the electricity. In the year 2020, tips to do an LP of Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. Actually, I have the Switch version. I didn't even know there was another. I thought the Switch was the exclusive version, and then I see people put pictures of the Wii U version. I go, wait a minute. Is this Photoshop or is yeah. this real? They wouldn't have done that because they promised a new Zelda game on the Wii U for years, so it would have been a disaster if they yeah. hadn't. Like, a lot of people would have hate, would have been pissed off. Yeah. Ah. Well, ever since you mentioned Minish Cap, I have the urge now to watch P Calls Minish Cap at Let's Play. I never played. There's a lot of Zelda games I have not played. I still to this day have not played Link's Awakening. 
Oh, it's good. The only ones that I haven't played, the two Oracle games, and the Four Sword stuff. Oh, I thought you played them all. Not every single one. I played Four Sword Adventures and Oracle. Se of course, I'm doing the LP of Oracle Seasons. It's just taking a long time. Get it done. But Oracle of Ages never played it, but my friend Dagger and other people have said it's freaking hard. Like I said, I've played the, the, the everyone except the ones I just mentioned. It's much easier to say what I haven't played, because I this is my favorite series. And of course, I know you've played Faces of Fear, a uh, Fear, Faces of Evil, um, Wand of Gamelon, and Zelda, whatever it's called, CDI. You could not pay me to play those. I would have to, I'd have to go to, go to a church and, like, get baptized afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, Tibbs is lying. His next LP, his first LP on the channel, will be Faces of Evil. Yeah. It'll be like Armag 21 with Bomberman Act Zero. Yeah. <laughs> Except I'll shit on it. Yeah. Actually, uh, recently, I've, I've actually watched, uh... Peanut Butter Gamer and uh, Jeff play through one of them, and then the Game Grumps were at the same time were playing through the other one, and then they went back and played the other one. So I have literally watched three LPs in the last few months concerning those games, and that's enough for me. Uh, I've only seen like footage of it on YouTube, but as far as reviews, and let's, I never watched a Let's Play of it. But I've seen you know Corn ABG, Shack did them. ABG, <laughs> ABGN's reviews. Why does Zelda need 40, 40 freaking ropes? It's effing bull! You killed me! Good! Good! <laughs> Good! <laughs> that's, that's how There's also react. a guy named The End. He's not around on YouTube anymore, but yes. he had oh, a yeah. really good multi part review of the CDI, including those games. I remember him, but the only one I watched, thing I watched of his was his Daily Towers review. That was taking a while. I loved Armic 21's Deadly Towers. He did two of them, and in one of them he dies at the end, and he can't, he doesn't realize how, and then the screen goes blank, and he's like, What the fuck just happened? Yeah. That happened to me in Sonic and Knuckles. When I stopped playing, I got, I, I did a, remember the very end? I did yeah. a spinning dash, and I got killed by, what the heck did I get killed by? <laughs> was it something that you going to try to finish that at up? some point? No. No. Oh. That was just a half line. In my speed run, my speed runs. In my uh, live streams, I never promised to finish a game because it's just meant to live stream and I'll try to get through it until I had enough or whatever. But LPs are different. Remember what happened to Mega Man 2? Yeah. LPs are different. I, you know, there's time to go back and edit and if I can't do it myself, cheat, and I still can't do it, use someone else's footage. But, um,. Uh, Live streams, you know, I just get through what I can, as best I can. That was a half line run anyway. I was, you know, I never really had much experience in Sonic 3. But, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Armory 21 is, is a Deadly Towers review. About Armory 21's version of Deadly Towers. Remember he was on a duo review of it, but his computer crashed? Yeah. And I, I don't think I've never seen, I think he did do, what, a live stream of it to make up for it? I don't remember. I actually did not. I discovered his videos shortly after the whole controversy happened and his channel got taken down. Yeah. So I first noticed him. I forget how I found him, but then I subscribed to that Waste of Ch Time channel, which is still up, but he never uploads anymore. Yeah. And what, what was the other channel he had? Nicotine Alien? Nicotine Alien. Oh, is that Lazy Statue again? Brum, 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 brum. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. E C W W. Dun dun. Was this song played somewhere else? I don't think so. I think each dungeon has their own unique theme. Okay. Uh, there's that. Uh... Well, the temple, the temple of time theme is in this game. It plays in the actual temple before you come in here. Oh yeah. Grab the freaking statue! <laughs> ah. 
aim at the statue, you idiot. Are you really this dumb? <laughs> I mean, that song, the angle from the first SmackDown vs. Raw uh, game. Why am I so dumb? Why am I so dumb? Yeah. I forgot what band sang it. The core, I think. Or core, the angle. That was my current angle. That's my interest music in that game. Yes, the big key. <laughs> I wonder where Link is keeping that big ball and chain. Right. No, don't roll to the wall, you dumbass. What the? He's going balls to the wall, that ball and chain. Yeah, shoot the uh, the Sims jewel. I never really thought of that. That is like that Sims sprite. Yeah. Sprite polygon. You ever get roasted at work? Like people, like they talk trash about you. Man, shut your so and so looking ass or whatever. <laughs> Someone told me one time, Ronnie, you look like you look like the Sims. You got a jewel on your top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we play, like, one of the SmackDown vs. Raw games? They Each of the wrestlers has something like that over their head, and I think I mentioned The Sims. I think, yeah, yeah I think you did. Well, it's one of those uh, reviews, yeah. Nice heart piece. Yes, folks, here at ST2K, we also plug our own stuff. Yeah. I tried to get Wig on his commentary, but he didn't answer. Have you heard from him? Yeah, uh, recently he did a uh, donation request uh, live stream of Shadowgate. That was my donation to him. And he did Shadowgate on Twitch. And then I talked to him on Facebook and Messenger for a brief period about maybe doing another donation to him to where he can do a live stream. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I haven't really talked to him that much. You should donate... Like ten bucks and tell him he has to do Dash Galaxy. What what's it called? Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum. Never heard of that one. I've heard of Guardians of the Galaxy, is that a game? Yeah, but not for the original NES. <laughs> oh. Boom! That's right. Just destroy everything. Gee, I'm wondering if this is the statue that Midna was talking about at the beginning of the temple. Nah, I think it's just a coincidence. Yeah. It's a conspiracy theory. We go again. Link, look out! You're getting crushed! You know, <laughs> he slid one. out of the way. Yeah. Remember the last time we recorded in a snowstorm, the video stopped playing for me? Yeah. Did it do it again? No. I think it I think it was a there was also a problem with my computer, which I've fixed. Oh, okay. But it was a funny moment nonetheless. Yeah. And uh was it a uh, Shawshank Temple? Huh? Yeah, that's where we're at in the last part. I mean, not the last part, the part before that where your video messed up. The Shawshank Temple. I mean, I love the movie, but I don't really get the joke. Yeah, remember I said, uh, we are like, now we're here, we're playing the Shawshank Redemption for the GameCube, where you show, like, parts of the, uh, Snow Peak Ruins. It kind of look like the walls of, uh, Shawshank Prison. Oh, okay. And there was snow yeah. there, because, you know, the, the prison is in Maine, and, yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. And Jeff's like, yes, John Schaefer. <laughs> and I think I went fresh fish. Yeah, fresh fish. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. I want to go home. I want my mother. I had your mother. She wasn't that great. <laughs> you use the Lord's you name You can get in busy living gonna... or get busy dying. Yeah. That's that gun right. 
Darius Knight game for the GameCube. <laughs> I've seen a, a thing. Ma not real. Made by Nintendo. Huh? Made by Nintendo themselves. Yeah. I seen a not a fan made game, but someone made a video if Star Shape Redemption was an eight bit or sixteen bit game. It's on YouTube somewhere. <laughs> like a Star Shape RPG. <laughs> yeah, but part part of the side quest is running the library. Yeah. And uh, polishing and shaping those rocks. Then at the end, instead of like, instead of the instead of the escape scene in Metroid, it's a chase like a well he wasn't being chased, but like uh, tunneling out. Yeah. Another Poe. Uh, uh, I lost count. We just already. got Poe. Yeah, I lost count already. Probably have what ten or fifteen to go. Yeah, we're getting because you've been keeping up on him. Yeah. There's not much left after this. Making pretty good progress. I mean, what part is this? Part 23? 23, yeah. I, I think I will finish this LP before three years. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I wish I could finish faster, but life gets in the way. Plus, I'm trying to finish other projects and stuff. I still got Oracle Seeds, and that's taking longer to finish. I remember to go next. It's freaking Lizalfo. Stop chasing me for once. Didn't I kill you? Stop responding. This ain't the NES. <laughs> yeah. Ah, hello. There he is. Ah. Uh, was that the keys? Is that what they're called? Keys? I think, like I said, keys. Uh, like I said, Ocarina of Time, they can keys my ass. Here, I can't wait for the boss fight. The boss fight in this game is one of my favorites. It's super easy, but it's pretty epic. Yeah. I like the color the stone statues turn to when you have dominion. I like how it walks. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you walk, it just kind of like bounces along. Going down the stairs, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in real life, it would totally to tumble down the stairs. I feel like such a slave driver. I'm like, hell, 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 come on, let's go. <laughs> Making it go. But well, you're taking it back home. Yeah. Like, I wonder, how did it get there in the first place? Ganondorf. Or, uh, Zant. Oh, Zant. Anyone who hasn't played this game, wait until you see him. Yeah. Alright, time to go home, buddy. We have done it. Yep. I oh, say we you... like I'm actually playing. Oh, now you've done it. You've really done it. How could you turn uh, Jane to an awful? I forgot. Uh, plumbers that were ties. How could you? How could you turn Jane into such a perverted little thing? I have and seen like, a lot of dog. When he takes over back the story, I didn't even know dogs were fucking watching. I know, right? That was dumb. Dogs applauding. There's dogs applauding. A chicken mask. Yeah. A chicken mask. Remember the LP that uh, Jeff did? Uh, they showed that yes. guy, the, nar the narrator with the uh, with the hat on, and J-Man goes, looks like freaking Donald Trump with the Stormtrooper helmet on. <laughs> now, do you know... At the end, instead of, uh, like, it says, give me the Hollywood ending or show me something different. Have you ever seen what happens if you choose something different? Yeah, she leaves with Thresher. Well, if I remember right, you no, know, if I remember, she becomes a nun. Oh, I think so. Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of, no, I'm not thinking of the ending. I'm thinking of the, the choice you make if you go with Thresher. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. She goes, I'm sorry, but I just, I, just, I just joined a convent or something. And then, like, yeah, she becomes, that's right. That name kills me, Thresher. Yeah, Thresher looks like a. Get your old, damn clothes off. Looks like a old, outer, more out of shape version of Chris Farvey. <laughs> For anyone that hasn't seen that game, you've got to. Yeah, check out Jeff's LP, Shameless Plug. We've been searching for me, for it. Yeah, I think they left it in there. <laughs> Freddy and Slip. 
what, what's going on here? Why are people laughing? It's an outtake? It's not even an outtake. It's, it's an intake of an outtake. Out. Was it that funny? Whoa. Almost got crushed. This place is dangerous. Imagine people with arachnophobia in this temple. One of my aunts has it bad. Right, I love that go. movie though. Rock and roll. Well, if she was in here, she's gonna really have it bad here. Yeah, especially in this room. Oh, spoiler. Oh, we fight nothing. We win. Yeah, things. Think oh, you fight these statues. Hmm. Whoa, what? Whoa! Oh, yeah! What the? It wouldn't be Zelda without Goma. Arma Goma. So, Goma, Goma, Goma Pile? So, Queen Goma's back. I love the music in this. Yeah. Oh, creepy. So this is a uh, Gomba fucking at top on steroids. Oh. Yeah, if you have arachnophobia, I can uh, imagine having the Now this, thing. it's badass, what you yeah. do here. Yes, yep. nice. It took me a bit to figure it out, but I knew it, it, had, to, it had to have something to do with the item you collect in the dungeon, so... It hit me. All oh, the statues here. Okay, I think they're supposed to supposed to make them do something. I mean, that's how you figure out how to beat the bosses in each Zelda dungeon. Is depends on the item that you have. That has to have something to do with it. Oh, he's taking a shit. Oh. <laughs> Set him on fire! 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 Oh, ouch. That back fired on me. That's a bad parent. Yeah. He just killed his own baby. Yeah. Just like Mr. X in Street Your Eight, just killing uh, his own henchmen. You still planning on live streaming that, by the way? The first future age, yeah. Nice. I've actually never beaten that. I've made it almost all the way. I've made it to the part. It's like an elevator going up. Yeah. I think. I've made it that far. I think one more hit should do it. It, now, it, it looks like there's dust on the ceiling when it walks, but can dust actually collect on a ceiling? I never thought of that. I don't know. If anything, top. maybe cobwebs. Yeah, cobwebs. And it's a spider, so it fits. Yeah. Save do night. It. Naughty night. Bam! Just one of those would crush it. Come on. All right, John Goodman is defeated the spider. Yeah. Well, that's the end of part yeah. 23. We will see you guys in. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. What? Wait a minute here. This it's is not so dead. cute. <laughs> this is funny right here. You 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 think. You think it's done, and then all of a sudden, wait a minute, nope. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm being an idiot. And that's it. <laughs> that must hurt. I was trying to do like carry, it, carry its mother to safety. Sorry, I need this shard of mirror. Two down, shard. one to go. It was shard, trying to shard all over me. Mm. 
Even though we only worked for two of them. Yeah. One hour to go. The evil within the shards. Yeah. Well, you should know. You're from the Twilight Realm. Yeah. Ask your king, Zant. Hashtag not my king. The sky. Yes, folks, the second half of this game is all about sharding. Yep. Alright, get in the heart container. Now I have, uh, I lost count, hearts. Alright. So we will see you guys in part 24 where the sky's the limit. Until then, mm -hmm. God bless and take care. Bye bye. <laughs>
That's, 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 but we're all that's gamers, right. damn it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Alright, and here's Tibbs giving me your letter. <laughs> Love this guy! Yeah. If you're gonna be doing that much running delivering letters, you better want to dress as lightly as possible. Yeah. When he's running, it sounds like he's saying, Hyrule, get, get, I think get, I told get, you get. about this, Ronnie, but in Hyrule Warriors, you can actually unlock that costume for Link. Yeah, yeah, you did. Holy crap. Hyrule Warriors has more going for it than I thought that it did. I, can't, I don't even know how much I played of it, but I played a good bit of it on Wii U, but I don't know what, what type of updates and things they've done to it since then. That, that game has so much stuff in it, it's an unreal. The 3DS version has even more. Oh, good grief. I'm going to have to probably get it for 3DS at some point if it ever drops in price, but knowing how Nintendo is with their IPs, I, I don't know. Yeah. I was luckily lucky enough to get the uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe when they ended up putting it at uh, 20 bucks. They ended up putting it at half price, which is something they rarely do for certain titles. All right, back in Crackhead Village, whatever it's called. Crackhead Village? Yeah. Crackhead Village. <laughs> Alright, talking about to talk to Tatanka again. <laughs> Tatanka. Oh, hey, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mr. Miyagi. <clears throat> talk to Tatanka. Yeah. Come in there and tomahawk you across the skull. Yeah. I think, was it Bobby Heen or someone said, uh, I forgot, like, I used to play with uh, the, uh, those toys when I was a kid. What are you talking about, Brains? They're Tonka <laughs> toys. No, it's <laughs> Tatanka. Oh, yeah, I remember, <laughs> I remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite joke that Heena never made about Tatanka is like, how do Indians say hello? Hey, how are ya? Hey, how are ya? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> WrestleMania 8. Oh, yeah, I remember that too, yeah. <laughs> or uh, someone else made, uh, like, a, I don't know if it's a Tatanka or Indian joke, about uh, how did Tatanka get those tickets for the event? He scalped them. He scalped them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. God Heenan bless Bobby Heenan. Yeah. We get a lot yeah. of uh, no, hate comments. No, it was it was it was Rick Martell that made that comment. I think before oh, the yeah. match. Oh yeah, he scalped them. <laughs> yes, no <laughs> Rick the model Martell. They have no class. They have no style. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get oh, a, we're gonna get a lot of hate hate comments from Native Americans watching this. <laughs> yeah. Well, pretty much. Yeah. Well, it's kind of probably seem like in this day and age at least, but back then I pretty it was probably pretty much tongue in cheek. Real lighthearted yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, the Punch Out series is. Oh yeah, geez, yeah. <laughs> Didn't they change yeah. it from pissing Honda to Hondo because some Japanese people got offended? I don't know. I'm not sure. I know they ended up taking Mike Tyson out of there, and they ended up changing it to, I guess, just Punch Out or something like that. And they, uh, Mr. Dream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They put a different ending boss. Did you know in the arcade version there was actually a guy called Pizza Pasta? Yeah. Good grief. They could have had a dream fight with between Mr. Sandman and Mr. Dream. Dream fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's uh, Nobody would win then. Right, yeah. They'd both be asleep. They uh yeah, then they both meet Freddy in the dream world, they both get killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Freddy Krueger. Gabby J and out. Glass Joe were there. Oh uh, yeah. Who went out those two? Well, well, here's the gaming historian again. <laughs> <clears throat> the gaming historian. <laughs> I've seen enough of Koa in this game. <laughs> Oka, Oka, yeah, whatever. We've seen them all over. Yeah. Ako, Aka Kaka, whatever. Yeah. Oka. <laughs> Came here to Snoop. Okay, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Uh, I've been watching you for and now working with you, for Ronnie, for so long that I can literally predict almost every joke you're gonna make. <laughs> right, and and ninety percent of it is wrestling. Yep. Should watch the last part, uh, Spectre. A lot of wrestling references in that. <laughs> oh, for the I wonder previous how many video? times in your life, Ronnie, you've said "Get Good" or ECW. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've been saying ECW for years. <laughs> Sky riding, that's clever. You know, speaking mm -hmm. of Snoop Dogg, I can I can see him playing this game, 
and picking up the grass and whistling with it. Man, what kind of grass is this? (laughs) (laughs) She's a bitch anyway. What are you going to say, Spectre? Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I had a bit of a brain fart there. I was trying to, re- trying to remember. Um, speaking of Zelda, I, uh, I've been, I think probably Breath of the Wild has probably been the only Zelda game that I put a, a whole lot of time into out of the, out of all of the Zeldas that I played. Um, I don't really know how much time I put into it as of right now, but I've got a long way to go as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I think I'm like, 80% through. I've been playing like every morning before work and every night after work and pretty much throughout my weekend. Yeah. Golly. Is that like 80% like completion of the game or just 80% through the story? Uh Well, let's let's just hmm. See, I don't I don't want to spoil anything for anyone, but let's just say I'm one f- um three fourths through the main quest and about that same amount through the I'll just say at the shrines oh, okay yeah I had to get a guide for that game I, I never get guides for games the only time I ever do is if it's RPGs because obviously I want to be able to try to find everything that's in the game and if it's a, even well not all RPGs that I get them for if I feel like I really do need it if there's a whole lot of crap to be able to go and do and find and whatnot just like with Zelda then I'll pick up a guide, and the one that I got is from Piggyback. I've never heard of them before, but uh, just looking through it, it seems like it's really detailed, and it's got a, a whole lot of helpful stuff in there, so anytime I feel like I need to reference it, I just go ahead and pop it out. I don't follow it from cover to cover because, it, well, that would just bore the heck out of me. <laughs> yeah. Don't get a guide. Get good. <laughs> I'm, lo- I'm loving the hell out of that game, though. It's It's amazing. Yeah, I've heard someone say, like, I'm 90 hours in. I'm like, 90 hours? Jeez. And then Tibbs goes, I'm at shrine number 80. I said, 80? How many shrines are there? 87 now. Well, there's like... There's like 112 shrines, I think. 120. 120, okay. Ooh. Just like the stars in Mario 64. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing what type of little details you can be able to find in that game. I mean, just the way that they've crafted it and everything they've done. I mean, I like it, but then again, it's like I hate it too because I like some of the new things and I don't like some of the new things, like the whole weapon-breaking thing. I, I, I just can't stand and the stamina thing. I think that's probably the two main deals that kind of kind of gets to me. But other than that, I mean, I've been trying to push along a little bit day after day but it's not really one of those games that i can really see myself marathoning honestly like i have with other games like mass effect andromeda is going to be out at 9 p.m tomorrow for those that have pre-ordered it and i'm going to play the piss out of that (laughs) (laughs) i love games that you can play for you know 100 hours and still get a lot out of them i mean today in the mail i received binding of isaac afterbirth plus that's one of my favorite indie games primarily because they're the last version of it rebirth i didn't even find half the stuff in that and i must have played it for 50 hours because there's just so much stuff and i you know i love it because the more you play the more stuff you find and there's even more stuff in this in this new version yeah, I've heard there's a whole lot of stuff to unlock, like a, like a buttload of stuff. My girlfriend was actually checking some of it out, and she's like, oh, I really would like to play that. I said, well, I said, it's kind of challenging. She said, well, I'll go ahead and try it out anyways and, and see if I can if I can deal with it, you know, because she's actually kind of new coming into the gaming scene over the past couple of years, so I was just trying well, to... Well, gr- she'll like it. The great thing about that game is even if you don't beat it, even if you don't play that well, the more you play, the more stuff you find. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Then. And it's got a it's got a really sick, twisted yet awesome sense of humor. Yeah, that works. <laughs> All right, so right now we're talking to Doctor Wiley. Doctor Wiley. <laughs> mm. I've well, always Dr. wanted Wiley. to know: Are his eyes like that because of his glasses, or are those his real eyes? <laughs> right. This is glasses. I'm sure they've probably been magnified like <laughs> over nine thousand. Yeah, he probably has the glasses that uh, that one woman had from uh, Central Intelligence that the the Rock's character had a crush on. She had two lazy eyes, and she had those glasses on, but you take them off, you can see both their lazy eyes. 
And Dr. Wally, he is a doctor too, but he's a douchebag. Do- doctor, the High Rule version or the Zelda version of Dr. House, I guess. <laughs> so this doctor kind of sucks. You couldn't figure out how to treat the Zora child. <laughs> Whoa. Ugh. <laughs> Who crapped underneath this thing? All right. Forget the re- I'm re- sorry. Re- You'd still be able to smell that even with a box over it. Yeah. Yeah. You got the medicine scent more like a the Zelda CDI games scent. It stinks. <laughs> oh dear yeah. lord. Oh man. Speaking yeah, of which, Wani, I have a bone to pick with your buddy Skip Rogers for mentioning Breath of the Wild and those games in the same sentence. Yeah. Oh man. He, uh, he got put on the list a long time ago. <laughs> All right, so the scent leads to Louise here. Hey, baby. Where's Thelma? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. White cat. White cat. Still Folks, I just had a realization. Thelma, Louise. Yeah. Get oh, it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you realized that a few parts back, remember? Did I? <laughs> yeah, you go, you go, I just now got that. No, oh, wow. I oh, well, you, I, got, I, you, I got it again. Well, you got it again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this white cat here looks like the cat from the. Remember those commercials, those cat food commercials back in the 80s or 90s, and they show the big fight, fight, big fight, ah, big fat white cat. Yeah, fi- big, a big fat white cat with a <laughs> diamond. Saying, knot. Man. Yeah, easy for me to He's say. He's having a stroke. Yeah, having a stroke. A big, <laughs> big fight white cat. <laughs> you put you put fat and white together, and you got fight. It's a fight cat. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this yeah. racist. Why can't it be black? Because it was a white cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. You have man. to change the color on your TV back there in the 80s if you wanted it to be black, I suppose. I don't know. Whoa, some Castlevania 64 action? Oh, wait. Oh, oh this game's good. <laughs> I like that game, too. Link can yeah. actually touch water. I actually, oh, have the, I actually have the Amiibo version of this on Wii U that came with the, the Wolf Link the Amiibo. And I, I don't even know where I'm at in it right now. Because I got sidetracked with some other games or something, but the good grief, man! From from what I've seen and played, it's it is it's pretty sweet. This game is pretty sweet, as me and Tips has talked yes. about. This is Ocarina of Time on steroids. Mm, yep. That works. All right, look at Skip Rogers' map. Where we're gonna go next. It does kind of look like him, doesn't it? Wait, who? What? <laughs> <laughs> Who looks like what? Skip, Ronnie. <laughs> well, I was talking about a map, and you said it looks like him. I said, wait, a map is a him? <laughs> you said Skip. You said Skip Rogers' map. Yeah. It's almost like the Necronomicon. Coming. Oh, to never life. mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get it. Never mind. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes Tibbs makes references I don't get to later. Like, remember part one of this LP where he's Chris Berman and the whoop, the whoop. Uh, reference, yes. and you go look, look on YouTube, or no, no, I said I'll look it on YouTube or, or look it online. Uh, Chris Berman and the A button, because the A button is what you push to go, to, to go whoop to the goats to get the goats in the barn. And I thought you were talking about the A button, Chris Berman, the A button. I don't get the reference. You go, no, no, not whoop, uh, whoop, or whatever he says. I go, oh, okay, like totally. Sorry, sound like Ric Flair there for a moment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I friggin' hated those goats. I hate, I hate, I hated that. I hate, like, corralling animals into something. That's one of the things about gaming that I can't stand. Because, like, even with, uh, say, Red Dead Redemption, when you had to take all of those frickin' cows or whatever and rustle them up and get them back to wherever you were supposed to go, I'm like, oh, dear Lord, just like this end. I loved everything else about the game, but that frickin' cattle rustling BS. <laughs> yeah, the first part of this game is boring. It gets very interesting when... The uh, goblins or whatever kidnap the children, and, and then Link gets sucked into the twilight. And that's pretty cool. That's where it gets interesting. Yeah. Yeah, all Zelda games have that period at the beginning where it's like teaching you stuff and before it lets you loose. It reminds me of the movie They Live with Roddy Piper. First 30 minutes oh, yeah. are boring, <laughs> but then it gets real interesting. Yeah. Rest I came here to kick time. ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of bubble gum. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> But the best fight scene ever. <laughs> I know. That fight scene was long. Yeah. Do you ever see the South Park where Timmy and Jimmy fought each other and it was yeah. choreographed exactly yeah. after that fight? 
Yeah, that's mm. hilarious. Cripple fight! Yeah. Ah, uh, the bridge of ECW. <laughs> the bridge is paved with blood and <laughs> broken bones and tacks and broken glass and flames. Yeah. yeah. And any other type of stuff you can find underneath the ring. Well, speaking of wrestling, Lucha Underground is freaking amazing. I've heard good and bad things about it. I know Jim Cornette ripped it apart. I, I was going to say, don't talk to Cornette about that. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. They got the first two seasons on Netflix, and oh my god, I'm just like, that. that's the that's the show that I'm binge-watching right now on there. I'm been binge -watching. Speaking of which, Sorry, I saw something this morning, Ronnie. Apparently on the WWE Network right now, they have something called like Southpaw Wrestling or something like that. It's a series. Oh, of, yeah. It's I like saw that. It's like... It's like skits parodying the old '80s wrestling, but with today's modern wrestlers. I should yeah. I should check that out because it looks hysterical. It's hilarious, man. Like especially especially Rusev and Lana's characters, and also um, and also uh, Gallows and Anderson, their characters they play in it. They're freaking hilarious. I think they only put out four or five episodes. I don't know if they're gonna do more, but I really wish they would do more. I was binge watching WCW from 1990 to 1993. Because in 94, that's when the new era started with Bobby Heenan and Hogan and Savage and all them coming in, which I loved, but I uh, I stopped watching that Starkey 93 because that was the end of an era. Yeah. Yeah, that was the end. That was the end of the Jim Hurd, Bill Watts losing money era. He, Jim Hurd, Jim Turd, jeez, he was terrible. <laughs> I mean, uh, do, do you know, know, he, do you he know what his job was? Ric Flair Spartacus. Yeah, and do you know what Spartacus. Do you know what his job was before he became WCW producer, whatever the heck he was? He was the air director for Pizza Hut. Oh Lord! How do you go from being an air director from Pizza Hut to being the Eric Bischoff of WCW? Exactly. No sense. No sense. <laughs> That's an insult to Eric Bischoff. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. At least Bischoff. Say what you want about him. He got WCW to get good before he, <laughs> before he, him or Russo, whoever. I mean, yeah. it, it wasn't just Bischoff, but a lot of things killed WCW. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Can I be honest with you? And the Legend of Zelda, Hyrule Warriors. I can't really do the New York accent that good. <laughs> <laughs> What's that game called? Uh, the Legend of Zelda, uh, the Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone. <laughs> Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, imitate Kong. Kevin Dunn. Anyone can do that. You see, we got this new Zelda game, see? But the problem <laughs> is, no one's going to know who Link is. <laughs> the be like, you know what, Jim? You need to get good in Zelda. I said, you know what? I'm tired of my feels Bucky Beaver <laughs> freaking teeth of yours. And speaking of getting good, you better get good and get your ass out of here before I reach across this table and beat the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jim Cornette always sounds like a fire and brimstone preacher. Well, I tell you what, yeah. Yoko Zuna is a heavyweight champion. He's not going to take anybody trying to bring him down. He's a big man. And Mr. Fuji, he is his manager. And I will stand by him in this championship tournament. It just goes on and on and on and on. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, you have to turn down the volume sometimes because <laughs> he starts to really go off. I'm like, my God, those glasses are going to slip off of his face because he's sweating so daggum much from yelling into the microphone. One time his nose was bleeding because I think he was yelling too much. <laughs> and I can see Jim Cornette, Heyman, and Paul Bear being preachers. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah rest in peace, Paul Bear. Yeah. <clears throat> or like um, Brother Love back in the 80s. <laughs> oh, yeah, Brother Love. Who's yeah. oh, that guy in ECW, the, uh, the Sinister Minister? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what, what was his name? He was also in TNA as well. I forgot TNA, what his name he was. was. Uh, 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 something Mitchell, brother, uh, something James Mitchell, father James Mitchell. And in yeah, WCW, he, he in WCW, yeah, in WCW, he was James Vandenberg. Hmm. He looked right. like somebody evil. <laughs> well, look at this. Uh, welcome to uh, Sunset Riders for the GameCube. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait, Tibbs, this is the town with no name for GameCube. <laughs> Say <laughs> Pilgrim, what game is this? I don't know, John Wayne with a stroke. <laughs> That's the name of it, John Wayne with a stroke. Yeah. Do you see the 
that idiot can come after me. <laughs> that, that, no, that's that's Clint Eastwood. No. <laughs> <laughs> Get off of my damn lawn. Yeah. All right. Uh, so right here, you gotta destroy all the these gremlins or whatever they are before you can talk to the uh, uh, elder of this village or whoever is supposed to talk to you here. I was supposed to ask, was this a GameCube version? And then I realized that it is, because I almost said, oh, is this the Wii U version? Uh, nope. <laughs> nah, I prefer the GameCube version. I mean, that's the one I played, and I just... I did have a little bit of fun with the Wii, but I, I can't really imagine fully playing a, a Zelda game all the way through with the Wii motion controls. I have to play games the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I didn't even play Skyward Sword, because I that whole motion control thing... I hate motion controls, man. I hate them with a burning passion. Every time I try to use them, they always, they're always they so faulty. The calibration and everything, no matter how many times you try to calibrate, they always screw up with me all the freaking time. So I said, well, I'm just going to stick with Zelda games that don't require that. And luckily, luckily, this on the Wii U do doesn't require any motion controls. I think you can put them in there if you want to, but you don't have to, which I definitely turned that off. Yeah. I never had a problem with them. When they're done right, they're good. When they're done terribly, they're bad. And with something like Breath of the Wild, yes, I am glad that motion controls are no longer really a factor. But I, I do like how in Breath of the Wild, you can aim your bow just with your movement. And I think that that gives me a little bit more precision than mm -hmm. using it with the stick. Same thing with the Metroid Prime trilogy on the Wii. I feel like aiming Samus's, um gun with the, the Wii remote is a little bit more accurate than doing it with a stick, but that's just me. Yeah, it's just like how it is, say if you're playing on PC or something and you're playing a first-person shooter and you're using a mouse, you can get really precise with it. And they, when they actually implement the motion control into the control itself of the Switch to be able to, to, de to deal with the bow and arrow, it makes a big difference, which actually I haven't tried that yet. And I think I really need to because it might help me out a little just for the fact of, of aiming. <clears throat> Even the pro controller has it and has the motion stuff in it, which is actually kind of cool. All right, so I I'm prefer it. It shouldn't be a standard. It should just be optional. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just like I said in the SmackDown vs. Raw game, starting in 2006, they took out background music and it was mandatory. I said that is BS. That should be optional. Mm hmm. Speaking of music, Breath of the Wild needs some daggum music. <laughs> it has like no music in it, really. Yeah, it's very atmos. It's just very atmospheric, like low key. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, wait. Okay, that's the. Uh, I assume that's. Whoa, whoa Mrs. Miyagi. <laughs> I just that's came you in the forty years, Ronnie. What was that? Forty years. <laughs> no, jeez. Oh, that's you in forty. <laughs> I just came out of the bathroom. What's all the ruckus going on out here? Yeah. Impaz. We here in the impaz zone. <laughs> that's why. That's why there's nobody here. Hey, FDL. <laughs> Yeah, I wish Matt and Jeff would actually go to WWE, but they're going to Ring of Honor, from what I've heard. Yeah. Did you see that Impact Wrestling is trying to stop them from using the broken thing? Yeah, that's a mess, and Rebby Sky is just ripping them apart. <laughs> or is it Rebby Sky or Rebby Hardy, or is that, that that's a, uh, yeah, that's Matt Hardy's wife, is it? <clears throat> I don't no clue. Know. Just like WWE doesn't want Cody Rhodes to call himself Cody Rhodes. Yeah, that's 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 low right there. He had, I mean, you know, that's part of who he is. I mean, yeah, in real life, his last name is Runnels, I guess, but still, like Rhodes, he has, he should have the right to that name. I mean, I, I think legally WWE might be right, but morally they're wrong. You know, no one would try to have ever told Dusty something like that back in the day. He gonna yeah. do what he want to do. Let me tell you something, Daddy. The Rose name has been with me since the day I was born. And let me tell you something about hard times, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting foggy like a monkey. Yeah. Indeed. He said that in an interview like on uh, WCW Wrestling uh, in, in 87. I thought I said the F word. It said funky like I thought I said that. 
that damn <laughs> fucking like a monkey. Whoa. Oh, shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, what you gonna do like a monkey? What you gonna do with a monkey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so as we have a touching moment with Mrs. Miyagi, we are gonna head out of here. Indeed. Wait, we just had a touchy moment. Now we're talking again. <laughs> Maybe she wants some more touchy. The awkward moment where you say goodbye to somebody sincerely and you come right back because you forgot something. Yeah, cheap plug right here. Uh, this is the Ravenous Specter. You know, you know, if anybody wants to check out the channel, be my guest. Yeah, click on the link below. Indeed. And what, what is Link doing, idiot? Oh, warping. Oh, man, no one's gonna see me right there. It's a ghost town. <laughs> and Mrs. Miyagi is far away. She can't see me. It's probably almost blind. Oh, he's getting his. She should his, be uh, just happy to be alive. Workout in. Right? Yeah. Jeez. We'll have to transform <laughs> some other time. And in part twenty-five, or we'll do more um, grinding or side quests, or whatever the heck Link is doing. Thank you very much, Spectre, for joining us. Indeed. And we hope to have yes, you back thank you, sir. for many more Indeed. commentaries. And until Indeed. then, guys, God bless and take care. Indeed. Bye-bye. Adios. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Part 25. Jeez, 25. This is Ron Moore, along with Jeff. I know where you all live. Yeah, Part 25. Well, this is a long game. I expected it to be... I'm guessing it's going to probably go maybe 35 to 40 parts at most, maybe. Hey, everybody, this is Ron Moore with part 100. Whoa, hold on. I barely heard you. You went low there. Oh, I was trying to trying to do your voice. I can't do it very well, though. Oh, <laughs> hey, guys, this is Ron Moore, and God bless and take care. Yeah. <laughs> We're on part 400. I'm 67 years old, but we're going to finish this. <laughs> right, yeah. That's how long it's taken my Oracle seasons for a while. I'm still on part 11, or working on part 11. Really? <laughs> yeah, probably because uh, it's it's yeah, just other stuff getting getting in the way, and then Twilight Princess is more fun to work on because it's like dual commentary, not just me. That's a good point. I can understand you there. All right, so now I am talking to our uh, back in. Uh, I forgot his name. To Tonka's house, whatever. To Tonka. And, okay, now I got. I have to show her this. A relic or whatever it is to try to get her memory back. Cause remember, this is the girl with amnesia. I don't know if you're familiar with what's going on here. I, I have no clue. I'm just I'm here for the experience mostly. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully she's remembering who Link is here. I wonder if they actually like have some kind of science division and they just clone Links. Like they just have vats of Links waiting. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, she remembers. Finally! Jeez! He looks more girlish than usual. Yeah. In this moment. <laughs> Your horse is just like, whatever, I just... Yeah, he's like... And she's like, yay! She remembers! <laughs> Quit horsing around. Uh, oh, snap. Looks like they're about to fall in love. Is he supposed to be, is he supposed to be in love with Zelda? <laughs> yeah, what, what's going on there? I thought he wanted to bone Zelda. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem right. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? That's uh, Mr. Miyagi as a Goron. Ah, I forgot about Gorons. They're creepy. Go back to your own land. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna we're gonna build a wall to keep the Gorons out. Yeah. Uh, more sentimental music. Another sentimental moment. <laughs> How is that floating? What is going on? You're a witch. Burn her. Okay, so now you can call Epona from anywhere, not just where you find that grass where you whistle with it. Uh, well, I'm sorry to tell you, lady. I was actually going to go do stuff with the princess. You know, she promised a little more than what you could promise, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and it, wait, wait. <laughs> Yeah, you're just a farm girl. She's a princess. Then again, it could yeah. be a plot twist where the the guy uh, falls for the the servant right, rather than the princess or the queen. <laughs> Good point. Darn confusing games. They all confuse me. Yeah.
the heavenly messenger. Hmm. Is that ISIS? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> Oops. Now, now, now the NSA is listening. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, we got another Jeff over here. All right. What's he talking about this time? Well, he mentions ISIS for one minute, and then that's it. Yeah. Nice to talk her. Tatanka, go make me some trucks. Yeah, we said that. I think the last part. Uh, we're, well, we're, damn it, we're, I wasn't here. No, the uh, one of the wrestling commentators. There, there, there was a wrestler named Tatanka, and Bobby Heenan goes, you know, when I was a kid, no, someone else has said that. Uh, Rod Bartley from Raw, from 1993. He goes, yeah, I loved uh, the, I loved his toys when I was a kid. Like, what are you talking about? The Tatanka toys. Like, no, that's <laughs> Tonka. <laughs> Wow. You talk a big game. I fail. <laughs> you vote no. Back to Hyrule Field. <laughs> I, 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 I told Tibbs this. Uh, everybody's playing, and including Tibbs, and talking about Breath of the Wild. I'm over here playing Twilight Princess. Playing... Oh God! Damn yeah. it! That boy wants me again. I don't like when you ride on my back. <laughs> yeah. All right, and this is where we. Well, what are you doing, you idiot? This is where we had that famous joust battle with one of the big sweat hogs. <laughs> this is. This reminds me a lot of Metal Gear Solid Five right now. Calling up D Horse. They t they ripped off Legend of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> we get to hear the awesome night music again. Yeah. Stop hitting it with your spurs. It's too much on a horse. Yeah. Whoa, as the game loaded right there for a second. I know, that was weird. It, it's, it's so inferior. Nintendo doesn't know what to do anymore. Yeah. Whoa, you're on fire. You know, I mean, this, game is, this game is big. I cannot imagine how big Breath of the Wild is. Actually, I think it's only like four gigs. I don't know. Tips will know that. I have to double check on that, but the cartridges don't hold very much, actually. And I mean, you, gotta, you can download some, but... I think it's about four gigs. They managed to compress a lot on four gigs, which is amazing. Yeah. Well, they had to switch it up. Uh, hey, the Switch is selling great right now, but there's, other than Breath of the Wild, there's not really many games. Yeah, well, it's just the but beginning. I know, but where's your launch titles? You should at least have five good, like, you know, really down, you know, awesome launch titles. Here's Mr. Miyagi's wife. Mrs. Miyagi. <laughs> oh, very original with the name, Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah, way to go, Captain Obvious. If you yeah. use your sword, you can cut stuff. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm imagining you dressed up like Captain Obvious from the commercial. With a Skip Rogers voice. Yes. Yes. All right, Mr. Mr. to the Heavens. I like how they improvise words in red or certain colors when talking about somebody. Guarded the book. The book. The book. You got the ancient sky book, a book written in the ancient sky language, a crucial work, and it it is missing some characters. Ah, uh, you're missing some characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, suffering builds character if you don't shut up. Oh snap! Well, unfortunately, you know you're like a thousand miles away from me, yeah. so okay. sky riding. <laughs> what are you? You're gonna write die, Jeff. Yeah, you're gonna um, see it in Illinois. Yes, Illinois. Because you're from Come Chicago. On. Oh yeah, we're we're all from Chicago. Yeah. Uh, we we all shoot each other. I wish there was a DJ just so I can go to Illinois one night and say, "Yo, yo, Chicago, make some Illinois." <laughs> see, I don't mind that. We were going to uh, we we've done some uh, fan we've done some uh, home movies in the past, little amateur movies. We wanted to do a suspense thriller called Illinois. <laughs> That'd be pretty interesting. I remember these wrestlers, Adrian Christian. Sometimes they would go into different towns to get the towns' names wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great. I think they're in Louisville, Louisville Kentucky. Yeah. And, and Christian goes, "It's great to be here with our fans here in Louisville." <laughs> it must well, start well, no, I mean that. That's how it's pronounced. I say Louisville, but everybody in Kentucky uh, says Louisville. That that's yeah. not a word. I that's think, you just uh, slurring. I, I think uh, Jericho was in. I can't say it. Terra Terra Haute, Indiana. Yeah, Terra Haute. He Terre goes. Haute. Is it great to be here in Terry Haute? 
<laughs> Terry Holte. Oh, come on. I can't Jamie, even say Terry Holte. Jamie would be like, hey, hey, don't, don't diss my state. Well, well, most of Indiana sucks, except for, like, central Indiana's okay. Oh, Jamie is coming after you. No, that's about where he lives in central Indiana. That's uh, a good area. That's fine. The north and the south suck. All right, so Link here is going to learn another song as we play a game with the cats where you got to find 20 cats just to play a game with them. There better be a good reward. I'm guessing a heart piece. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you someone, howling? Someone should hack into this game and, and you can hum the Wolfpack theme. Uh, it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a wrestling joke. The NWO Wolfpack theme. Dun, 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 dun. And then, like, you unlock uh, some of the NWO members, including Hollywood Hogan. No, they're going to put Pepe's theme in here to piss off the SJWs. <laughs> Pepe from uh, Napoleon Dynamite? No, it's it's a little uh, frog that's supposed to symbolize racism, but it doesn't. But for some reason, SJWs think it does. Oh, yeah, I think I, I said Pepe. I'm thinking of Pedro. Yeah. That's yeah, racist. Pedro's. We're not, we're, we don't all have the same name, Ronnie. <laughs> Yeah, Ronnie, you live in Texas. I'd be careful with that. Yeah. I mean, SJWs or the ECW? No. Well, no, I don't know where the SJWs I know where some of them are. I can I can, I can give you a list, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to put you on the list. <laughs> I might, I'm probably already on a list because I'm, I'm a white straight male. We're both on the list, man. Yeah. Well, let me be straight with you and tell you that Link is learning another song here. Why do you have a chain on you still? He's still that, chain, that chain is still chained to him. I know. I don't. I don't get it. You, 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 there should not be a chain. Well, chain. I mean, you're probably not familiar with the beginning of the game, but he's uh, mid another that spirit that's been um, uh, always on his. his her right here. She <laughs> freed. She freed him from uh, when she was uh, in prison in the dungeon of the Hyrule Castle at the yes. beginning of the game, and so. That's that's why he still has that around his ankle, but it's it's kind of it's slightly distracting, I guess. Like, is it still like that part of it is still attached to him? Okay. okay. That, I mean, that's why it's still. I mean, but for you, you're not familiar with what happened. That's why he has that around his ankle because he was chained earlier in the, in the beginning of the game. Also, are you talking to a mother effing chicken? Right. Yeah. The, Colonel Sanders. Uh, he got mutated. Uh, he got cursed. And he's, uh, if he's I was a that chicken. fox, I would probably eat that chicken just right now. Just. Like you look good. Well, this is a a, a good fox or fox a wolf. Hmm. Foxy lady. Dun, 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 dun. Oh wait, wait! Oh, third party uh, ad. <laughs> oh, oh nope. There we go. Yep. Google's like, nope. Yeah. You can't do this. Man, the software must really be sensitive if it did do that, based on oh, my, my uh, uh, impressions from my mouth. Down, 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 down. Copyright protected. No. No, I had I had a reviewer when he when he came back to YouTube after he was on Blimp for the longest time because Blimp was a piece of garbage and closed down. Uh, he 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 used to like do uh, he used to put songs in his reviews a lot to make fun of a point. So he replaced all of it with him singing the song. It's fantastic. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, man. while while Link uh, screws around uh, instead of trying to save Hyrule here, we could talk a little bit more about Blimp because I do feel. I did use Blip in hopes of generating some revenue, which I did, which is only like ten dollars. But then I only got seven dollars out of it because of PayPal charges being sent, the check being sent through the mail. I think um, I think I made twenty five, but that was because I had a, I had extra posters posting and stuff. And but Blip like did this thing where they're going to get rid of everybody's account unless they make real money. So I was one of the accounts that got deleted, including Star Soldier. And we got, I think. And I was trying yeah. to download uh -huh. all the videos to re-upload on YouTube, and for some reason, the NES 20, the NES, uh, no, not the 30th, the NES 25th anniversary podcast uh -huh. ended up getting lost. Now, I think it's lost forever now because there was an error, and you had 30 uh -huh. days to download all the files from Blip and move it to your computer. Um, uh -huh. And they can figure it out. I said, thanks a lot. Now this file is lost forever because you guys want to get rid of my account and everybody else's account that's not generating enough revenue, which is kind of dumb. I mean... Uh, you should still keep those accounts around. I mean, that's why uh, you have ads. That makes sense to me. I don't understand. Yeah, it. and then they close down. I'm like, well, that's that, well, I can't feel sorry for you. That's what you get. And then I remember Rich from Utah USA talking about, uh, you know, it's sad they closed down because it's where some people got their start, and and the people that were making real revenue can't make revenue there anymore. So, I mean, I do feel bad for those people, but at the same time, I mean, blip, they, I guess barely were a blip on the radar, and. 
Oh hey. no, they, they really were like they tried. I I, I loved it. All those people at uh, that guy with the glasses really thought it was the n big shit, the newest thing. Like, this would be great. And I mean, I thought that might be a chance, but with YouTube getting so big, you know, by maybe like the third year of Blimp, you knew it was over. Yeah, well, I think Mastran tried tried me, uh, uh, talked me into trying it out. Like I, I, I like the idea. Like, okay, I, I'm, I'm semi-popular. You know, you're semi-popular. Let's maybe we can, you know, do something with this. And... Yeah. Well, I don't know. Me, I barely, I barely am a blip on the YouTube gaming community radar. Uh, the only reason I'm friends with a lot of them. That's mostly my reason. Yeah. All right, and oh, fail. Dumbass, get up there. Yeah, so again, forget about saving Hyrule. Let's just play these uh, side quests here. <laughs> I mean, they do uh, aid you on your quest, though, but still. It just seems silly. Like, if, I know it's just a game, but I saw a meme on Facebook where someone said, All right, Link, go save Hyrule. And it shows them doing these side quests, and, and oh, they're looking at them like, Link, really? We need you to save us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're we, here we, goofing yeah. Off. we need you to hurry up. Stop, stop fucking around. Yeah, I need you to save Hyrule by 3 p.m. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got that message from that guy today. Ronnie, it's been since December. I need you to finish this LP. Okay. <laughs> Freaking Lundberg. Lundberg. There ain't nothing, though. I've had LPs that have lasted uh, the longest one to this day, still Ocarina of Time, about three years. Um, Yoshi's Island, nine months. Mario All Stars, nine months. That's because it's all, I finished all the games in one card. Yeah, you, but still. you did the whole thing. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. So, I mean, I understand, like, not many people complain, but, like, uh,. I've noticed, you know, on my own, like, uh, man, it's t sometimes it takes me forever to get certain LPs done, but at least it adds longevity to the channel, so I guess and, and nothing what, else. If you play in those kind of games, you, you can still find things to talk about. Like, the only thing I could think of to do a long, like, like 100 or 200 part long play, this is Jeff with uh, the 105th part of Hearts of Iron 4. Like, yeah, uh, oh, we're really fighting those Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> you'd be out of, like, my episode of 5, you'd be out of things to talk about. I remember years ago, I saw a Let's Play, it says, uh, okay, a game called Mother 3, I think it's like a sequel to Earthbound or something. Yeah, it's like, it's Japanese, yeah, a sequel, yeah. I didn't watch the whole LP, but I stumbled upon the title of the video, it said Mother 3, Part 83, I'm like, wow, that's a long game, either that or he's just really dividing it into, uh, different, uh, 10 minutes each or something. It, it might be, uh, sorry, it might be like ad bait, it's like, it come might on. Be. Click on it. You know you want to. Yeah. I don't. I I don't have ad blocker on just because I I don't mind if I'm watching a channel I like. I just like to support them with ads. The only reason why I have ad blocker is because uh, oh, like, like cer there's certain websites I go to that I frequent. Oh. And okay. it, it, here, here's the thing. It pissed me off. It redirects me. A big ad redirects me, and to another really? website, and I gotta click back, and then oh, it's frustrating. I'm like this, this is why people get ad blockers. Ridiculous. I get that on my phone sometimes, but I never have to worry about it on my computer. I've never had that issue. But, uh, uh -huh. I just talked to the 20th cat. You talked to 20 cats already? Damn. Yeah, you know, just to say hello. All right, I'm number one, number two, all right, number three. And now I'll talk to this person, I guess, orchestrated the game. Here's my prize. Yep, a heart piece. I knew it. It's definitely a piece of somebody's heart. Yeah. You, right. you take, you're taking human hearts. It's pretty effed up. Yeah. Well, are they human hearts? I'm sure they are. You're getting I, the I hearts know, I, of something. Yeah. That's not what a heart looks like. A heart looks like the, a, a real heart is the heart in contra. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. I guess you're. Oh God, yeah, you're right. Oh boy. Yeah. Now, now Red, Red Falcon, say what you want about him, but he had a big heart. <laughs> Until I broke it to a million pieces. Oh, oh Ronnie. I destroyed his heart. For shame. Back to Crackhead Village again. Crackhead Village again. No, Kakarika Village. Oh, okay. Uh, for years I thought it was Kakariko Village. Because when I was a kid, you try to you yeah. know, pronounce whatever the heck it is. And then, you know, years later you see on YouTube or uh, videos the right way to pronounce it. I mean, I've heard of, instead of Magus, it's supposed to be Magus. And oh, yeah, Magus. It'll being, always be Magus, though. Like, you know, technically... A lot of people don't like to pronounce the name technically. They want to pronounce it, I guess, the way they've all grew up pronouncing it. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no, or or it'll be da 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 Japan. Never gets old. Uh, the gaming historian again. 
the game against Tori. <laughs> I think Neil wouldn't be very happy you saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine him just busting out with a video talking bad about me. So there's this loser named Ron Moore, or Ron Blower. <laughs> no, did you ever get a chance to meet him back when he was first starting out? He's a good, he's a really, he's one of the nicer ones still. Oh, cool. But, uh, like, well, he was smart. He got on with RetroWare early because they liked his concept, which was a great concept. You know who else is with RetroWare, I think? Who's Go that? Goemon. Really? Yeah, I think that's so. That's cool. Along Good for with him. That, that's the that's the click with the H H B G N in them, right? Yeah, yeah. Does, yeah, does I, the, I think Goemon is with them. Yeah. Does the H B G N still do videos? I haven't watched him in a yeah, couple but, years. Yeah, but not as H B G N. Um, oh, see, he, I, he, I liked his concept. Like he's like happy things, and I enjoyed watching his reviews. Yeah, but I think like he he explained it in a video where in 2013, 2014, it was time to put H B G N to rest for a certain reason, like. I guess that it ran its course, but he still does reviews as uh, Derek Alexander from a channel, or I think a channel. He changed his channel name to Stop Skeletons from Fighting. So, okay. yeah, he, okay. he he still does great reviews though. But yeah, I miss the HVGN. Yeah, I mean, I get it. You know, the you know, angry video game nerd isn't as popular as he used to be, and I get it. You know. Oh, but... oh, look, Dominion Rod. All right, I got the power back. The Dominion Rod, if you know what I mean, ladies. <laughs> Actually, I have no clue what I mean. I don't yeah. understand sexual innuendos. <laughs> he has his rod has Dominion. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. mine too. <laughs> Shut up, Beavis. You don't have you don't have a Dominion. <laughs> Shut up, bud. At least I got a rod. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Nimrod. Oh. Operation Nimrod. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now that we got the power back in the Dominion Rod, we're going to use it to see if we can communicate with the sky people or get, take to the sky or whatever in part 26. Until then, God bless and take care. Give me sky cake. <laughs> Welcome to part 26 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs. Yo, yo. Alright, and now we are leaving Tatanka's home again. And... No class, no style. Yeah, right. And this is taking a while to get to the, to get to heaven or wherever we need to get to. The sky people, jeez. It's just... Well, you gotta long... go through hell first. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you gotta do a lot here to, uh, in order to get to... The Sky World, uh, Sky, Skyland, whatever it's called, Mario Three. Well, it's because they they build it up a lot, so they gotta make you go jump through a lot of hoops to get to it. Yeah, that's why it usually it takes like maybe another two parts or so to make it to the next dungeon. This is like what the third part in between dungeons. So hopefully the next part or the part after that will be over the next dungeon. Yeah. But we'll see. This is like Breath of the Wild Junior. <laughs> So right now we gotta hunt down the, uh, what, what's it called, Tibbs? The sky statues? Yes, you gotta get those letters. Yeah, the artifact from, uh, the, that's missing in, in the, in the book called Skywriting. Oh, there's one of them right there. It's the ECW rod. Alright, here we go. Come on, little doggy. Just when you thought you were done with the Dominion rod. The rest are rugged rod price. Here we go, more wrestling references. Who the hell is that? Yeah, old school uh, from the Dallas territory, the Barnary's wrestled. Rugged rod <laughs> price. He wrestled briefly. I know rugged I Ronnie mean, Garvin. I mean, briefly wrestled in ECW. Alright, so what Nick is doing right here is trying to maneuver that. Right, maneuver. maneuver! Another reference. Maneuvering that. Dominion statue, or what? We got the sky statue. In order to get over. Ah, fail. Ah, oh, fail. Jeez. Well, forget. We get the artifact for now. Yeah, each one of these has a chest with a hundred rupees in it nearby. I think. Yeah. We get one sky character. How many missing characters? I didn't one, tell two. you how many you have left. It just says other. One, two, three. According to the map, four. No, there's more than that. 
10? Jeez. Remember, this is just Hyrule Field. Oh, yeah. So I think is, is there, one, there might be one in Arbiter's Grounds. I mean, not Arbiter's Grounds. Uh, there, there's one in the desert. Uh, yep. Mexico, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I think one in Farron, South Farron Woods. That one actually can get you something really nice. I want a heart piece, dang it. No, don't you have enough hearts? Shut up. <laughs> you gotta have the heart. Yeah. Oh, watch out, I'm being uh, chased by trolls here. I'm trying to outrun them. All the trolls that hate Breath of the Wild. Oh, oh! Whoa. That was close. Yeah. There's the Bridge of Elden, the part where it came loose. Those marks are there even before it breaks. Yeah. Alright, whoa, almost got shot right there. Okay, the statue's up there somewhere. For some reason, I always get a chuckle when you're running around with the rod, just... Doom, 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 doom. Huh. There it is. No, idiot. All right. He just bends down and picks up nothing. Here. All right, so let's go to here. He took a quick nap. Yeah, go to the third artifact. And that's the artifact, Jack. Well, watch out. I feel like Indiana Jones here climbing up the... Like climbing up while they're shooting arrows at me. In that case, is Akko a short round? Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Heart piece, come Sorry, on. Sorry, Jeff. Big bucks, big bucks, and... Yes! There you go. Stop! Yeah! I'm, I'm Michael Larson maybe. here. That's right. Maybe he'll have another one by the end of this video. Maybe not. I guess you have to keep watching. Yeah. Let's go back to Hyrule Castle Town for the tenth time. I wonder how that feels, all your molecules being broken down. Right? And pray they get put back together in the right order. Yeah. I did see like a parody video or a parody commercial of an 80s, uh, maybe 80s uh, drink commercial where they drink something, they all like. Um, turn to fireballs and fly around, then they fuse together, but they're all deformed looking because they fuse right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, I, tried, got, I lost count already, that's sad. Is this the fourth artifact? Yes. No, second. No, wait. I don't know. <laughs> well, keep count. You can't do it right. You suck. Oh, ouch, she got clubbed in the back of the head. He's gone clubbing. All right, that's probably a rupee. I wonder what they use this amphitheater for. Probably, uh, gladiator battles. Yep. Welcome to Howl World Gladiators. I'm M Mike Adam Lee. My name is Link, and tonight I unleash hell. Yeah. All right, let's go up here. Oh, for the fourth or fifth artifact, still lost count. <laughs> You'll know when we know. Link's like, yeah, whatever. Wow, well, still got another one to go. Yeah, that's right. One in uh, the desert land, and then. Uh, South Fern Woods. Yeah, is there land? Is this Mario 3? Right, yeah. Uh, first it says Skyland, then Desert Land. Next is Woodland. There was a place called <laughs> the, the Woodland. So Link uh, likes Woodland. Yeah, Woodland. You gotta go there in the morning. <laughs> See, he cares more about the money than the actual quest. Yeah, right. <laughs> Greedy. Link turns heel. It's like Hogan. I did everything for the money, brother. 
Link joins the HWO, how real world order. He actually joins. No, he's actually more evil than Ganon. I did it for the rock. Yeah. I, I did have a Nintendo uh, comic book. It's like a collection of different series of comics, punch out comic, uh, short comics, Zelda, punch out, I think Mario. And the Zelda one, Link actually turns heel because he's, uh, he, I think, gets corrupted by the Triforce of Power. Hmm. I mean, he turns back to good again. I think Zelda helped him snap out of it, but yeah, it's like he was evil. He was well, like, you're turning into Ganon. Excuse me. Yeah, and his face like looked like Ganon too, like a pig face. And it's like you turn, you're turning into Ganon. All right, back in Mexico now. Well, that's what happens when you don't get any. Yeah. All right, back in Mexico now, and uh, I guess Trump hasn't <laughs> built the wall yet. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> the Arbiter's Grounds of World. No, I'm not even going there. <laughs> I'm not. Because that, that is grounds for dismissal. SC2K, where gamers are politically correct. Yeah, right. If I stop myself in my tracks, you know what was bad. Yeah. We've got one more to go, I think. I know right where it is. I know this music right here. Link yeah, there's some areas in Zelda games I always really like. Yeah, Gurdo Valley uh, and, and NECW. Gurdo Valley and Ocarina of Time was pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to the south side. South Fern Woods. We're alive here in the South Fair Woods. As Link gets the last artifact. Shut up, JR! <laughs> he gets always gonna find all JR. What's he doing? Look, he's trying to sing. <laughs> this is the site of the legendary battles with the Skull Kid. Yeah. The battles are that's uh in the in annals of time. In Ocarina of Time. As Gorilla Monsoon would say, they are hanging from the trees. Yeah. Oh, shut up, Monsoon. You hang from the trees too, you gorilla. <laughs> Remember when the episode of Raw, December 93, Gorilla Monsoon pwned Bobby Heenan and kicked him out of the WWF? Yeah. I think Heenan was legitimately crying, though. Yeah, I heard that he too. Because he was sad to leave. I heard that too. That was his... He, he chose... To have him go out like that because Grandma soon his friend. I, the, I, I, I'm not ashamed to admit that when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame and he wished Monsoon was there, I, I started to cry. That, that was that was sad. Yeah, it was. You know, Monsoon would have been the one to induct him. Oh, without a doubt. But who who did induct Bobby Heenan that year? I forgot. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I gotta go back and look. It might be Mean Gene. That was the first Hall of Fame, not the first Hall of Fame ever, but like in, in a, every year after uh, before WrestleMania. Right. And I know Bobby Heenan, Sergeant Slaughter, Jesse Ventura, um, some others too. But uh, I was trying to remember who inducted him. Might have been Mean Gene. I'm not sure. Finally, you got all the artifacts. Da 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 da. -da. Yeah. All right, now let's go talk to the gaming historian for probably the last time. And did you read his letter? No, but Swindog got handed the letter. What? I was gonna hand this letter here. It says what? <laughs> I mean, one time uh, he he had said in one of those old audio shows, uh, Melissa, you haven't posted a message in a while. Uh, Melissa's gonna be m missing her teeth if she don't post a message. <laughs> See. All right, let's see if the spell works this time. He was inducted by Blackjack Lanza. Uh, I wonder why you think me Jean would be the one inducted, but whatever. Eh. 
And you think Arn Anderson? Wop bam boom. You think uh, Arn Anderson would have been one to induct Ric Flair? But no, uh, Flair chose Triple H. But oh uh, well, whatever his choice. And what William Shatner of all people to induct uh, Jerry Lawler? Yeah, I, well there is some history behind that, but I forgot exactly what. Yeah, because he was on Raw like once. Yeah, but I think the person they had in mind, I don't know, couldn't do it for whatever reason, or or I don't. You know. could have have someone from like the old Memphis territory do it, but. They would not know who that person was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine Kevin Dunn and Jim Cornette doing this last play, and Cornette's playing, and then Kevin Dunn goes, You know what, Jim? You need to get good, kid. <laughs> you know what you need to get good at, mother? He's fixing those Bucky Beaver <laughs> teeth of yours before I reach across this table and beat the f out of you. I could watch that clip every day. And JR's in the commentary too, but he's the one quiet and not laughing because he knows Jim Cornette's for real. <laughs> but you Have you ever heard the, cli the yeah. clip of when Co Cornette met up with Ed Ferrara and said he would beat the crap out of He like spat in his eye in front of everyone. Yeah. Or Kevin Dunn said, you don't understand, when I was a kid, kids made fun of my teeth and crying in front of him. <laughs> oh, Kevin. You know what, Tibbs? I'm starting to find you tiresome. <laughs> you know what I'm tired of? <laughs> no, Jeff would be Kevin Dunn. I'm sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and no, Je Jeff is Kevin Dunn. J-Man is Cornette. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm JR, sitting there all awkward and quiet, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can be McMahon. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so we found, what was that, I guess the launching cannon that's going to take us to the sky? There, There's actually a way to glitch this part. Oh, really? Like, he has to leave in order to do this, and I think there's a way. I think it's if you save here and then load it, reload it, he won't leave the room, and Midna will not let you uh, transport this thing. So you kind of like lock yourself out of it. So what do you do to fix it? You gotta start the game, not the game over, but like, um, obviously not the game, but the file over from where you last saved, or, or what? I, it's never happened to me. Again, this is only like hearsay, what I've read. Have you seen it on YouTube or anywhere? Not myself, no. Because I wonder if Son of a Glitch knows about it, if it is true. It could depend on the version, I don't know. What the molecules did not form right on the cannon and you can't get to the sky, you can't beat the game, you can't save Hyrule. <laughs> like I know Skyward Sword has a big game breaking bug in it. Game? It breaks it messes up the game? Yeah, it like corrupts your save file so that the, the game can't progress. Well, that's messed up. Thankfully I knew about it ahead of time, so I knew what to avoid. There's one thing I oh, forgot to do. Here we go. I forgot to do this to get the last skill. The last one. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Don't turn your back on the wolf pack. There can be only one. The other day I watched a series of, like, Sid, his, like, worst, like, the worst times he botched his lines. Freaking hysterical. Yeah, where he goes, let me start that over. Oh, we're live, pal. Oh, sorry. Anyway! <laughs> and the one with, uh, he's with the Macho Man, he goes, Now, when you, when you, when you mess with this mind's man, this man's mind, excuse me. And then Kevin Ash, I don't have half the brain that you do! I tweeted that to Sid one time. I said, forget the haters, Sid. They don't have half the brain that you do. <laughs> he never responded, so I don't know if he knew to like it or hate it. 
Uh, the best thing he ever said is when he broke his leg. If you look real close, he goes, "Oh fuck." Oh. <laughs> Tell me how tough he is. Ah, oh, dang it. Apparently, he didn't want to do that. They made him do that. Yeah, and it's like, man, how are you gonna have someone? Like, like, he's not Mike Awesome. I mean, not every big man can, can you know, be Ariel. <laughs> Whoa. Three sword. Wait, that's the last skill? Man, that's basic. Don't it I have that already? It should have been the hurricane spin. That's basic. I thought I had that the entire game. I Maybe I'm just thinking of a link to the past and or green of time. Because that, man, that's a basic move. Like, when you have full... Well, you have, uh, you remember, you remember the spin move was you had that full magic or full hearts and only to the past? I forgot, but that, man, that's nothing new. No, you didn't have to have full hearts to do the spin attack. You needed full hearts to do the sword beam. Okay, well, the spin attack, though, you, you did it in other Zelda games. I thought you can also do it in here. I guess not, but, man, I thought it would be something you haven't seen before. I would have saved the mortal draw for last. Yeah. That's my favorite. Or well, was it really? Are these really in order, though? Yeah, they they he always gives them to you in the same order. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Then the mortal jaw should have been last. Man, come on. All right. So now let's take to the skies as we play Wings for the GameCube. That's one of my favorite albums. Take to the skies. Excuse me! Well, I kissed the Skyward Sword on the Wii. Coming soon. <laughs> you know, recently I heard that some people actually thought that that line, instead of excuse me while I kiss the sky, was excuse me while I kiss this guy. <laughs> well, okay. I, I can kind of understand that. But here's what is stupid. You know, you got another thing coming. People thought he was saying, you got another think coming. <laughs> what? That makes no sense. You got another think coming. It's, it's, it's the title of the damn song. Yeah, like, why would you... That don't even sound right. But I made those dumb mistakes before, too. Like, carry on my wayward son. Something, something done. I thought it was carry on my wayward soul. And then something done, and then my friend Heather goes, No, it's not a uh, blah, 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 dole. <laughs> like, oh, well, I mean, all songs rhyme. Shut up. 300 rupees, you freaking cheat. Freaking Gomer yeah, Paul with a pot belly. Yeah, trying to save the kingdom here. Yeah, Get a new shirt. Gomer Paul with a pot belly. Get out of here. Look at you. It's taking you three oh. days to do it. Yeah, those carpenters would have it done in four days. Oh, jeez, yeah. Remember the, the foreman? <laughs> yes. Idiots got kidnapped by the Gerudos. And then when you set them free, they just prance out the room. Yeah. And like they're never going to get caught. Yeah, I'm free. I'm free. Like they're never going to get caught by the other Gerudos guarding the fortress. They never prance away like a sissy. One time, Venom Twenty Two, Venom Twenty Two was running toward me like that, and I started busting out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we get to finally use this daggum thing. It must be yeah. real powerful to launch us into the Sky Realm. Whoa! Oh, it's Jeff. Jeff, what are you? D T take me too. Whoa! I didn't, I didn't invite you and your son to come here. Whoa! It's uh, the robot from a uh, Robocop here. It's it's Metal Gear. Oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa, we launched us, it launched us out of the video. Jeez. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to have to resume this, resume this in part 27. So until then, God resume, bless you. Resume, but I want it now. I want to resume, zoom, zoom, and a boom, boom. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess part I forgot. This is Ron Moore along with... Raven Inspector and the returning Wii guy. Greetings. I'm back. Yeah, Wii guy has been gone for a while due to work. 
but yep. now it's back. <clears throat> and I'm in the Sky World, Sky, whatever it's called, Sky Temple now. City in the Sky? Yeah, City in the Sky. And, whoa! Uh, Ridley, you're in the wrong game. <laughs> Dude, that, that bird is way more... Actually, no, that's exactly it. It's a bird. Ridley's not a bird. Yeah. What oh, is there, Ridley? There's Jeff. <laughs> Forgot we nicknamed him that. The the city of Jeff is where we're at. Just all kinds of people sleeping in chairs. Yeah. <laughs> J-Man tipping them out. And they fall down to earth. Yeah. That no that that was a really on steroids earlier. Jeez. Don't tell me I gotta fight that thing. But anyway. Nah. Probably a fluke. Now we're oh, I thought we were gonna go in the temple. No. Yeah, this is the temple. Wow, this is a pretty peaceful temple. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a Shirley temple. Sh Ooh, I'll take three of those, please. Yeah. Shirley, you jest. That's creepy. Don't, call, cook don't call me Shirley. Ooh, you buy the kettle? Oh, oh, it's oil. Yeah. It's like I didn't know we were in Britain now. Yeah. I have a spot of tea in the sky. Alright, let's get out of here and finally enter the sky temple. Or the temple in the sky. It's the city in the sky. In the city, dun dun dun. No, city it's, of Compton, dun dun. dun. Barely functions as a city, but I mean, whatever. Yeah. I believe if you pause, it will say city in the sky, which is, of course, its official name. Yeah. Well, I keep calling these places dungeons and temples in this game, but they're not really called that. They're like Goron Mines or uh, whatever else. I keep calling them temples or dungeons, but whatever. Yeah, it's still technically one of those. It's Dungeon Temple. At there it is. Never mind. It's the name. <laughs> yep. City in the Sky. Uh, there ain't none of that in Breath of the Wild. There's so just if, shrines now. So if the propellers stop but they're gonna fall <laughs> the sky is falling the sky is falling you know what? that's a good question oh but man physics how do they work Jeff's everywhere game man's worst nightmare this is a long but cool dungeon Come here. Come here. Oh, there's like Scorpion. Come here! Okay, you know, technically you're supposed to kill him, but he just drags him over here. Oh, man. Freaking uh, Warthogs with the, the spike shield. They thwarted your plans. Yeah. It was a thwart hog. All right, so now that we're in the ACW temple and progress further here, man, it's going to take a freaking while. Nah. You're, hey, isn't this a speed run? No, it's a slow run. Oh, I've been lied to. Run. It's gonna take a breath of the wild. It's a thanks. <laughs> nice one. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Some peaceful music here. As I guess we're in Chicago. Jeez. Chick the windy city. Yeah. Well, this really grinds my gears. Are they metal <laughs> gears? No, I think they're they're clearly old and ancient. Yeah. So, you know, whatever gears are made out of. Yeah. Rons? Well, getting gear. <laughs> getting gear. Getting gear gear. Yeah. Get get. <laughs> In case you don't know, we got Raven Inspectors. One did a video a while back, uh, talking about cheating in single player games, and he went on this little tangent where. You know, it's not just about getting good, and he makes fun of those people that say, Get good, kid. <laughs> Dude is impressed yeah, about it. ain't about, Get good, get good, get good. <laughs> you. Yeah, it ain't got nothing yeah. to do with getting good. <laughs> well, that sounds, that sounds pretty entertaining. Yeah, well, the point is, it, 
cheating in single player games. You can do it if you want. It's your game. You can play it any way you want. Who cares about it? getting good? Just have fun. Yeah, exactly. Although I did mention in multiplayer games, I was a big no-no. That's a you're just a dick if you cheat multiplayer games. I, I can't stand when people do that. Right. Yeah, people would cheat against me in SmackDown vs. Raw, the first one where it became online multiplayer. Yeah. And I knew they were using turbo controllers to reverse every freaking hold I would try to put on them. And so I just got mad and said, you know what, I'm going to cheat too, so I got my own turbo controller. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I should, nice. I mean, and, you know, like, yeah, I know you cheated, Ronnie. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of them was doing the same thing. I was like, man, uh, I got to do something here to uh, win some matches here. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, oh, you, you stupid idiot! <laughs> you just made the list. Yeah, you know what happens when you fly into a bridge like a clumsy idiot? You just made the list. Yeah. <laughs> Great. So what we're we gonna do now? Well, we gotta figure that out later. Maybe figure it out right now. Let's see. Oh man, yeah, this dungeon. I first got to it, man. I mean, I haven't played this dungeon since. Jeez. December 2007? Man. It's almost 10 years ago. Oh, 10 full years. Yeah. Back in the day. It took me a full year after I got this game to beat it because of just putting it off and other stuff getting in the way. And when it comes to Zelda, it seems like it takes me forever to complete it. Like the Ocarina of Time LP on my, on my Rom War channel, th about three years. Uh, uh, I think Link to the Past on the S2K channel took a little longer than it should have. If you remember we Guy, there was a drought there for a while in, in 2012. Yep. <clears throat> and then, uh, sure do. Uh, this one right here, man, this hasn't been taking that long, considering how long of a game it is. And I got, I'm got also doing Ocar I mean, uh, Oracle of Seasons on the Romwar channel. I've worked on this LP since December. Yeah, and so, uh, more gear grinding. Are you still playing it, or did you have you already finished the playthrough? No, I'm still playing. I'm on. Uh, I just finished the sixth uh, dungeon, the ancient ruins. Oh, okay. That was part twelve. <laughs> I've been doing that Go since ahead. December. Yeah. I need to get good and finish LPs faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's wow. only so much time in the world, though. Yeah, that's true. I can't be freaking world of long plays. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a team. At least a few people on that. Well, yeah. Can't just be one person. Well, we're a team, even though I'm the only one that does anything on this channel. But anyway. Yeah. Actually, Tibbs just started his own LP. He's doing oh. George. He's doing George Mask. So there's Zelda madness everywhere to these days, man. It's all about it, man. Yep. Zelda hype. It's all about the games and how you play them. <laughs> and getting it's good. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's about getting control. good at them. Yeah. It's all if you, <laughs> if you cheat and uh, I fail. I hit the game and you better get good. I fail. If you cheat, then you're going to get beat. Yeah. <laughs> beat, 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 go base side. Points of reference. Is that a 90s reference? Yeah. Okay, I'm almost there. It's not wrestling reference. <laughs> anyway. It didn't sound like it, unless that was someone's theme. Well... There were male cheerleaders in wrestling at one point. That was like 10, 11 years ago. Ah, oh, the, the spirit squad. <laughs> yeah. Old Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, and his He's brother. He's come a long way. Mickey! Mitch! Mikey! <laughs> we are the spirit squad. Yeah. You know, Dolph Ziggler, though, went on to have a good career. Yep. Oh, I just, uh, I think I sliced uh, the Okoa over that one. So in this game, if you try to kill the Okoa, will they all attack you just like the chickens do? That's worth trying out. No, no. That's a massive tube sock on the back of Link's head. <laughs> right? <laughs> Peter Pan reject. Man, it kind of makes you wonder, why is it that he does he have such a long hat like that? I mean, is it supposed to make him aerodynamic when he's flying through the air, air with the hook shot or something? <laughs> That's a good question. It's a good look. <laughs> yeah, it makes him look like a hero. Yeah, you don't want like a beanie. It makes you look oh, dopey. Yeah. What's that A song? I want to be a hero. I need a hero. Uh, uh -oh. Ronnie should get off that. Uh -oh. Ronnie, uh -oh. Ronnie. Yeah, oh, why didn't you jump up there, you idiot? Damn it, Ronnie. <laughs> you know what happens jump. to people that don't make the jump? They make the <laughs> list. 
<laughs> Let's try, try this again as someone is trying to hack into something. Not just hacking right here. Still got the ECW or the D Dominion rod. We got. When was the last time you joined us? Um, uh, last month? No, it's probably like February, maybe. Yeah. Do you remember what part you were in last? Because I forgot. Uh, we uh, we were at uh, Lake Hylia collecting the bugs or killing the bugs. Oh, okay. Jeez, that was a while ago. Yeah, that was like th four or fifteen parts ago. <laughs> yeah. This is part 27. Can't help it, man. Part 27, jeez. I think the most parts I've done on in any uh, LP on YouTube is probably 50 or 50 something with Mario All Stars because I did all the games on that on that on that ROM. Mm. Makes sense. And other than that, probably Ocarina of Time part 32 or something was you you and Jamie were in that final part if you remember. Yeah. 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 Speaking of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Star, Star Soldier, been trying to get him into some projects, but nope. <laughs> uh, I haven't talked to him in so long. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was asleep. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was uh, working. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, him and Kevin Owens are the same person, so he's busy. <laughs> nice. All right, well, what was, was the mini tornado here, a downburst. <laughs> Or upburst. A micro burst is what I meant to say. Down burst. What the heck? <laughs> Massive the, burst. Uh, the, uh, the tornado spin, whatever it is from Mega Man. Yeah, the air tornadoes. You got the air tornado. You can get those in Oracle Seasons. <gasps> yeah, the... the, the uh, oh, yeah. I forgot what they're called, but like, they look like air tornadoes and they make oh, yeah. your... Yeah. Oh, uh, that was the cool. Oracles. Oh, nice. The, nice double kill. Well, the Oracle games were developed by Capcom, so that makes sense. Yeah, I never played Ages, but I heard it's freaking hard. I, it's, it's, isn't it the same game? I mean, not the same game, but I mean, it's the same engine. Yeah, well, it's one for the Ages. It, wow. Has it aged well? Yes, it's still a great game. <laughs> Is it hard for you? No. <laughs> of course not, because the Wii guy beat every game in think... five minutes. I don't think any Zelda game is really hard for most people, if you're familiar with, you know, those 2D Zeldas. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, Spectre, have you played it? Which one? A Oracle of Ages. Uh, no, I, I haven't. I haven't played Ages or Seasons. I've, I've, I've seen footage of them, though, and I, I know about them, but I've never yes. played either of them. Yeah, I've never played Ages. I've had my friend, a friend of mine, and then... Uh, People online say the same thing. It's freaking hard. Like there's something different about that, about that game compared to Oracle of Seasons. It's just a more, I don't know how, what they meant by hard, complicated hard or uh, just confusion hard. I don't know. Confusion hard. There we go. Probably just has a different bit of a different formula. Just a little bit. I, I don't like, know. Like, like Simon's Quest did from the first Castlevania game. People were disappointed. Uh, I mean, well, maybe. Even though I wasn't, because Simon's Quest was the first one I played. Well, that's that's pretty good, though. Yeah, and... All right, this is fun. Jeff's yeah. Me. Let me go. You know what? You need to let me go. Because he's going to fall asleep while he's flying, then you're going to both crash and burn. Yay, another waste of time. <laughs> trying to kill him. <laughs> that is so wrong. Where are you going? Come here. Get over here. Yeah. That was your reenactment of Scorpion. Yeah. All right, come on now. <laughs> Just don't, uh, don't, uh, oh shit. I need to think of a pun. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. You need to straighten up and fly right. <laughs> I was doing something about the wind, like, or something about, like, don't blow up. I don't know. Yeah. Don't blow it, Link. Looks like you're soaring to success. Yep. Fly like an eagle. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we're going. We're, let's get some Space Jam. Yeah. 
You believe you can fly. <clears throat> I believe I can touch the sky. Come on and slam if you want to jam. Yeah, NBA Jam, that was a good movie. It's a good, good movie. <laughs> Space Jam, oh, NBA I, Jam edition. Space, there we go, I was about to say. It's like, was that intentional? Sure. And, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this place. <laughs> Showing you, this is what you got to do next. Ha <laughs> go all the way down there. Well, you know the speed strat skills. Let's do it. Yeah. With my speed running skills. Look, all you gotta do is just fall and then do an air jump slash and get on the on the platform. Simple. All right, go ahead. Here, do it. We guys controller now. Uh, no, no. I, you pressured me. I can't. Ah, uh, uh, see, look at that. Fail. I thought you can do it. Fail. Look, man, there's input lag over the internet here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't work with this. Yeah, we use an emulator that the NES had. Was it uh, where you dolphin? Yeah, yeah, but like, uh, what was the NES first Neville, where you can have two player simultaneous that you and Gentoo did? Oh, net play? Yeah, net play for the okay. dolphin. Using that. <laughs> Meh. Oh, snap. <laughs> like you unlocked the cage. Yeah. Hell, uh, what was it? Hell in a cage or what? Hell in a cell? Hell in a cell. That's what yeah. I know that. That's a wrestling thing. Yeah. That sounds so disturbing, that sound that that thing is making. Yeah. It's like it's cussing at birdie language or something, or evil-looking, uh, egg-headed bird human. It probably uh, is, because uh, when, when that one... language. Because when that one bird spoke to you in that shop at the beginning, it's speaking in, uh, in birdies, or okoes, or whatever the... Birdies. Birdies. Yeah, Bill Roddy would be mad. I can't understand it. But what's it saying? There's no words on it. <laughs> got no words. I can't. What's it saying? Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> no, I'll rot it and we'll do it live. <laughs> Next, to play us out, Sting from the WWE. I can't do it. That, that's not Sting. Where's Sting the wrestler at? Who is this guy? I used to think that when I first heard of Sting the singer. I go, wait, that's not Sting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no more airflow. Now everybody's going to get hot and pissed. Yeah. That looks like a puzzle room. Right? <laughs> All those multicolored blocks. Whoa. What the heck? That didn't sound friendly. Animality. <laughs> Animality. Oh, Sable's about to come out. Oh, wait, no. That's... I guess that's the mini-boss. It's Vince McMahon, damn it! Man, that's, uh, that's really on crap. Ah, <laughs> oh, he cracks me up. Yeah, it is McMahon. You're out of touch. I'm trying to put you out of your misery. Damn. Watch out, Roman Reigns beat the Undertaker! Ah! <laughs> I know what you want better than you do. I know what the fans want. I know what they need. Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> right. Okay, this battle right here reminds me of the fan Phantom Ganon in Ocarina of Time. Because you got to look all around you and see which way is going to come at you next. <laughs> Nintendo, you're not reusing ideas. Yeah. Jeez. A dang old lizard man? Yeah. With wings? Like, what is he? Is he a dragon oh. lizard? I think so. I guess I so, that. yeah. I think it's so obvious to, uh, that shield it has. <laughs> you use your uh, claw shot on it. And <laughs> the big red hit me here. Poof. All right, good. That means we're halfway through the dungeon. Halfway? Yeah. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa. 
living on a prayer. Yep. No Bon Jovi. <laughs> country, country version. Take my high end. We'll make it I swire. I swire. <laughs> living on a prayer. <laughs> living on a prayer. Oh, wait. I got the claw shot now. I thought I had it before. Idiot. You got the double claw shot. Yeah. With the double claw. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Nice. Double the action. Double the claws. Yeah, Dr. Claw, he's come back now with two claws. I guess I fail. <laughs> well, Dr. Claw is with us. Dr. Claw, are you there? <laughs> wow, do where are you, Dr. Claw? <laughs> I'll get you next time. Next I'll get you time. next time, <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> damn, damn. Remember the last episode where they showed his face? Nope. I was kidding. I don't know. And they showed his face in the movie because the movie was not that good. In the video game, did they just show him flying around his chair after you? Wait, which? Wait, which video? Wait, he had a Super Nintendo game. Inspector Gadget. There's a video game Inspector Gadget, I think. Is it? Is it? Ge I think maybe Genesis. I don't know, but I think I seen a screen, a uh, screenshot or footage of it a long time ago. And Doctor Claw's like, fly you never see his face, of course, but he's flying around his chair, I guess, shooting at you. I don't know. Oh, that was Dr. Claw's pump and dump. Oh, yeah. Dump. Didn't they talk? <laughs> Remember that uh, AVGN episode of uh, the, yep. the Mario Brothers DVD and it showed up? Put the glow around my asshole. And put the glow around it. It's <laughs> a good one. I have watched that several times. <laughs> it's one of the most funniest. Uh, uh, was it James and Mike Mondays or whatever the heck they did? Yeah, I think it was that. Oh, I got the compass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> compass. Now yeah. you can know where all the other treasure chests are that you don't need except for the boss key. Yeah. All right. Let's see how good my aim is here. Is my aim true? No. Oh, there we go. Good job. Close enough. True, true, true craftsman. Yeah. Come on, get good. Yeah, reach for the reach for the sky. We are in the sky. That's what I say. Yeah, it's kind reach of an oxymoron. Like, sky. yeah, what, what happens if you're in the sky and you reach for the sky? Is that like you're just reaching for space now? Oh man, these flying uh plants. What the heck? Is Move, Ridley, you idiot. <laughs> it's a mini Ridley. Yeah. Whoa. That was Whoa. That was a close one. He was coming. Yeah. That's not yeah, freaky that was, at all. Was yeah, no, it's freaking creepy. Like, what are you playing as Randy, Randy Orton here? You hearing voices in your head? <laughs> exactly. Randy Orton, I'm coming after you. <laughs> I wonder what the House of Horrors match is going to be like. I want to. I definitely want to check that out. Like the Chamber of Horrors from WCW. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, and I thought that was. I thought that was cool though during their match where those they showed a, a, a shot of those maggots and uh, roaches wherever they were in the middle of the ring. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, it was maggots, uh, earthworms, and then crickets. Yeah, the Peter Insider said that was kind of dumb. I was like, that was pretty cool actually i mean yeah exactly <laughs> if it's his character and he's freaking creepy and when i first seen that i'm like what the what i didn't know he was still looking at the ring i thought they were yeah. had a like a video package playing or something something creepy and no that's the ring i'm like what and apparently yeah. they say you couldn't see it on tv but one of, one of the guys from pw insider was there live and they said the ramp was the rampway was filled with maggots and all that stuff too from the the image oh yeah that was cool. Maggot Man, a new Maggot Man character. But he turns to a fly. That's his power. <laughs> yeah. Make it no, fun. Oh, here we go. There you go. Mind the gap. Yep. You gotta fill the gap. Speaking of gap, who's gonna fill the gap and the Undertaker gone now? Nobody. I don't know. <laughs> he just jumped outside. <laughs> Stupid jelly. 
You jelly? Yeah. <laughs> speaking of Zelda and speaking of Breath of the Wild, I've been so sidetracked with other games lately, I haven't even went back to start playing it again. I don't know when I'll be able to... I don't know when I'll get back to it, probably at some point, but... Yeah. Time to switch things up. Yeah, exactly. You gotta beeline just to beat the story, at least, you know? Yeah. So it happens when you only have a few games and you need to play them. Yeah, t I think Tibbs already beat it. Dang. Because Tibbs has things. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he has things. I was going to say he has nothing to do, but I don't know his life, so. <laughs> well, he works. I mean, I work too, but it depends on the work. <laughs> you know? That's true, I'm not used my to previous it. job. My previous job, I worked a uh, second shift, and anytime nobody was around, if I had all of my stuff done, I'd either break out my 3DS or my PS Vita and listen to some podcasts and game some and be away from where nobody could see me. <laughs> yeah. That's neat. I wish I could do that at my job. Sure you I'm can. Job, just do nothing. Just do it. Yeah. I don't it. really feel like it. Do it. Yeah. Uh, you want can we make this range? a job podcast? Can, can we get, get a job podcast now? We did that. Oh, man, can times. we make this right now? <laughs> Forget I Zelda. Guess, I guess so, kind of, yeah. Nah. The past the things time, I gotta talk about. Got left. Yeah, we still got plenty. I mean, you're just scaling up this place to get to your next objective. Yeah, believe me, this is a lot longer before I actually turned it down. Oh, well, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, but maybe I can give somebody a side of ranch while they're waiting, and uh, I want my yeah. steaks well, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I could. For the side I want to imagine dealing range. with... Yeah. I would imagine deal with customers text Tejas. Yeah, Tejas, yeah. Well, someone, you can tell someone's from, um, well, I know you're from the north, we guy, but uh, mm -hmm. down here Quest. we have, you know, quesadillas, and these these guys came in saying, uh, do you have any quesadillas? Quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> I know, sir. We got them quesadillas up our. Yeah. I want some sweet tea. With my oh, cures, sweet tea. With my cures light. Now that's just idiotic. And a be like, shut up. A sign, a sign Speak like a normal person. Yeah, a sign of range plays? Whoa, he's an angry customer. I gotta get my ranch. I shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your head. There goes my tip. Get my ranch. I'm gonna bite oh, your yeah, tip that's off. Right. Oh, I gotta tip a piece of heart. Don't get tipped off your chair. <laughs> uh, here we go. Nice uh, Indiana Jones action here. Indiana Jones beat Zelda, uh, which, by the way, I saw that it's an old uh, James and Mike Monday or whatever it was, uh, and they had that guy Ryan with them. I forgot. I don't know. It was Proto, not Proto John. Some guy named Ryan that appears in their video sometimes and sits down with him. Um, he, they were playing Indiana Jones for the 64, and it looked terrible. Oh yeah, the Infernal Machine. I think so, and they, they, you can tell it kind of rip off some aspects of Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that was like a 2001 game, I think. 2000? Yeah. Well, it had to be somewhere around there in 64. I uh, thought that was a game people liked. Uh, well, I mean, I watched them play it. It, didn't look, it, looked, it looked bad. And, uh, yeah, it, it, the, the way the buttons were set up at the top right corner and the way uh, uh, Indy would uh, push the blocks or pull them out, it looked real similar to Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I'm the wrong mower. I gotta mow this grass. Well, not really mow it. Cut it. <laughs> gotta cut it. Like All a right, boss. Part. So we're close to the end. It's the Great Deku Tree. Oh, wait. It is a great, great tree. tree. Yeah. Is it the tree from George Mask? No. There's nice. no tree. Got another, yeah, the oh, very wait, end. Yeah. All right, here we go. Nice. All right. Another pole. I drive soul pole. I drive soul pole. And you always. I, I forgot the lyrics. Points for reference. Mm. Whoa, there he is. Steroid Ridley again. Nice, nice sweeping camera angle. Yeah. Majestic. Yeah. What is this, American Beauty? American Woman! Let me be. American males, American males, American males. Oh God! 
I can't even understand the rest of the lyrics. They're so stupid. <laughs> Dumbass tag team. Yep. Mm, American oh, Man. And they've won the tag team titles in the Hardem Heat the first night. That was BS. Right, really? I think it was a, they, their debut on Nitro that, that they beat Hardem Heat. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Perkins T's like, we're coming for you. No. Yeah, exactly. Let me but. tell you something, and Stevie Ray, let me tell you something, sucker, you little pipsqueak, Chris Benoit. I was more of a WWF guy then. I never really watched too much of WCW. I mean, when Raw was on commercial breaks, I would go and check it out and see what was happening, but I kind of check that out on the WWE Network now and see how it was, whatever I, I never saw back in the day. You're watching those first episodes of Raw, right, from 93? Uh, I was. I think I'm on um, 94 now. Okay, so you must have seen that one episode where Rod Bartley, the commentators with him in the beginning, um, he was he did an impression of McMahon that one week. Yeah, I remember that. That was hilarious. He goes, <laughs> hey, Bishop Man, welcome to Monday Night Raw. He sounded just like him too. Hello, yeah. hello Bishop Man, hold on. What about what about over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Bobby Heenan goes, <laughs> he goes. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. And Heenan, Heenan goes, what, what is this? Monday Night Raw. <laughs> what about that was? We're here live in New York City on the WF Monday Night Raw. Some live action here in Reina. <laughs> I laughed so hard. <laughs> it was so funny. It like, what about whatever that was? Oh, down to the campus. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to this 2K show, the last episode of Twilight Princess. I'm here with the weed guy and Raven Inspector. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? We got. What are your thoughts on this game, my brother GameCube? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute. Here's the wolf leak now. <laughs> I want to move that was. He's going to the tightrope. <laughs> what do you think about that, Spectre? Hopefully he, uh, he doesn't straddle it. He doesn't want to crush his little nuts. <laughs> and the king. Shut up, man. You're too pays receding. You're too pays getting receding here like McMahon. <laughs> No, Jerry Waller just... would talk like his underwear was on too tight sometimes, especially the way he would laugh. Yeah, get Ventura on there. Shut up, McMahon! <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna say about that, Ventura? Shut up, McMahon! Put on your toupee and shut up! And McMahon do that fake laugh. Ha 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 ha! Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow! Savage, do we got a problem? <laughs> Chips! <laughs> <laughs> We got here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Wipe the energy out of them. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you cannot do that. That um, Alicia the Undertaker, you cannot walk on those ropes there as Link. Walk the line. Yeah. There's a fine line between love and hate. I haven't seen that movie in forever. I never knew it was a movie. Yeah, Martin Lawrence. Not the year I've seen, actually. I just uh, seen the trailer four years ago. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Is that where I need to be at right there? Hang in there, Link. Oh, nope. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Get over there. This music can put me to sleep. Here we go again. Here, uh, Randy Orton voices. I hear voices in my head. They That's count. okay. <laughs> they talk to May. Talk, talk to May. They talk to May Young. They talk to May. Yeah. It's still real to May. All right, get on in there, get that key, let's get to that boss. Yeah. Let's Holy crap. I just found out something about uh, uh, the Breath of the Wild, as a matter of fact. There was this video that uh, GameSpot had put out. It was talking about how to pilot a Guardian, and 
looking at it, you were like, oh, wow, I, I really do need to try that out. Turns out it was just an April Fool's video. You can't actually pilot a Guardian. And I was like, holy freaking crap, they pulled the wool over my eyes. Oh, man. I cannot believe that. Um, I think we got... Hold again. I think we got might, might remember this. My uh, Ocarina Tom April Fool's joke in 2011. I, I, I told uh, people, I was like, I just found this secret spiritual stone. After all these years, there's a secret spiritual stone. Here it is. Thanks to X1 Saint for his help. And in the video, it shows Link holding up the what you might think is the Kokiri stone. But instead, it says ECW. <laughs> and it says, you got the spiritual stone of ECW. <laughs> then after that, I said April Fool's. And I think Jinchu's girlfriend got mad. <laughs> <laughs> and then... um. Well, uh, it was X1 Saint that did the, the video editing for me where it shows the letters glowing above Link's head and the camera. Dun, 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 dun. You got the spiritual stone of ECW. And then right when DQ Tree's about to talk to you, that's when it cuts away and, and I put April Fools. Man, that's so... Man, 2011, that was how long it was. Yep. Oh, I got the, the boss key. The boss key, the Sasha Banks key. <laughs> uh, I got the armor of ECW on. Ouch. <clears throat> N never mind. Switch back to this. <laughs> oh, stopped him in his tracks. Oh, he's charging hey. Oh, he stopped him in his tracks. What a maneuver. <sighs> Why the maneuver? It, it sucks so much, he should be stuck in manure. <laughs> <laughs> Look at one of Monday Night Raw. We're playing us out of Twilight Princess here. What a maneuver. Can he save Hyrule from the evil Ganondorf? Get it through the hole. Get it through the hole. When I was a kid, I, I think a lot of kids were the same way. I had no idea Vince McMahon was the actual owner. I thought he was just a commentator. Yeah, same here. He's just a commentator. He's a potator commentator. Remember that when JR turned heel and he brought the fake Razor Ramon and Diesel into the company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Well, he picked that back about that, Vince, and that's when he first mentioned he was the owner. Like, whoa, he's, he's his boss? Wait a minute. I thought, like, Jack Tunney was the boss of something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was the a real monsoon at the time. Yeah, storyline presidents. Um, to Jack Tony, then Grill Monsoon, then Piper for a bit. But that feud with Gold Dust. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was a match. OJ Simpson footage. <laughs> the, the high speed chase. Yeah, oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait a minute. We got footage of Piper's Bronco chasing Gold Dust in the highway. And they showed it. It was the OJ Simpson high speed chase footage. <laughs> and McMahon goes, This footage looks awfully familiar. <laughs> The juice is loose. We got live aerial footage. Piper's going after him. He's not loose anymore. <laughs> yeah. Will Link be able to aim at this thing? Come on. Ah, oh, come on now. Well, he's not exactly Rambo there. Oh, there he goes. Got him right in the booty hole. Right between the eyes. Oh, there we go. Nice angle. Yeah, speaking of angle, current angle in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Indeed. We got indirectly led me to a uh, uh, wrestling subject. Or another reference. <laughs> uh, reference, yeah. You can't have a Raw War video without a wrestling reference. I'm right here on Raw. <laughs> Kurt Angle, more like Kurt. Get off my angle. I don't know. There was a shirt that said uh, right angle, triangle, acute angle, and then Kurt Angle and had so Kurt Angle put someone ankle lock. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Uh, more camera angles showing us where we need to go, way down here. All these angles. Yep. I'm just a sexy Kurt. Sexy, sexy Kurt. I'll make your ankle, ankle hurt. Ankle hurt. Ankle hurt. <laughs> Come 
on now. Jeez, man, get punched two of these guys now. Yeah, Metroid meets Zelda. Come her. Damn. Jeez, how many hits? Vicious. Sid Vicious. Another Russian reference. <laughs> Remember that promo WrestleMania 8? You know, Sid Vicious about to wrestle Hogan. Gene you know, Oakland was interviewing him. Sid, tonight you're going to shut up, you fat, bald headed little oaf. <laughs> this is Hogan's last match. Actually, Sid, uh, he never said that. Let's take a look at this footage. And they showed it. And it, they cut back to Sid laughing hysterically. And Gene Oakley goes, see, Sid, he never said he's going to retire. He's just like, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, psycho Sid. Because you see, <laughs> I rule the world. And tonight, <clears throat> I'm going to choke slam you. Straight to hell! <laughs> <laughs> just crazy. When he wasn't botching his interviews, he was pretty good. Yeah. That time when he thought he was being recorded, he goes, hold on, let's start that over. JR goes, we're live, buddy. Oh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and one time he goes, uh, Nash, I, you know that I don't have half the brain that you do. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> and Scott Hall and Nash had that look in their face like... <laughs> oh my I, god, I remember I that. I kind of tweeted that. I made that reference to Sid on Twitter one time. He didn't respond. He probably didn't like it. I uh, <laughs> he, he said, uh, all these trolls and haters, you know, need to F off. And I tweeted to him saying, man, ignore the trolls. They don't have half the brain that you do. <laughs> he didn't respond. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> He's going to cut a promo. <laughs> Listen here, Ron Blower! <laughs> I'll choke slam you straight to hell, funny man! <laughs> Actually, he scared me more than the Undertaker did. He was more scarier to me because he's big, muscular, and just yells all the time. And then I told him that. I said, you actually scared me more than the Undertaker did on Twitter. He actually favorited that and retweeted it. And I was like, oh, cool. Jeez, how, how much more claw shotting, uh, scaling I gotta do here? <laughs> well, I mean, it's the weapon of the the temple, so I mean, it's all you're gonna use. The Temple of Doom. D yes. That should be the Temple of Doom. That w that WCW tag team. Remember them, Spectre? Spectre oh, no, never Gadget. Mind. No, never mind. You watched a uh, WWF back then. This is like 1990. Yeah, Ron Simmons and Butch Reed. Managed by Teddy Long, the tag team of Doom. What are you doing here, Link? Yeah, I'm going to reach all the way over there. Come on, faster, faster. We need another master. Oh, here we are. Oh, man. The battlefield. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum? Battlefield Coliseum. Oh. Yes. Oh, wait, exactly. yeah. I actually saw this, this fight on Twitch like some odd days ago. I remember this. Oh, here we go. Super Ridley. At Argo Rock. Do you smell what the Argo Rock is cooking? Hmm. Argo, or stay? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, into the fire. Into the fire. Uh, 
trying to remember exactly. Like, I think I got to climb on top of him and hit him on his back or something. If only Tips were here. Because he knows everything about Zelda. Sure does. Yes, just do that and then... Oh, oh that's right. Yeah, yeah, weigh him down. I think it took me a while to figure it out. I think someone had to tell me what to do. Yeah, this guy isn't that clear, especially with having to use the iron boots. Yeah. Reminds me of Apollo Wings here. <laughs> so just Come around. on, let's... Yeah, where's our, where's our jetpack? Yeah, Apollo Wings 64, the gray sky version. GameCube version is more like it. Blue skies from pain. Was that Pink Floyd? Yeah. Yes, I knew it. I know my Pink Floyd. How I wish. How I wish you were her. Hey now. Ooh, obvious, nice purple tongue. Obvious clue how to hit him. I think I made hey, it my Oh, now he's in aggro mode. Yep. Now you made a my Look what you did. What is going on here? I gotta fight these things too. They live. Yep. Thank you, Roddy Piper. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I guess they're here to help. This part's so cool. Look at this. Just a... Uh, this is like a Castlevania battle, rather. Like, you're fighting Dracula, and then lightning everywhere, storms, or whatever. They should have Pilot Wings uh, in 64. They should have had a, a version, like, you know, there's a gray sky, then nighttime, then clear blue skies. They should have a, yeah, version, where it's, where, they should have a version where it's storming. Yeah, and then there's Gray Skull. Gray Skull. Ca Castle Gray Skull. Alright, this is gonna. A little bit tricky unless I do it right. Shoot, shoot. Go, go, go. I shoot, shoot, shoot you. Look in the tongue. I think Spectre is looking up a tutorial on how to beat this guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, he's going by the back. He's on the back of that dragon. This is a very dangerous maneuver. Jump up to the top, jump oh, on his back, stab hey, him in the booty, fall to the floor. Shut up, man. What do you know about Zelda? Hey, I know as much as Michael Cole does about uh, Final uh, Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Boy, I laughed when he said that. Oh, you know I know some Final Fantasy. I'm like, you're a freaking moron, Michael Cole. This is a real cool battle right here. It's probably the best battle in the game. I do like it. It uses up a lot of space in the sky. Yeah. You have to travel. Oh. Yep. Damn. This flesh is weird. <laughs> One more round of this should do it. Alright, round three. It's the usual triple deal when it comes to bosses. Yeah. Mm. Triple deal. Can I have the triple double, please? Yeah, triple dipper. Yeah, that's a Taco Bell item right now. Not trying to still be sponsored by Taco Bell, just saying. Yeah. You make enough money through la stream labs. Not even. Do they take extra twenty-four dollars out? But anyway. Well, you know. As is that way. It didn't do it this time though. The, oh, ah. Oh. Ow. It, did, it did it this time though. That second donation I made to you, it did not take out the extra twenty-four dollars. It. I was really watching it carefully that time. I don't know what I did wrong on my end or what happened, but that was messed up the first time. Yeah. I'm like, I donated $10 to we got. What is this BS extra $24 charge? Yeah, do you ever get an actual response of what that was, or was it just 
They were no, just like, oh, we're sorry. No, they just refunded the money without even explaining what happened, which I don't care as long as they gave my money back. I don't care. Alrighty. That's why I was reluctant. I, was like, I don't know if I should donate again because I'm afraid I'm going to get burned <laughs> like Link is getting burned right here. <laughs> uh, uh. Speaking of which, speaking of the whole refund deal, as a matter of fact, my girlfriend was waiting to get uh, Hyrule Warriors on 3DS for like the past week and she never got it. And she found out that the guy who was on there on Amazon apparently just up and left. So she contacted Amazon about it and, I, and they're going to refund her the money. And I think they said they were willing to, to for her to trade back in and get double of what she paid for or something like that. I was like, that's, yeah. a, that's a real screw job right there. If somebody goes on Amazon and does that to someone. Yeah. That's why I try to be careful and look at their approval ratings. And, yeah. Know, yeah. We got the approval rating as low. That's why I don't donate much to him anymore. No, I'm just kidding. You're the only one that's, <laughs> that's ever happened to you. Yeah, which I don't, again, I don't know what I could have done. No one knows what I could have done, like you or Jamie. Uh, you could donate to my Patreon. <laughs> no, I didn't click on no Patreon. I clicked on uh, Twitch. No, I'm, I'm saying you donate to my Patreon instead. Uh, Much better. Oh. Yeah, Jeff <coughs> donated a dollar to me, but it was weird and complicated. Oh, please verify this. And then, uh, I did verify my bank account. Well, we're missing this. I said, you know what? Forget it. Yeah, like, forget it. Boom, that's it. I've had enough. And so is this dragon, Panzer Dragon. All right, you're dead, Dragon. Panzer dead. Dragon. Panzer Dragon game. Yeah. One that isn't over $200 <laughs> on the freaking Sega Saturn or Xbox. <laughs> Saturn. Was the Saturn. Oh, no. It's a Shouty 64 Dragon. Oh, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Shameless plug, uh, we got did a Shellgate uh, donation request. Check it out. Well, you did the donation request. I just fulfilled the, the game. You did the LP and also coming soon, Deja Vu. Oh, man. And that's some, uh, speaking of Deja Vu, see that game again. <laughs> Shameless game plug. Familiar. Shameless plug, check out the 2013 LP on the S2K channel, Deja Vu. It's a good one. Yep. Oh, nice. We got all the shards now. No, that was like many parts ago. Ah, uh, true ruler. Ah. Yeah, Spectre uh, Shad from, from Crime Time is in this game, apparently. Sweet. Yeah, one of the guys, one of the guys that Link's talk talks to, but he's remember that guy that looks like the gaming historian from that last part you ran with us. <laughs> His name is Shad. Mm. After all, a fake is a fa well. Wrestling's not fake. Shut up. It's choreographed. Yeah, there's a difference. Indeed. We get the hot piece. I mean, heart container. Mm. Two more hearts to go. You just have a heart, change of heart. All right, we are finally going right back here. to the matrix. Yeah. As, as Tim said, I wonder if that hurts. Uh, all the mo molecules spreading out, or whatever. <laughs> whatever Probably. It, is it just gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling. I'm sure. Yeah. All right, <laughs> so. That is the end of part 27, where Link is done with the city in the sky. And we'll see you guys in part 28. Until then, God bless and take care. Peace. Bye. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess part 28. This is Ron Moore along with Spectre and Jeff. Yo. Hi. All right, so we're still in the city in the sky here, but we're about to get out of here. I was about to say, I thought we were already out of this area. Yeah, I just uh, finished that dungeon, and so I'm about to get back into the super cannon or whatever it is, and I was going to shoot me back down. Whoa. Um, seems dangerous. It's freaking Ed 209 from Robocop. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't try to move him up a stair. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What if he hit the ground and just dies? Oh, man. Because his whole body would shift. Yeah. 
<laughs> so now I'm heading toward the Twilight Temple or the Temple of Twilight. So I don't mean to be so. <laughs> I don't mean to be so real life here, but if he hit the water at that speed, he'd still probably be dead. Yeah. And uh, so, if we're going to the Temple of Twilight, uh, should, what's his name be there? <laughs> Dang it, I ruined the joke because I forgot his name. The host of uh, Twilight Zone. Oh, Rod uh. Sterling. Yeah, no, Rod, Rod, Rod Siga. Only, only you, fa only you rednecks call him Rod Sterling. <laughs> Us fancy people call him. No, for some reason in the 70s, he, he liked to be called Rod Siga for some reason. Huh, Steven Seagal? Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Maybe get, uh. Out for blood. Yeah, uh, one of the last heart pieces. Oh. Will Link get his final justice? Yeah. Tune in tonight on Unsolved Mysteries. On Monday Night Raw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Monday Night Raw. Link is going to get his new heart container. He's going to go through the light tip on the wake of the on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> He's got the last shard of, last shard of Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Monday Night Raw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to throw every Steven Seagal movie into this in a pun. I'm going to do this. The Shards of Light have come back together, King. Ah. Is it me or is Link on deadly ground? Did I already use that one? He's on Arbiter's Ground. Ah. Maybe it's, uh, you know, maybe he's under siege. I don't know. What was the Armageddon logo for uh, the old Dota Web pay-per-view? <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Ooh, that looks pretty. Yeah. It's glorious. It's glorious. <laughs> it's Bobby Roode. Exactly. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, turn away. That's uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Tanner's favorite wrestler. How Bobby Roode? You know, maybe, maybe at the end of this game they should just grab Ganondorf and execute him, and then be end. Like, yay, we did it. We chopped off his head. Now he would laugh at you. Mm, mm, mm. Well, and then just shoot see. a fireball out of his palm, out of the palm of his hand, just like an Ocarina of Time. Well, I have it after Link defeats him, maybe in like pig form, they just roast him, they tie him up, put him on a roast, you know. He'll be Good reincarnated dinner. in a different um, time. Ah, then, oh, yeah, whatever. They, this guy's way too evil. You're never going to beat him. You might as well let him win at this point. <laughs> well, wait a minute. So, Midna is the princess of the Twilight Room? Apparently. Okay. So, a swerve right here. You say Twilight Princess, we're thinking of Zelda the whole time. Yeah. You're a terrible looking princess. Two out of ten would not bang. What, is that a Goku's hair? <laughs> He's turning Super Twilight Saiyan yeah. level yeah. four. <laughs> know no, no what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Who she's mad? Uh, you, you mad, sis? Uh, it's that creepy Joker grin. Yeah. You know why I got this helmet? Just like all women want to use men. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Exactly. Take with the feminazis. <clears throat> oh, yes. Stay away, SJWs. This is not for you. Yeah. Wait, we are live here. Anita Sarkeesian, are you there? No. <laughs> Wait, she doesn't even play video games. She has some stupid douchebag playing for her. Exactly. She just 
rants and raves about stuff she doesn't even know oh, anything about. Did, did you guys hear about Brianna Wu running for Congress in like the dock worker district of Boston, where she'll never win? Lucy Liu? No, I haven't heard of it. Oh, Brianna Wu is, is like part of this Gamergate thing where she she's actually a man, but she wants to be a woman. But no, to get too weird, but she still has a penis, but she calls herself a woman. I'm sorry, in my book, if you have a penis, she's still a man. Yep. <laughs> Does it doesn't make you a woman? What is a man? Yep. A miserable pile of BCW. You got BCW. Cornet. What is a man? A miserable pile of Lucha Underground here? It's a bunch of BS. <laughs> That's exactly what he would say. <laughs> I like. I like to announce Link is running for Congress of the uh, what is it? The Cocorito Forest. I'm trying to think of Link to the past. <laughs> yeah, that's close enough. He's gonna build a wall. Yeah, right here in Mexico. I mean, Gerudo Valley. Gerudo. Yeah, exactly. Keep those weirdos out. He's gonna make Hyrule great again. <laughs> but will Minda make the Twilight Realm great again? <laughs> Whoa. Where's this full oh. That's up that she can. Oh. We are now in the Twilight Realm. Oh. Palace of Twilight. I don't think I like this place. This is too creepy. This it's pretty is... metal. Wait, are you near the end of the game? Yeah, this is the second to the last temple. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, this is great, JR. Do you see what he's doing? This is amazing. <laughs> Yeah. I can come up with wrestling jokes. Yeah. Love the music in this. I love the music in this room. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you're, you're always in the shadow of Link. Living in Link's shadow. Oh. Just like Owen Hart and Bret Hart's shadow. I'm in the shadow of my brother, Bret! Oh, look at here we go again. Oh, he's not. What are you saying? I don't read subtitles. You can't understand? She goes. Well, she sounds like every other nagging woman. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Five thumbs down from women, including Blue Rose. <laughs> we're all, we're all, I'm sexist pig, you know it. Yeah. All right, Jessica Spano, as we now enter the Palace of Twilight. Okay, that, that, that music is creepy. In the yeah, spaceship creepy. or a temple? Or an 8-bit version of Zelda. Whoa. That, that was I was like, wow, we beat Zant already. That was an easy game. Let's go home, guys. Yeah, it's not over yet. I gotta fight Ganondorf. Uh, screw Ganondorf. You, you've heard about what his real last name is now? It's called Dragmire or something like that? I'm like, dang, that sounds like an awesome last name. Yeah, Kr Kragomire from Super Metroid or something like that. Like, Are oh, they just now revealing that? Or has it always been his name mentioned in the Zelda game I never played? I have no idea. I just saw it in an article like a few days ago. They said his last name was Dragmire. It's Ganondorf Dragmire. I was like, man, that's an awesome name. What a drag. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> what the heck? Hubba <laughs> Is that creepy Zant mask again? Oh no. Purple haze! Dun, 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 dun. Up in my face! Another small key, congratulations. <gasps> oh, oh, wow, two of them. Two small keys. Look at the food that one of them is the dungeon map. What do you say, King?
Yep, small key. It's all you get is small keys. Nothing for you. What was the other treasure chest? I don't know. You should probably went back and got it. Uh -huh. Instead, I you're going like for it. <laughs> 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 Whoa, uh-oh. Battle time. And now, my young boy, you will die. Yep, this has got to be a boss fight. Always a huge area, you know. There's got to be a boss that's got to show up. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa! Zant. Or a uh, hologram of him. Um, okay. Are you gonna take me to the digital world? Am I gonna meet some Digimon? Are you gonna fight a uh, Sheep Man? Sheep Man. Too many bats. Literally. Jeez. So, I guess this is the mini boss battle fighting Hologram Zant. Holograms. Oh, it's not even his final form. Yeah. Sounds like a new indie band. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> I'm gonna jump back on the play this at some point on the Wii U. Did you beat Batawa yet? I mean, Breath of the Wild? Oh, uh, dude. <laughs> no. No, man. Uh, good lord. I haven't, I haven't played that, man. Uh, a few weeks now. I've been playing other stuff. I just, I just haven't, I just haven't gotten back to it. I think Tibbs has. I put over, well, from what the my system tells me, it says I put in over 40 hours into it at least. So at least I know I'm that far into it. Yeah. I had another friend of mine who put in like over a hundred, and I'm like, oh lord. I saw somebody at work. Uh, a guest came in to my job, and he had a Zelda shirt on. The Zelda logo. I said, I like your shirt. He goes, thanks. Have you played Breath of the Wild yet? I said, no, I haven't. I've just seen footage and know of friends that played it. And I'm doing three Zelda LPs on YouTube right now. Jeez. <laughs> Jeff, you'd be happy to notice that uh, one of the ones that just started is linked to the past. Oh, and I'm not invited to that one. I see how it is. Yeah, that's on the ROM War channel, so it's usually oh. solo. Unless every once in a while I have a special guest. So I'll definitely have you in one of those. All right. If, if you don't, I'm gonna, like, do one myself of me farting the whole time. <laughs> no, you'll play a mod where it's only to the past on Genesis. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it'll, Genesis. Look, it'll, it'll look stupid. I say, I told you it'll look better on SNES. Well, you'll get better speed out of it. Faster processor, that's about it. Link won't need the Pegasus boots. Exactly, <laughs> it'll be faster anyway. No, I, I mean, I mean, you know, the uh, SNES is totally superior to the Genesis in a lot of ways. But I'm really surprised what they could do with it towards the end. I'd like to see what, you know, both SNES and Genesis, what they could do with it today. So they can yeah. push it to its limits. Cool, I got the soul here, and it gets rid of the darkness. Whoa, oh, Master Hand. Oh, no. Oh, Master Hand's back. Hey, you guys need to stay on topic here. I'm tired of y'all talking about other stuff. And Oh, here we go. I can't remember the last time I talked to that guy. Yeah, I should hit him up. I haven't talked to him in years. I got him on Skype still. Like, that's when he comes online. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, send him a message. See what he says. I will. How you doing? How's it going, baby? <laughs> yeah, say it like that. I dare you. <laughs> you come here often? <laughs> like, no, creeper. You get blocked. <laughs> oh, yeah, immediately. And then I'll have to work a few more years to work his trust back. Yeah. Uh... But you know what? He helped us. Uh, he's an integral part in getting the S2K channel started. Long story. Part, he's part of the great history of this channel, which we're gonna have a museum for soon, so everyone you know, yeah, keep an eye for that. The hand's still falling. Oh, jeez, what the heck is this Star Trek stuff, man? There's the sign of the devil. Well, come on, uh -huh. get my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Robocop. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Clive Bonica. The All that. All that for the fucking compass? Yeah. Compass language, bank. But that's retarded. Compass bank. You still owe us money. 
Uh, that hand. Yeah, that's creepy. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of like a creepier version of the hand in um uh, in Link to the Past. Oh yeah, the Wall Masters. Yeah. And that the eerie music that you hear when it comes after you in this game, man, it's freaking creepy. Oh, there's the uh, Twilight Plants. What the heck? Da 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 da. Man. It... Bat. <laughs> uh, I won't fit you all. That's what you gr get, you gritty bastard. Ah, oh, oh, it's eating me. Feed me, Seymour. Oh, yeah. Feed me. Feed me yeah. more. Remember those Mankind commercials for uh, ravioli? <gasps> or, uh, beefy. Beefy. <laughs> <laughs> Since Macho Man Rabbi. wasn't doing a Slim Jim commercial for them anymore, they had to have some other rest to do some other product for them. Yeah. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Sure. Well, it was just like it was. It was just like back. Yeah, it was back when Macho Man was doing Slim Jim, and then when he went to WCW, they had Bam Bam Bigelow do it. Apparently. Yeah. Uh -huh. Chips. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have spice, gotta have beef. You look excitement. <laughs> Step into the Slim Jim. Oh yeah. He died too young. Yeah. Do, 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 do. My apartment just got dark. I think I lost power here. Oh wait, where's Undertaker? You think I forgot oh. where you lived? Remember when Undertaker beat up Paul Bear at his house? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. He goes, it's just heat lightning. Don't worry about it. Where was I? Anyway, I'm taking my son Kane. So, whoosh, breaks the door down. What the hell? I'm taking, you think I forgot where you live? Started hitting right in the face and kicking his ass. Oh, wrestling. <clears throat> my yeah, God, that was alive. better back in the day. My God, we're live. Uh -huh. and, and also, uh, we're live at Brian Pillman's house. He's got a gun. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they got into some trouble about that or something on the USA Network. I'm like, yeah. why? That was before. Uh, that was they were still PG. I mean, they were PG before they went MA and before going back to PG. Before they went MA. <laughs> yeah, mature MMA, whatever the, the letters yeah, were back then. Mature shoot, they were MA. They were, I don't even think they'd be yeah. on USA Network. They probably have to be on HBO or something. MMA, mature. Uh, mature, mature audience. I don't know. Super mature audience. <laughs> yeah. Totally mature. Some of those episodes were MA, I think. Uh, most of the time, I think they were what? Uh, not T for Teen. That's a video game rating. What was the next one? TV fourteen. Uh, yeah, it was TV fourteen. Is what they were. There were a few that were MA, I think, depending on the content. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Dude, am I tripping balls? Man, I haven't been to this part since holding two... balls. I haven't been this uh -huh. part in ten years. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, you can have such a cool rave in this part. <laughs> you mm -hmm. can have a cool rave here. With techno music and everything, all these lights bum, and stuff. Bum, bum, ba -da bum, 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 ba -da bum, 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 bum. Whoa. You see dumb you I was just trying to listen to that while going to sleep. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, wake up! Wake up, Jeff! Ah, oh, what? <laughs> I was awake. Come on, get it, get it. Yes, there we go. Shot to the heart, and you're too blame Cuddy. You give love a bad name. Bad name. I play my heart, you play your game. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's Zant's head again. Oh, just do the old Gandorf trick in Ocarina of Time. The volleyball trick. Jeez, go away. Ah, fail. Massive fail. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh! Oh, that was close. Ah, another treasure chest. Could, could this be another small key? Yes, it is. Stay awake, Jeff. Stay with us. I'm never gonna fall asleep. 
<laughs> we got another 30 plus minutes left. Oh, is that all? It's <laughs> enough for a nap or two. Ah, uh -huh, you got a point. Two. <laughs> yeah, nap or two. Nap or two. Na nap, or, nap, or, nap, or auto parts. No, I like oh, oh, oh. Nap for DBC. Yeah. O'Reilly's oh, auto parts, auto parts. Ow! Get in the zone. Da, 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 auto zone. Yeah. Auto zone. The people don't know what they're talking about there. Auto zone. Is that a hidden Sonic level? Yes. Yes, it is. Only I know about it. Well, I should know that in advance. Auto parts. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh, look out. Well, maybe you should have been covered like bumper to bumper. Oh. Auto parts. I I'm running out of auto store names. <laughs> That's what we have in our community, the bumper to bumper. But all right. Used to be a Napa. I miss Napa. I we actually have a Napa here in town, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I mean, they're everywhere around us. It's just, unfortunately, they're not here anymore. And there's so much darkness in this game. There is a lot of darkness. Your darkness. What was that old joke? Uh, I think Green used to say this all the time. What's up, Darkness? What's up? Yeah, I, yeah, I've heard that before. There was a YouTuber named Darkness the Curse. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, he's gone forever. He became the curse. Uh. Dun dun dun. Ha ha ha. You know, I give him credit though. Like, remember that kid that made fun of Contra? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you know, a lot of people bashed him, saying uh, just cruel, messed up things about him. At least uh -huh. Artist of Curse didn't really, he kind of made fun of him, but didn't like wish death or destruction on him. Yeah. Uh, so at least I'll give him credit for that. He goes, look, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and insult you like everybody else seems to be doing. And at least I give him, I give him credit for that. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Why not? That kid actually messaged me one time. Really? Because I was one of the ones that did a video response to him. And, of course, I didn't bash him either. I just, you know, said, well, this, this ain't hard. Look, I could beat the stage. and It's not the hardest game in the world. It's, you know, just contradicting everything he said. And oh, okay. He, he did, uh, as he got older, he looked back saying, yeah, my review was dumb. I didn't know what I was talking about. Uh -huh. um, even though it was his opinion, he was really coming at it from no no experience or a perspective where he had no experience with the game. Just thought it sucked because he couldn't get past the first stage. Dang. And, uh, he sent me a message saying, hey, I just want to know if you can take your video down because that was years ago and I know better now. And I'm like, well, I didn't really insult you like everybody else did. And I really don't want to take it down. And I don't even know if you even watched the video because I didn't bash him like a lot of other people were like saying mean things like you fat little bastard or dying of fire or get cancer in the brain or whatever they were saying. <laughs> Who's you know, dying of fire? Yeah. yeah and so, uh. Yeah, interesting. I actually conversed with that kid. <laughs> I discovered him through Armory 21 because Armory 21 is one of the people that really made fun of him. Uh oh, oh, old Dark Man 21. Wow. Yep. The that video, I think that's my most viewed video to this day. I have to go back and look. My most viewed video is the the response to that kid. Oh, okay. And that video cool. helped me get a lot of uh, uh, notoriety and then uh, subscribers. I think on my channel. Really. Yeah, it's way back in like, geez, spring 2008. Oh. All right. That was a while ago. Yeah. Good old 2008. So, uh, right so before, long. I think it's right where I met, or right before I met Jeff and Masterhand and <sighs> J-Man. I really not, I ain't really have any YouTube friends quite yet. The good old days, man. The good old days. 2009 is where things really became ECW. As they get an ECW right here. Ooh. Another it's on boss now. Battle? Oh. I'm gonna send my little minions at you again. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All these plants is the evil garden. The sound garden. Black hole sun. Won't you come? Won't you come? It was white yeah, hole go. moon. Won't you spoon? <laughs> Wait, whoa. Won't you spoon? <laughs> I didn't know for a long time that uh, the lead singer, Chris Cornell, did the James Bond movie, uh, the, the music for the James Bond movie, Casino Royale. 
Oh, of the I don't know that music? Yeah. I don't yeah. like the new James Bond movies. They're not my thing. Well, the last one I really watched or got into was uh, Casino Royale. Um, I think for me it was like Goldeneye. <laughs> yeah. Stand still. Jeez, this is annoying. Oh, he got him right in the gut. Oh, jeez, wait, look out. Here come the Predators. The Predators now. Oh, no, no. The Predators. Come on, referee, get in there. Like, the referees don't do something about these guys. <laughs> yeah, bam, bam, bam. Ooh, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. That was kind of a fast boss fight. I thought it might have been a little bit longer than that. I don't know if this is actually the mini boss battle. I think there's something else we fight <laughs> here in uh, probably about five or ten minutes. All right, like we get said, the, it's not even his final form. Yeah, we get the <laughs> we get the next soul. <laughs> Not even my final form. It was me, Jeffrey. Yep. It was me all along, Austin. <laughs> exactly. I was just thinking of that. It was me, Austin. It was me all along. <laughs> all right. Now Crazy Hand is coming after me now. Oh, no. Jeez, move out the way. Move, snitch. Get out the way. Get out the way. Ah, get out the way. Who, who, who did the censored version? Jerry the King Lawler? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, come on. We get it. We went through the door. Open the door. Walk Open. through the door. It's knock, door. Knock, knocking on heaven's door. Ah! Hey, 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 no, not knocking on heaven's door. <gasps> Heaven's door, more like Hell's Gate. Exactly. <laughs> more like the Undertaker's finisher move. It's one thing I don't like, it's bats. Yeah, this ain't Castlevania, y'all get out of here. Exactly, you're the wrong no game. Oh, look out. Oh, he just gave me the finger, oh. He's not happy with you. Oh, nice. Walk, 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 jump, grab. Yeah, it's a cool looking temple. It is pretty interesting. Also, yeah, I'll give you that, sir. Man, a hand can't go through the wall like that in real life. Mm hmm. Oh, shoot, look out. Remember the, uh, the two hands you had to fight in that, uh, the pyramid in Super Mario 64? Hmm, I don't. I don't remember yeah, that game very much. It was a shifting much. sand land where you go inside the pyramid and you fight those two hands. I literally haven't really played that game since like 1998, so I, I cannot <laughs> for the life of me. You remember that Spectre? Spectre's dead. Hey, Spectre fell I asleep now. Him. Yeah, yeah I'm here. What? What happened? Oh. oh. <laughs> did, did you hear what I, Did you hear what I said? What was that? Uh, do you remember the two hands you fought in Mario 64, the shifting sand land? Mario 64. Yeah, not Inner Two, Sandman, yeah. but Shifting Sandland, the, the temple. <laughs> the, the Remember the desert world? And you go inside that temple and you fought those two hands. Yeah, very faintly. I haven't played it in so long, I really can't remember. I, re I remember the sand deal, though. Yeah. Man, if you see my LP of that game that I did, what, last year, last fall? Oh, man, dude, I was getting trolled because I was failing so much. <laughs> And I got yeah. one of those. Uh, I got one of those people. I think two people attacking me. Or kind of not really uh, trolling me, but like get the one the get get people. Oh come oh, on, man! God. This is easy. This ain't hard. And... Everybody doesn't have the same skill level as everyone else does when it comes to video games. How many people? When are people going to realize that? Yeah, yes they I, do. 
I, I definitely have to. I definitely have to agree with you. I'm so sick of hearing that when I'm first playing a new game. You noob. Oh, I yeah. just this is my first time playing the game. Of course, I'm new to it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And besides, if my gameplay was always perfect, my LPs would be boring. They really would. I would fall asleep. Yeah, I mean, I don't want like <laughs> this perfect gameplay can be boring. It's fun to make mistakes, and, and not that I'm make mistake those mistakes on purpose. Sometimes I do because it's funny, or I leave it in the recording. Oh, whoa! The way that happened, that was funny. We'll leave that in there. And okay, we're in Shellgate. Of course, I died on purpose just to showcase all the cool deaths. So how exactly do you record this stuff? I've always been interested to kind of know all the ins and outs of that. Uh, it's kind of complicated. I mean, it depends on what software. I use OBS to record my screen. And I use, uh, I mean, uh, there's uh, Sony Vegas for editing software. Or there's, there's different types of uh, editing software all over the place that are free. I think Sony Vegas though costs money, but um, yeah, it does take a while to really get used to it. I mean, to find your niche, because man, I had to mess around and toggle with stuff to really find my niche, especially when I had a new computer. I had to relearn everything, do everything different. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I've always sat back and wondered about recording um, older consoles and gameplay and whatnot for my YouTube channel and or Twitch and things like that. And I just came to the point where I'm like, well, I really don't want to go and spend money on a capture card because if I go and do that, then I mean, I don't really stream as much as I feel like I probably should with me being a gamer and liking to stream and whatnot. So I mainly just stream on my PS4. I don't even stream on my PC either. I mean, I could, like, we're playing something off of Steam, but it's mainly just off of my PS4. Because I think, like, a capture card, like the Elgato capture card is like a hundred and some odd dollars or something like that. And I'm you, like, can, you can get you, like, a just a cheapy cheap one for like 30 bucks that does a pretty good job i mean i use it i use emulation it's the cheapest easiest way for me to do this uh but yeah you you've been streaming recently um so uh i guess use that to do what uh lps and stuff on youtube if you want yeah i mean that's the main thing i've been doing is just but it mainly sticks along the lines of PlayStation 4 and whatever sony has on their network if i happen to to get it or whatever off of their uh, PlayStation Store or any games that I already own. Yeah. So it's not like I can really branch out into, say, Nintendo territory and whatnot. <laughs> Absolutely. So now my sword has uh, light in it now, so I can just swipe all that darkness out of the way. Sweet. And these Twilight Souls. Oh, it's like. Oh, no. Paul Bear? Uh -huh. yeah, it sounds like it. Oh, small key. Wake up, Jeff. Da, 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 da. Remember that when, dun, dun, dun. when Charlie played oh. the music? When you fell asleep in that, uh, what was it, the Piracy podcast we did? Yes, oh, Wake man. Wake up, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little late. Yeah. Like, uh, runny, runny, wake up. Stay on topic, runny. Jeff, wake up, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. Wake up, runny. F you, runny. <laughs> Oh, he's got the uh, both uh, hook shots or claw shots equipped now. He's got the both. Yeah, whoa, a bunch of Ridley's flying around here now. <laughs> ah, making them horn noises. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman or something. Whenever I move tables out of the way at my job, it makes that noise because we're on the like floor. <laughs> And these these faceless bats or, or whatever they are freaking creepy man yeah they are oh oh hi you missed the twilight realm sounds a lot like some really bad dubstep although i think all <laughs> dubstep sounds bad but that's just me yeah. <laughs> it's some really bad techno realm. yeah yeah. We're in the twilight realm for Monday Night Raw. Who the will be some mail along with Zant? <laughs> okay, here we go with the first match. Oh no, leg! Oh no! Oh, oh good sweet God! Baby Lord, you just jumped off into the abyss. He just jumped off to the abyss. Good God! Get some EMTs down there. Come on, referee. That man oh has my. a family. Oh yeah. my God! He's got a family. No, he don't. 
He's got a, what a... Um, oh, my! Yeah, they don't have a family. He's an orphan. Because uh -huh. he has his big papa tree, but that's about as close as he's going to get. Oh, boy. Yeah. And is uh, close to an uncle or father of Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Russell better hustle here. And... Snap. Nah. He's still, still back in the light realm and... Uh, with the uh, with Shad from Crime Time or the Gaming Historian, whatever his name is, and then the other people at Telma's Bar. Absolutely. Another small key. There you go, Jeff. Woo! I love them small keys. Don't you, Jr. Look at this dark, shadowy curtain. Papa Shango must be behind this. <laughs> yeah, I can see Papa Shango being the boss of this dungeon. Yeah, me too. Papa Shango's scared me now. The I already thought he was putting curses on people. Of course, the boogeyman would come back. He was great. He was making, so awesome. Making tar drip from people's foreheads and the ultimate warrior throwing up and and wrestler's feet on fire. Yep. Ultimate warrior throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> the boogeyman. Does it yeah, turn you on? Boogeyman. Ooh, boogeyman versus Papa Shango. That's a WrestleMania moment. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> yeah. We got a special referee. They are Undertaker. Yeah, that would be great. And Kamala as well, if he didn't lose his legs. Yeah, Undertaker would be the Oh. oh no, it's the big key. Here we go, the big key. Yes, finally the big key. Not the little key. The big one. I'm a big kid now. Da, da. <sighs> yeah, swipe away the darkness. Slice oh, away the no. darkness. We're we'll halfway through the game here at Monday Night Raw. At the Twilight Civic Center here in Twilight Zone, New York. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, no, no. I'm Vince Man along with Midna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, what a close line. Midna, have you crossed paths with it before? What are your thoughts? <laughs> I see. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> no, I'm Mr. Man Low here with Link. Oh no, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Link, don't say anything. Come on, don't don't be shy, Link. Say something. And then <laughs> just you, just, you, just see, you just see a dot 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 on the screen, and my man goes, oh, "I see." Anyway. I <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I, I know if you guys uh, noticed, probably didn't, but I skipped the part where Jeff would not notice he haven't played this game. I skipped the part where you do the whole acrobat stuff and you get like a heart piece or something or rupees. You remember that, uh, Spectre? Nope, because I never got this far. Oh, okay. Well, there's a part. I did it in earlier parts. But if you go back again, like inside Hyrule Castle Town, you go inside that tent where these three little girls keep following you because they have a crush on Link. And you do this acrobat thing where you use the claw shot to get through various parts of that cage. It looks like you're having a cage match with Bonesaw McGraw or something. And Spider-Man's trying to get out. That's what it looks like. Oh, jeez. You're going nowhere. <laughs> this I video, got I got you for an hour. One hour of playtime. <laughs> chips. Ah. <laughs> His biggest enemy is chips. Yeah. Hey. Macho Man, you want to watch TV with me? I'm going to watch Chips. <laughs> uh, and we're going to get some Chips. Ah. Uh-oh, what could this be? Another small key. Man, this is a huge dungeon. Jeez. Was this the original Zelda, the last dungeon here? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I can never beat that game without cheating. I had to use Game Genie and tutorials. Jeez, to get past the original Zelda. Dude. I'm going to sing you a song, everybody. Oh, Zelda was shooting things. Da -da 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 I'm out. That's it. <laughs> okay. It's another one you. chart topper. Uh, Jeff, I'll be here all night. Jeff is bored here. One hit wonder. Don't worry, Jeff. We're almost done. It's a, no, I don't mind. I'm sorry. I just don't have much to say right now. Well, well you know, that's understandable. Yeah. <laughs> I, see, I can't tell if Ronnie was insulting me or just being funny. Both. Uh, <laughs> I guess. <it> both. <laughs> why? Why not both? 
<laughs> hey, mate. Don't mess with me. Who would have been in love with Jeffrey Jackson Cash of Games Time? Oh, yeah. There you go. Tonight, we got Link versus Zamp. What are your thoughts, Jeff? Oh, man. Link, Link's just gonna, he's just gonna plow him. He's gonna plow driver him. I see. Here we go with the first matchup on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Why don't you subscribe to the WWE Whoa. Network, brother? Link has a thousand rupees. Da ha 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 They ain't nothing compared to what I got, McMahon. Da ha 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 ha. I see. Ah, oh, what an idiot. I beg your pardon? He's an idiot. Look at him. Da ha 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 ha. Everybody's got to put him in, dollar man. Wait a minute. No, here comes IRS. Hey, Link. You know you still got to pay taxes in the high world, right? That's why he's leaving. <laughs> here we go. Uh-oh. The showdown. It's gonna happen. Introducing first the challenger from Hyrule, the hero of time, Link. Mm-hmm. Oh, there he is. There he is, Mr. America. Yeah. Or Mr. Da, Twilight da, da. of the Twilight Realm. Mr. Hulk Hulk Hogan. I am a real Twilight Tekken. <laughs> yeah. Fight for the rights of all the Twilights. This is Hogan turning heel. Bad. Twilight Hogan. <laughs> Start the H World or the T W O Twilight World Order. Well, well, here comes the pain. Whoa. So, Ooh, he looks pretty. Is this Avatar? <laughs> yeah. His face has been revealed. Ah! Good God, King. So, Ryan, do you ever do like any uh, modern games, or do you just mainly stick with uh, older games? Yeah, I mainly stick with older. Very rarely have I done anything modern. This is as modern as you're gonna see for me for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, in 2009, though, 2008, I did do SmackDown versus Raw 2008, where I had that classic wrestling match with Skip Rogers. Oh, yeah. He seems a little wild. Yeah. He's been poisoned by the Twilight. He's twisted. That's right. Wow, 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 wow. Twisted wow. sister. That sounds like David Draymond from The Scourge. Wow. Yeah. It's time to get down with the sickness here on Monday Night Raw. Yeah. We're uncooked, uh, uncooked and uncensored, oh yeah. Unbridled passion. Well, I didn't, I don't stick with it. Yeah. Was she trying limbo? <laughs> oh. Story limbo time. Limbo with the twilight, twilight limbo. Story time to put Jeff to sleep. <laughs> Once upon GTS, a time, GTS, GTS. Yeah, yeah. Once upon a time, mm -hmm. there's a twilight realm where Zant stumbled and tripped on something. And as he got on oh. his knees, he oh. sounds like a little bitch. <laughs> He's, he sounds just like a uh, uh, Paul, Paul Bear. Oh no! I'm gonna lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't get what I wanted for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's this? All I wanted is to rule. Whoa, S Santa? <laughs> Remember uh, Santa Claus? Mm. If you go back no, to some episodes of Raw from 95, 96, you'll see Santa Claus, who's played by Balls Mahoney. Oh, wow. What? I'm going to suck face with this ball. Oh, God. It's dissolving it. What, what's going on? What, good God. Ah! What the bloody hell is that, King? Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. This part is really freaking cool. Oh, Undertaker! <laughs> I've got a snake in my pants from Jake Roberts. Oh, oh my Undertaker is building a special casket for you. Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, yes! Nice. 
Oh, Mr. Roberts. Is the king's hunch. Yes. Here we go. Oh, what the heck? What the, what's this stuff? It's on now, boys. Is this a forest temple dungeon? You say divorce temple? Am I going to get a divorce? Forest temple. <laughs> no. Divorce temple. Divorce court. It's known as court. I yeah. was so confused. But you're on a she on me. I don't care. $5,000 to the plaintiff. <laughs> Remember the episode of Judge Judy? Or was it Judge Judy or someone where the woman goes, he uh, he looked in my purse, and he goes, there was no phone in there, Your Honor. <laughs> you just gave it away. Uh -huh. You just admitted that he looked in the purse. You just admitted it. And you that was in right there. Your... Case closed. <laughs> you just played your hand. Wow. Yeah. The only judge I liked was Judge Milan because she was hot. Of course you like Judge Milan. You can judge me anytime. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. Easy there, boy. Condemn me to a life sentence. <laughs> uh, you're funny. The, the way the key. All right, that's enough. Oh, whoa. Oh, here we go. Whoa, now we're in the uh, uh, fire temple with the, uh, dang it, Gor Moron's Mines, whatever it's called. <laughs> the Moron's Mines. Uh, oh, I get it. We're going to fight like a rendition of uh, the bosses in every single temple now. Oh. You know it, sir. You should never know here on Monday Night Raw. Anything that happened here the World Wrestling Federation? So happy to be here, guys. So good. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm down to the campus. <laughs> you down with a clown? Ah, it's annoying. Almost like Mario 64 Bowser battle here. Actually, mm. this guy is a clown. Yeah. Remember Joint the Clown? <laughs> no. He was cool. I'm glad Stephen I Stephen King. I mean, I mean Stephen King. It's cousin. Oh, uh, Fit is his name called Fit. Well, his not a Fit here. Is now we're in the water temple, uh -huh. boss. Look at the it's Zora's water. outfit here. Under the sea, under the <laughs> sea. Whoa. Apparently, you need uh -huh. to utilize everything that you've gotten in the game in this battle. It looks like. Yeah. Utilize everything. Whoa, look out. Everyone! Get over here! Oh, no. So I'm guessing he can breathe underwater with that armor too. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. I'm going to eat your face. With a side of garnish and some ranch. Ha ha ha. I don't like ranch. Uh, can I get a side of ranch, please? Yeah, get some ranch. I need some yeah. ranch on this damn thing. I uh, want my steaks. I want my steaks, way old dude. Remember that no, tag yeah. team? Remember that wrestling tag team, Well Done? Never heard of it. Timothy you Well, have, the, Timothy Well, Stephen Dunn, Well Done. You will have your steaks medium rare, and that's the only way you should eat them. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Now we're in the uh, the part of the, uh, the, the mini boss battle of the Force Temple here. If it's not bleeding, it's not good. That's what my girlfriend says, too. She's like, she's like, you just want to eat your meat burnt. You're just like my dad. I'm like, well, so I like my stuff cooked. She's like, you got to have some red in the middle of it. <laughs> I, I like your I like your uh, interpretation of her accent. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I'm you, the you one. Uh-huh. You got to get good when it comes to eating meat. <laughs> I, I'm the only one in, in our relationship. I'm the one with the closest thing to a southern accent. Yeah, she's uh, yeah, she's she's southern. She's uh, she probably sounds more southern than I do. I have my moments, so because like, my dad 
God rest his soul, he was from the north and my mom was from the south, so I'm kind of a mixture of the both. When I get really angry or really excited, I can start to get southern, but if I'm just talking normally, just uh -huh. a normal conversation, I sound like I don't have any conversation at all. I mean, any conversation, any accent at all. Oh, yeah, no, I, I can, I'm from southern Illinois, so I can pull off a southern accent if I want to, but I usually yeah. don't. <laughs> I'm from southern Texas, so I talk like this all the time. We, we know you're from Texas. Yeah, woo! Welcome wow. to the S2K channel. This is Ron Mower, and we're playing The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Dad, I'm about to beat Zan here. I'm from South North Carolina, so I, I reckon I got some of that stuff in my voice. Are you from North Carolina? <gasps> Woo! Yeah. People have weird barbecue Yeah, sauce. from North Kakalaki. Uh oh, I think this is the final form. <laughs> I'm going to cut you up, Link. What if we actually cut Link like, oh my god, I flipped Oh, it. whoa, what was that? this is the hack and slash now. He's getting ready to cut some steak and eat it, jeez. <laughs> oh, I lost that steak here. Oh, there's cool. this restaurant called Hype Miller Steakhouse, and their t-shirts say, we, uh, something about uh, our food is good, we stake our reputation on it, or something like that. Wow. Let's nice play on words. Then they shut down. No, not really. Nice. Oh, <laughs> well, they stake their reputation on it. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> oh. This music. <laughs> Zan looks stupid right here. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's just flailing like a moron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this got to be the most, uh, uh, Bud hurt sissified Zelda boss in history. Uh huh. He's I'm like gonna a... fucking cut your face! Yeah. <laughs> he got himself busy. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. I've been bludgeoned to death with your sword, because apparently I've not been cut. Yeah, pwned. Dun, dun, dun. He's still flat in his face. <laughs> We're back for a commercial break. Here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get the recap, JR. Yeah. How are you not dead, man? So is those last words that a, boy, a boss needs to say before he finally dies, I reckon. Oh, boy. Die already. Just stab him in the face and let's get it over with. <laughs> and then he'll split into two forms and you gotta fight me again! Oh, no. Fine. <laughs> Behead him. I don't care. Do it. Guillotine his ass, French Revolution style. Yeah. Oh no. Ooh. That's not creepy at all. Ah. The fishing boat. <laughs> the shit? Nice. Look at Link. Link's like, what the? Huh? <laughs> <gasps> Wait, Zelda is here? Okay. Oh, she's still in the light realm in the castle. Imprisoned by Ganondorf's power. 
Look at those crisp, clear Nintendo Wii graphics. I mean, just... It's GameCube, mm. actually, but yeah. Oh, Ga GameCube. Uh, that, uh, Wii's just an overpowered it's GameCube, GameCube get anyway. Right. <laughs> all, all, if you look at the specs, a Wii is a slightly upgraded GameCube. Like, literally. Well, you know what else is upgraded? Your face. What's that? <laughs> my, my face has been upgraded. It looks much better. I had a facial last week. Pretty nice. <laughs> That's why right, so we got all the hearts now. I thought there were two pieces left, but I guess Holes. not. Yeah. Jump in this weird random hole. There you go. Link has full energy. energy. I wonder what that feels like. Yeah, it's... Oh my... Oh my god! Ah, can we do not do that ever again? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Everything's ripping apart inside of me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It hurts so much. What if he came back the wrong way? Like his head on his butt, you know? <laughs> uh, that happened in a commercial... Or a parody commercial... Uh, I can't find it where these kids, like, it's supposed to be a drink commercial, and they all drink it, then, like, fly around like a fireballs or energy balls or something. They fuse back uh -huh. together as one. They're all deformed looking. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, hopefully, Link, Link won't look deformed looking in part 29 as he goes back to the light world or Hyrule. Until then, God bless you. Take care. Peace. Take care, folks. Peace. <laughs> Welcome to part 29 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is Ron Moore along with Spectre and Tibbs. How's it going? Hello. And we are done with the Temple of Twilight. And so the only one, only one more thing left to do, and that's to go to Ganon's Castle. Not quite yet, because we have an ordeal to deal with, or ordeals to deal with in this game, as we are heading toward the cave of ECW. I was hoping you would do this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I would have figured as much. I thought you didn't get this far in this game, uh, Spectre. Oh, no. I mean, just the fact that you mentioned ECW. I was like, oh, we're at the Temple of ECW, and now we're going to a cave of ECW. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not a cage match, a cave match. Yeah, a cave match. <laughs> Find broken Matt Hardy somewhere in here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You ever feel like uh, the world's caving in on you? <laughs> but I'll have some torches if you want the audience to be able to see. It's a dark match. Get it? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Remember that game, Humans? The game, Humans? Yeah. I don't think so. A game called Humans. Yeah, I, know like, I guess like Caveman, you gotta have. It reminds me of Lemmings, maybe? You gotta do these obstacles. You plays a bunch of humans, and you gotta like build obstacles to get past certain levels. I can't really explain it. It's been so long since I played it. So it's Troll and Eroar. Eroar. <laughs> yeah. Remember from a uh, Zelda two? I am. Which do you prefer, the pit, the pit, the pit of trials in Wind Waker, or this? Which one do you prefer? I never played. Oh, I played Wind Waker and I get that far. It's one thing to have those little plants pop up and try to come after you if you're in their radius. It's another thing if they actually start crawling after you. Yeah. Man, John Goodman would take these spiders out. <laughs> Rock. <Rocket. laughs> oh. Absolutely. I haven't cool. seen that movie in a long time. Welcome to Cave Story for the GameCube. <laughs> <laughs> cool Cave That's Story, cave bro. Story got the Switch, actually. I think it's a new one, unless it's like a remaster or remake or something. It's all 2D sprite based. We got did LP. It's the original game with a bunch of stuff included. We got did LP of Cave Store years ago, I think. Hmm. Yeah, Cave Store is awesome. Yeah, there was one on the DS or the 3DS, one or the other. I haven't checked out. I know there's on there, but I've never played it. Well, have you played uh, Shovel Knight where you play as Triple H? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, actually they, they don't really, I do have it. They don't really uh that's not really re relevant anymore. He actually creates talent and does cool things now doesn't doesn't bury anymore. I think it's pretty <laughs> much Vince is doing it. He's the one that still has control of the company, so he's the one that's calling oh. all the shots. Yeah. I just I just got it. Shovel Barry, I just got it. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
I've, I've actually heard talk about how Triple H wanted to kind of bring back a little of the Attitude Era, if you will, in wrestling today, make it a little bit more hip as to what it used to be known as, but Vince won't allow it to pass. Well, dude, yeah. the way Braun beat the crap out of Roman the other night, that's not exactly PG. Yeah, yeah that's true. I still want to see Brock versus Strowman. Yeah, me too. That would be great. Oh, it, it'll happen. It kind of did happen, but that was when the Wyatt family was jumping him, but <laughs> Brock destroyed all of them. Yeah. Paul Hayner's down the call with this. Excuse me? He conquered them, not destroyed. Conquered. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. <laughs> and this is my LP, The Legend of Brock, the Conqueror of Time. <laughs> Imagine locking Paul Heyman and Paul Bearer in the, in, in the same room together. <laughs> <laughs> my client beat your client. Oh, yeah. Hello, well, hello there. Put some clothes on, young lady. <laughs> wings. That's not PG. Oh, wait, this isn't PG. This is T for teen. Indeed. Yeah, what? this is why. <laughs> why couldn't we have this elf in Breath of the Wild? That'd be nice. Is that that old <laughs> fat one? <laughs> Remember, uh... In the dark world, in a link to the past, where the fairies are moved like Ganon. Ganon gets you around. Talking about, you, know, you talking about the anti fairies? No, the remember in the dark world, the the dark power turns all the fairies to ugly looking pig fairies. Remember when you get the silver arrow? Oh yeah, that's just one fairy. I thought it was. I thought all fairies are like that in the dark world. No, no, because that's the only fairy in the dark world, I think. Uh, Your knowledge I, is I vast. assumed, I assumed all of them were turned that way. If, if she was. Well, you can't assume, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, you know what they assume. assume. You assume. Don't assume. Don't assume. I, was, I, was, I beat my... that game when I was three. Yeah, I need no faggy cheat codes. I need to use gay genie. Game Genie. <laughs> Remember a Christina Aguilera song? Game Genie in the bottle. No. Yep. Game oh. Genie needs to come back. I swear it does. Yeah. The only thing they have now is a little USB thing for the PS3. That's the only uh, evidence of Game Genie that I've seen in the modern age. Yeah. Well, if you look at the, like all the ROM hacks, there are people that have made like corrupted versions of Mario 64 and Skyward Sword and all those games with some crazy effects. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen some of those. I figured maybe it was just them getting inside of the like if they had a ROM or something of it, and they were just going in and screwing around with the code to cause that to happen. Yeah, I think so. It's still pretty cool though how you can do all that stuff. Yep. So in the cave of ordeals, you gotta overcome all the ordeals and you unlock all the fairies in Hyrule. That's right. Well, that's pretty stupid. No, I'm just kidding. Plus, there's one Easter egg in this place that makes it all worth it. You better show it. And if I can, uh, I don't even know if I know what that is. Let's see if I can show it or stumble upon it. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. What is this, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom for GameCube? That's pretty cool. Yeah, honestly, I like all the Indiana Jones movies, but I think that was the one that I... I wouldn't say that I liked the least, but it just didn't seem like it stood up too well against the other ones, as, oh. as well as I would have thought. Oh, I loved it. It was the first one oh, yeah, I yeah, I actually. definitely like it. I, yeah, yeah, I definitely like it for sure. I think the main thing that stood out to me was when they were sitting there at the dinner table and they were eating those bugs and all that stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. No, when I was yeah. a kid, when I was a kid, the part that tripped me out was the when uh, Dalsima, whatever his name is, uh, ripped uh, rip, ripped out a uh, molar ram, ripped out the yeah. guy, the guy's heart. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Actually, the actor that played as Dalsim in Street Fighter the movie is in that movie, but as that uh. Uh, I don't know, a, a palace tour? He ends up turning heel on Indiana Jones? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. 
the reason we have PG-13, supposedly. Yeah. Yeah. You can't rip out people's hearts today. Man, the episode of The Simpsons where I think a mafia a guy ripped out Homer's heart and the, his leader goes, nah, don't do that. It was all right. So he put the heart back in, in Homer. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> Rip his heart out, and Homer's about to die, and his, I guess his boss goes, nah, don't, you don't have to kill him. All right, puts the heart back into Homer's chest, and Homer's all right. Forbidden donut. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Stonecutters episode where Homer was uh, yes. wiping his mouth with the the uh, that scroll, whatever it was, in the, in the Stone Cold Cutters uh, uh, temple. <laughs> Stone cold, Cuddy. Whoa. Cold Stone, my type. Cold Stone, I'm my I like Cold Stone. Cold Stone, my favorite wrestler. Shh. And my boy. Wasn't it Mike Tyson who always called him Cold Stone? Yeah, that's who I'm imitating. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Just like if you watch the 98 Rumble when Michael Cole's interviewing Tyson, he refers to Shawn Michaels as an up and coming hungry tiger. <laughs> he's like, he's, he's full, he's a champion. So was that the last poll? No, I think there's two or three more down here. This is like a constant arena battle thing. Yeah. Yeah, 50, 50 floors, I believe. Is it optional? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The reward's that's not why, that great, that's but why it's, I gotta do it every time. That's why it's best to have all the hearts full before you enter this place oh what's interesting about this specter is that it's blocked off into sections and each section cannot be completed unless you have like uh or rather you can't get to each section unless you have a certain item so you can't actually uh complete this until you beat the city in the sky so oh, okay. so what if you don't have that and you enter here are you stuck you gotta reset the game or cure yourself no, because each room that the fairy is in, they offer to take you out of it. Okay, like, you're at a dead end, idiot. You're missing the Rod of Dominion. So when you go back again, do you have to fight all the enemies again, or are they are already gone? No, you got to fight them again. Oh, yeah. Lord. It's Dark Souls Zelda. <laughs> Man, it's getting attacked by uh, the Boyness Blobs here. <laughs> all the Kooling is... Boy and his Blob. Oh, man, jeez. Reminds me of that uh, Black Sludge in Creep Show 2. Oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> they yeah. were out on the raft or something and it pulled that girl's face. The off. raft. Yeah, that gave me I that, that beat gave me the creep. You. <laughs> yeah, I just found out. I beat you. <sighs> like, you idiot. Then the sign no swimming. Yeah. It's awesome. That, that movie, that, the first creep show was fantastic. The second one is so bad, it's good. Yeah, she's the queen fairy. Is she? And each one of these sections that you do releases fairies to one of the springs. No, but is she the queen fairy? See right fairy? here, she says, from this point on, you will need, you will have need of the power to, that allows one to break through massive frozen blocks of ice. So you need the ball and chain to continue further. Yeah, but is she the queen fairy? I don't really think there is a queen fairy in this game. Like, I don't know if this one fairy is the one you're seeing throughout this entire place or not. Yeah, the, you know, Zelda series ripped off Star Trek. Everybody in Hyrule has Spock ears. <laughs> <laughs> Spock Man and Mega Man 3? Oh, wait, that's... Oh. They're all elves. <laughs> I lost I'm count. Speechless. I lost that count. left me speechless. I lost count. Is it 420? <laughs> you know, they could at least tell you. By 10. They could at least tell you on top left or right or bottom left or right, whatever corner or floor you're on. If it's oh, blocked it, it, by, by 10, you're in 21 now. It didn't start you all the way back in the beginning, though, so that's good. Yeah. All right, Hercules. <laughs> Hercules swinging the chain before he wrestled. Crush enemies. Oh, wait, that's Coney. Whoa. Uh, ghost rats. 
Those things are freaky. Yeah. Oh, what's this? A pole? Oh, hearts. <laughs> it's a bread heart. You get it? Boo. McMahon. <laughs> Beg your pardon? <laughs> but it's not the king of hearts. Oh, one heart. Well, take on his older brother, Brett the Hitman Heart. Oh, this is creepy. This is some, the Mummy Return stuff. Whoa. <laughs> They, oh like, they creep up on you. Well, how come they're not riding motorcycles? <laughs> Don't no, even it. mention that game. Come on, give with the times, just like Castlevania did. Uh-oh. It's a giant spider from Uninvited. Remember the demo? You might not remember it, Ronnie, but Spectre, if you're a Zelda fan, you might remember prior to... Anything starting with Breath of the Wild, the initial did, like clip they had was of Link fighting a giant Goma. Yeah, I don't oh, really remember. No, Twilight like Princess. Before any... Oh, no, no, no. Like, basically, what they were doing is they were showing what a Zelda game on the Wii U could have been. It even had like inventory on the gamepad screen. And for that few seconds of him fighting a Goma was all we got. Oh, wow. Remember Sony's E3 presentation? In 2006? 2006. Where they said, uh, in this game, this game sim sim uh, simulates actual real battles in ancient Japan. And then, they sh and then uh, the next thing you know, you see, right here, you're fighting a giant enemy crab. <laughs> no, jeez. Yeah, that was for, they were talking about the PlayStation 3, I believe. And uh, it was, um, I forgot, it was some type of samurai action game. Yeah. The worst was Microsoft showing off, I think it was Call of Duty with the Kinect. I guess that didn't connect with the fans. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, this is where you gotta use the rod of ECW. Yes. Link loves to use his rod. Yep. Remember rod, rod and Todd? From uh, uh that yeah. sounds familiar. The Simpsons, Flanders. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember those? Uh, I don't know why I thought of these two. George and Adam, those two super fans. Oh and yeah. I mean, <laughs> you remember those guys? Yeah, I'm getting close to that era right now. I'm watching Raw '94 right now. Yeah, I remember they they presented I think the Slammy Award to the Undertaker, and they peed their pants. Yeah. And doesn't even take doesn't take or even acknowledge it. I think. Yeah, he kind of looks at him and goes. Uh. <laughs> Wasn't one of them a uh, Steve Prezak interviewer? I don't know. Maybe not. I I know nothing. All I remember is one of them was Goofy Ginger. Yeah. Oh. The only two guys geekier than Todd Pettengill. Goofy Ginger. Yeah. Todd Pettengill. He was the like uh. <laughs> Michael Cole with the early 90s. Oh! I forgot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dang it, come on. Dang it, freaking Get good, up. Ronnie. The Reed Dead's freezing you or whatever they are. All right, hopefully this is the last one. We'll find out. After, hopefully, in this cave, these are the last of the pose. Well, they're 60, so. Yeah. Well, I lost count. You think I remember? <laughs> oh, oh, man. More jelly. Jeez. You jelly? Yeah. Okay, got sent to the jelly school. Dang it, freaking ghost rats on me now. Yep, I knew it. Jeez. Oh, yeah, you got to fight the Rat King as the boss in this cave. <laughs> Come on, get him, boy. Get him, put that up, boy. <laughs> and Lassie would get killed real quick. Have either Cujo or... Uh, 
the dog from that movie, Man's Best Friend, be in this cave. Right to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get it down. Roll right into it. Oh, look at oh, oh idiot. <laughs> you stupid idiot. Yeah. The, these guys can be a pain. Yeah. This thing just made the list. Oh man, not these anorexic ice demons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guys want to blow up here on YouTube? <laughs> there you go. Oh. Ooh, right in the heart. Man, I got Goldberged. <laughs> Sub Zero versus Goldberg. No, Scorpion versus Goldberg. Battle, the, battle of the spears. Well, we know who would win that one. Yep, Goldberg. No. <laughs> Goldberg. Uh, okay, this has got to be what floor thirty, I think. Imagine the fair did not like uh. Magically make you leave this place after you're done. That's a long way back. Yeah, it is. <laughs> How would you get back unless you had the grappling beam to wrap it onto something on each floor? And this is the exit toward the end. Oh, this is driving me nuts having to do all this. <laughs> yeah. Imagine you get to the very last floor and you die. Uh, that, that's like happened to me. Right there, there? Oh, jeez. How frustrated were you? You know, Sub-Zero would be a good cop. Mm. You know, no, Scorpion. Get over here! No, freeze! <laughs> oh, okay. The dumb, dumb tis. Yeah, but dumb tis. But dumb tis. Oh, cool! It's one of those. Uh, ah, I forgot those bombs are called. Bomb shoes or bomb lanes. Yeah, bomb shoes. Yeah. 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 Pick up shoes. Bomb Kevin shoes. Was gonna win. This is the only practical use for them in the whole game. <laughs> They were a good use in Ocarina of Time. Yes. You know, it's kind of funny for me. When it deals with, like, little trial areas like these in various games, like, it doesn't matter the genre. There are a lot of different games have a bunch of different different types of little trial stuff, whether they be DLC or in the game itself. I just... Uh, I've never really been a person who's bothered with them, and I sit back and think, like, man, was I actually missing out on not bothering with these trials? Because to me, I kind of felt like, in a way, they were kind of filler, but in a way, I probably might have been missing out on something, so I don't know. Maybe I kind of need to open my mind a little bit more and actually start trying some of them out, depending on, depending on the game. That uh, soldier I just killed, was he, was he a mini-boss in... What, uh, the Light Temple? I mean, the Temple of Time? The Temple of Time, yes, he was. There he is. I love that when they get pissed off and take their sword out. Yeah. That's when they become super easy, though. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Oh, yeah. Remember that part in the Temple of Doom where they're about to be crushed by those spikes? Oh, yeah. This is getting on. serious. Yeah. Just trying to tell her to pull the lever. I can't do it now. How can yeah. I? And then she accidentally <laughs> pushes the switch again. They all almost get trapped in there. Yeah. I think this is the same fairy. 
I bet you have to fight her. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a Vince Russo like swerve. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually the boss blind from Ocarina. I mean, uh, I need to the past. You know something, Ronnie? I, if you look it up, the name of that boss in Link to the Past actually I don't think is blind. Yeah, I think it's something else, but I don't even remember. I'm checking. I'm curious. It's Morph Moth from uh, Mega Man X2. No. no, that's a different... Dang, I think of the Dungeon 3 boss in the Dark World. Like, like the giant butterfly no, that's, uh, conveyor that's, belts. That, that's Mothula. Morph Moth is from Mega Man X2. I know, it's a joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh! Oh, geez, floor number 100. Hey, JR, I guess you can say he's going through quite an ordeal, huh? It's not oh, funny, apparently King. it is blind. What it's do I know? funny, King. You're a liar. What do you mean? Well, you don't tell the truth. That's what a liar does, King. Ah. Remember that, Spectre? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I'm what a, do you mean I'm, I'm a liar? Yeah, we don't exactly. tell the truth. That's what liars do, King. Yeah, exactly. I just uh, I thought it was so so funny because I love the banter between the both of them. Nobody will ever be able to top them as being uh, color commentators. I, I just don't think that any other commentating well, team can really can really beat them. I don't know. Gorilla and Bobby were freaking hilarious together. Yeah, I'm about oh, to say yeah. those two get them run for their money. Yeah. Um, honorable mentions are Shivani and Heenan and Shivani and Ventura. Well, that's a good way for Jericho to go out, to go on tour, just have Kevin Owens beat the living poop out of him. Yeah. Speaking of Jericho, I actually saw his new music video today for uh, his band Fozzie. I've never really listened to his music too much. I've heard a few songs, but I never really gave it a real, a real good listen. But I, mean, I, I wonder if there's anyone in the whole world that only knew him from Fozzie and didn't know he was a wrestler. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember like in was it 2000 where um, they mentioned they kept off saying um, Fozzie will perform tonight on Sunday Night Heat and WWF New York wherever the heck I forgot and um, and then Cole said doesn't Jericho have a uh, doesn't Fozzie have a striking resemblance to Jericho and I looked at him and his and his voice sounded just like him. he looked like him I said man he does wow then I eventually found out oh wait that is him. What? Like, I never heard of Fozzie. Yeah, it's like they tried to hide it. Never heard of Fozzie until <laughs> until around that time. I'm like, what? And then I, yeah. I was like, oh, no wonder he looks and sounds like him because it is him. Yep. Did uh, you know, su supposedly, that goon gimmick was originally supposed to be for him because his dad was a hockey player? Oh, man. I'm glad that didn't uh, uh, and, happen. And, and, Instead, they gave it to Wild Bill Irwin. Yeah, that, which is a weird person to give it to. Wild Bill Irwin, really? Terry Taylor could have made the Red Rooster worse, but he did. He hated it. Well, from what I understand, Bruce Pritchard goes into this too. Supposedly, that the whole thing oh. about him, like, like going going cock a doodle doo and stuff like that, it wasn't. He wasn't literally supposed to be a rooster. But he thought it was a rib on him. He thought he would never get over, so he didn't take it seriously. But Vince's original idea was just for him to be a cocky guy because yeah. he thought he was. He thought he was as good as Ric Flair. Yeah. Oh, I just got 60 pose. That's good. Well, then that's all of them. Yeah, so uh, sometime after this, I have to pay Joe Avani or whatever, Giovanni, whatever his name is, a visit. I hope I'm almost done. And the other day, Spectre, I was playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and I thought something was wrong with my Switch Pro controller because I couldn't keep going straight, and then I realized I had motion controls on. <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh, thank, I was like, thank God. All right, yeah, I actually made a few problems like that. As a matter of fact, uh, when I was playing over at a friend's place and we were playing it, uh, we were playing on the Wii U version, and uh, they were like, why in the world is it that I can't control? I'm, I'm moving my hands. And I was like, oh, well, you got the motion control thingy on, so you have to turn that off to be able to just use the controls. So. 
All right. Hopefully this is the last one or real close to it. I, I think this is the last floor. You can do it, Ronnie. You can do it, Ronnie. You can do it, Ronnie. You can do it, Otto. You can do it, Otto. <laughs> Points of reference? If we I had said... a hat on, I'd be taking it off for you, Ronnie. Oh, thanks, but I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it's as, as if almost someone else did this, not me. <laughs> oh, we got the great, I got the haters tears. All the haters. We got a, we got a cup of haters. Cup of haters. Enjoy the sweet sweetness of their tears. Yeah. I guess I did very good. Not ah, very good. But I've done this. This ain't no fairy tale game. Well, it kind of is. That's a wicked suit of armor. Back here. Well, unless I, unless I miss something, I think we're pretty much ready to go to the end of the game, right? Yeah, I missed the Easter egg, did I? Oh, I didn't even remember. Yes, you did. Okay, for anyone who uh, who doesn't know, the mailman is actually in there on one of the floors. I think the last floor, actually. I thought that was the last floor. So where, where was he at? When you first walk in, I think there's a that ledge that you stand on before you jump down goes around, and he's up there. Huh. Is he, like, looking at mail like he usually does? Like, hmm, where, where does this go? I don't remember exactly. I gotta look that up now. Ugh. All right, so now we're going to go see Giovanni and set him free. Keep him that way and cut out his eyes. Sell him. Uh, yeah. Luigi? He looks like my friend. <laughs> he looks like my friend Andrew. Jeez. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Two hundred rupees. Wow. And just like Ocarina of Time, you don't get jack shit for doing all this. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of finding stuff, Spectre, another update, two of the updates actually for Breath of the Wild, one of them is going to be the ability to track your progress, like your every step for the last 200 hours you've been playing, and the other will be a Korok mask that will shake whenever a Korok is nearby, which will be very helpful. Oh, that would be great. All right, back to Telma's bar here, and wait, wait who's that? What? Giovanni? Wah, wah, wah. Oh, that's messed up. I've I've never seen this before. Oh man, so she left him because he was um uh in that state for a while and she just found found another man. Well shit, I, I never bothered to go check to go find him. That's cool. Sad but cool. Sad but true. Sad but cool. You know what's sad but true? Sad but true. No, uh, glad but false. Happy but false. Wait, fail. All right, Imagine now Triple H singing. Sad, sad but true. All right, we're approaching the final castle. Uh, before we get ready to fight Ganondorf. Uh, and the final part of Twilight Princess, which will be the next part. So, finally, we will arrive to face Ganon in the final showdown. In part 30, will be the Let's Play slash Discuss Twilight Princess. See you guys then. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care. Peace. See ya. And welcome to the grand finale, the Let's Play Discuss, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess for GameCube. This is Ron Moore, along with Ravenous Spectre and Tibbs. Greetings. It's the final countdown. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yep, and we're about it to It has enter. come to this. Yep. We're about to enter uh, Howrose, or excuse me, Ganon's castle. I'm just like... <laughs> yeah, whoa. The dark, uh, the, the fused shadow is at work here. Have we seen this once before, or is this a completely different scene? 
now this is this is back in the Howrow now, but Howrow Castle is covered in twilight and Midna here with the under the influence of the twilight power, whatever it's called, is about to Yeah, break. so those few shadows that we got way back when are actually gonna make a difference. Yeah. What was Goma? So badass. Yeah. Midna on steroids. <laughs> now there's a trophy for Smash Brothers. Right, yeah. That'd be a nice summon for Smash Brothers, I think. Can you play as Midna in one of those Smash Brothers games? No, but she is a assist trophy. You can play her in Hyrule Warriors, though. Oh, cool. Yep. As Midget Midna or full grown Midna? Midget Midna. Uh -huh. They should have it to where she powers up and becomes a, a, a normal princess that she is. You can assume the spider, <laughs> spider though. Oh, cool. All right, so the barrier is broken in Hyrule Castle, so Link's about to finally enter Hyrule Castle, or, or again, uh, it should be Ganon's castle until Link defeats him. All oh, the fans watching, oh, you idiot, it's Hyrule Castle. Just because Ganon is taking over doesn't mean it's called that. The graphic will tell you in a minute. It says Hyrule Castle. <laughs> For the first time since Link to the Past, we go back to Hyrule Castle. See? He's taking up some residency for the moment. Yeah. See, Hyrule Castle. Oh. We're fully loved in Hyrule Castle. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, from behind, or from the front. <laughs> from behind it, from the front. <laughs> from the front? What do you mean, McMahon? <laughs> so now we got to fight these um, generic enemies again. And uh, a lot of this part is going to uh, take place outside the castle before we ever get in. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a long one, folks, so grab your popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. Link went, Link went into this game, James Ellsworth, but he's now Brock Lesnar. Right, yeah. <laughs> and he's going to end up fighting The Undertaker. Whoa, and here's Braun Strowman. <laughs> I've got the blood. Isn't he injured now? I think so, a minor injury for a yeah. few weeks. Yeah, he's, yeah. I wonder what the sparkling part right there is trying to tell us. He's a vampire. <laughs> yeah. In this day and age, yeah. Yeah. Gangrel uh, is not thrilled with today's vampires. I agree. I wouldn't be either, which actually I'm not. Remember Vampiro? Yeah, oh, he yeah. wouldn't be thrilled either. No, uh, he wouldn't. Some grand. What? I like how after all the times you fight this guy, he just gives up. Oh, so this is the same ghoul or whatever he is? Yeah, King Boblican or whatever his name I is. Thought he's the like same an, guy. I, I thought there was a bunch of them. <laughs> he's on our side now. So he turned face. Exactly. And unlike the big show, he won't turn back. Right, yeah. No turning back. We should put like we should put in parentheses next to the title of every video on this channel, plus some wrestling talk. Right, yeah. Uh, he spoke. <sighs> he spoke. He actually cut a promo. What? So what did Minder mean by that? Like he he talked like uh, well, of course he he talked before in the game, did he? No. Other than a little grunt. When you beat him last, when he held his arm and went... Rrr. So, what was that moment supposed to be like? Uh, he can actually talk. Uh, okay. <laughs> so can Link, but he never talk. Maybe that's what the thing is. Like, people that are, never talk, when they first... Imagine Link talking. Then, whoa! Now, wait a minute. Link talks all the time. 
Yeah, or dot, 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 right. or whenever in Link to the Past where he say, oh, what's that, Link? And as if Link says something, but you didn't hear him say it, but he actually did. He's got his own language, pretty much. Yeah, the Hylian language. Or yeah, Hylian, exactly. whatever, yeah. Holly, Holly, can I beat this game without a sword? Holly, unlikely. You, be you better, you better pronounce it right, Ronnie. You'll piss off all the fanboys. Right, yeah. You guys know anything about Zelda? When I was five years old. I beat Twilight Princess without a sword, and I you know faggy cheat codes. Mm, cheat codes. Oh, I thought I was gonna go inside the castle. Nope, still more outside stuff. Oh, jeez, I feel <laughs> like I'm playing Shadow Gate 64 here, except there's action. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> we're we're alive here in Shawshank Prison in in Maine. And well, wait a minute, Represent. there's the guards. Yeah, there's the guards. Wait, wait, there's there's that's gotta be Captain Hadley. That's gotta be Captain Hadley. <laughs> <coughs> well, here comes Warden Norton, Warden Norton, the Scott Norton, whatever his name is, that dirty rotten son of a. No, Warden Norton is Vince McMahon. <laughs> Scott Norton. There's a guy I haven't thought of in like 20 years. Yeah. I tweeted to him like a few months ago and he favored in my tweet. I said, you're awesome in WCW. I remember your debut on Nitro. You're freaking awesome. And blah, blah, blah. He, he favored it. I was like, cool. Awesome. Always cool when uh, a wrestler favors your tweet. <coughs> Yeah, it's all yeah. Didn't he tag didn't he tag with Buff Bagwell for a little while yeah, in the NWO? Yeah, yeah, vicious and delicious. No oh, jeez. That was the only time I know what you time, I was gonna say that was the only time in his career that Buff Bagwell was good that I liked him. I know what you like, Ronnie. American males. Oh jeez, no. No man, jeez. That was You know what? At least they're better than uh Techno Team two thousand. Who, who, what do you think is the douchier team? Um, uh, bleh, the All-American, uh, yeah, the American Males or the Fabulous Rougeau Brothers? Um, like, uh, as far as, like, lame or just better heels? What do you mean by douchery? Like, <laughs> well, I guess they each had their own type of douchery. Maybe it doesn't fit. I think the Rougeau Brothers were a better team, I think, overall wrestling-wise and promo-wise and... And heel wise, American males are just stupid. I mean, I, that music too. Jeez, I, I know that the Rogel brothers had that. Uh, the, We're the Mounties, uh, you know, wherever it was, but American. No, males, it, I, no, in the eighties, it was that. We're the all American boys. I actually like that song. Wait, who? But American males didn't have that song. They weren't around in the eighties. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the fabulous Rougeau brothers. The Rougeau brought out. Well, he he was a part of different. He had different tag. He had a uh, Pierre also as a tag team. He had the Mountie music. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, never mind. I remember now. I remember the music now. I'm talking about the the team with his brother, Jacques and. <laughs> yeah, I remember the music now. Uh, I don't remember the lyrics, but I remember how it sounded. When when Jimmy Hart brought them to America and they started acting like they were loyal American citizens carrying little flags everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, they're better than the American males. <laughs> American males. <laughs> Who's saying their music? Uh, Pierce Pullman Vicar? Jeez. For the longest time, I did not find that little hole. Yeah. It's tricky. Tricky, tricky, Ricky, Ricky the Dragon Steam. See, it always goes to wrestling somehow or another. <laughs> tricky, Ricky. Well, the, the three of us are all the three of us are always watching wrestling or listening to podcasts stuff. Like that, so it's like always on our minds. Yeah, Rick, Ricky. Uh oh, more, more of these mummy returns, enemies. Mummy Returns, starring The Rock. There we go again. The Rock, yep, the wrestling, if I say Scorpion King, was The Rock. Rain Stop Statue. Oh, dang, I didn't read it. Cursed Swordsman sleeps before the sacred tree. Really? Whoa. 
I love the rain. Yeah, it, it does feel like the old uh, SNES Hyrule Castle because uh, it's raining. Yep. Plus, like I said, like Ocarina Time, the castle was there, but you never actually went inside of it. This is the first time since Link to the Past that Hyrule Castle was a dungeon. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. And Link to the Past, you go in that dun the quote-unquote dungeon twice. Yep. That's right, because, you know, I never thought of that. Wow. Yeah, in Ocarina of Time, you never go inside of the castle. I mean, you go around it. But not in it. You go in the courtyard, but that's about it. Yeah. It took me a while to figure out how to get in. You gotta go in the courtyard without getting caught. Or well, like, you know, once I got in there, I didn't get caught during that stealthy mission, but um, like to get in the drain hole. It took me a while because of a stupid mistake I made. <laughs> Yay, let's collect more rupees instead of saving Princess uh, Zelda. I was about to say Toadstool. Zelda in Hyrule Castle. Your face is beaming. Much. Yeah. I have this torch and. Hmm. I guess something happens up there. We're still live here in uh, Shawshank Tank. It's just Shaw Tank Tank. Shawshank Shark Tank. Shark Tank. Shark Tank. Shark Tank. Not the video game. Root Ball. When you beat Guy, it sounds like Super Street Fire. sounds like saying Root Ball, Root Ball, Root Ball. I was literally watching your most recent stream of Street Fighter when uh, you started the call. With uh, Spectre? Yeah, like the 40-minute the one you did the other night. Oh, no, that was Street Fighter 2 Turbo. No, he was, no, no one was in the call with me. It was just me. It's hard to keep track. You just did three of them. You mean I started the stream? of uh, The one where I was commentating by myself? Yeah. Oh, okay, because you said you know, the call. You mean Skype call? No, well, no, no one was with me in, in Turbo. I tried to get my friend Brian, but he didn't make it. And, and Inspector's about to do his own stream. And, yeah, and uh, Nikki was like, are you going to stream tonight? I'm like, how does she know I'm going to stream Street Fighter 2 Turbo? I never told anybody. It's impromptu. But she meant Shinobi 3, which is next Sunday. Ah, Shamer's plug. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not that familiar with the Shinobi games. Yeah, Shinobi 3 is ECW. We're live here now at uh, Shawshank Stank Prison. Stank? Shawshank Stank. That's hard to say. Shawshank. Yeah. Shawshank Stank Prison here. Live in Portland. Like that sounds like a porno. Shawshank. Yeah. Yeah. It does. <laughs> so Port, Port Bunk, Maine here. Port Bunk, Maine, whatever city it is. And here in the Shawshank Stank Prison. And, uh,. In, Captain, in Banger. Captain Byron, Byron had it now, douchebag. Uh, former linebacker for Shawshank High School. Skill. <laughs> oh, you're a liar, King. What has happened to my ski? What do you mean I'm a liar? Well, you don't tell the truth. That's what a liar does, King. And one time at WrestleMania 19, uh, Flair got knocked off the apron, and the King goes, Oh, he had to touch Flair like that, JR. Flair had no business on the apron, damn it! Miss, I, that is one of my favorite JR flipouts. Flair had no business up there, damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Flair had no business on the ring apron, damn it! <laughs> that oh, one time, him, him, and Paul Heyman, him and Paul Heyman were going at it, and you <clears> couldn't, <throat> I was wondering if that was a shoot. They were really getting pissed off at each other, but nope. They just had their great chemistry with each other. I also so. used to love, um, uh, if there's a moment at WrestleMania 6 with Gorilla and Jesse, I forget the match, but someone, one of the faces does something he shouldn't. Cause you know how Jesse would always stick him for the for the heels and say he didn't see certain things, you know, like heel announcers do. But in this one instance, the face did something blatant that Monsoon would, wouldn't would have been able to deny. And he's like, you saw that, didn't you, Monsoon? And Monsoon's like, uh, no, I didn't see that. And Jesse's like, what? And you hit Gorilla go, I was getting something to drink. <laughs> and when when someone's doing oh. wave at the audience, Gorilla uh, Jesse's like, "You had so many hot dogs, you couldn't stand up." Yeah, right. 
Ooh, hot dogs. Well, hot dog, we're now in the next part of the castle. That's it. Yeah, we're going cut. in. Yeah, have a quick cut through all that. Nothing much to see there. We're finally inside Hyrule Castle. <clears throat> Here's where the fun begins. Whoa. Uh, more, uh, uh, I was thinking Twilight enemies. Nope. You know, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. You can go through those, right? They don't, they don't really barricade you in, do they? Yeah, they do. Oh, well, how come they can run through it? I guess because they're the enemies. That's that fair gorilla. Why does the hero of time get a sword and they get a weak, uh, with some weak daggers? Because they're not the hero of time, Jess. Uh huh. You're supposed to be a broadcast journalist. What are you doing? Yeah. The music in this castle sound familiar? Yeah. It's the uh, high roll castle music in a link to the past, mixed with Ganon's theme. Yeah, they really did a fantastic job. Yeah, it's awesome. Ryan, you should do like a uh, a uh, video dedicated to probably a lot of um, stuff that people might not know about Zelda, or like little. Like, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of knowledge just from you telling me about this stuff that I wasn't even aware of when it was <laughs> the Zelda series. Well, I love all those articles you see on Facebook. 15 facts that you never knew about <clears throat> such and such. And when it yeah. comes to Zelda, like, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Or same thing about wrestling, except there's one I didn't know about JR. Um, when he left WCW. He still had a radio show or something, and he plugged WrestleMania 9 as a way of saying F you WCW for firing me. And he was, it was oh, WCW yeah. radio or something like that. Yeah, and he plugged WrestleMania. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I think you mentioned that before. Or I, I heard it from somewhere, but yeah. Something I never knew, I've been, as you guys know, I've been watching uh, two, uh, yeah, Tuesday Night Titans on the, um, the, on the network all day. And one thing I didn't know was that back in the 80s, Adrian Adonis and uh, Dick Murdoch were actually tag team champions. I, com I either completely forgot that or never knew it at all. Uh, Adrian Adonis. Now there's a team for you. Yeah. He wasn't adorable yet, though. All right, here's this big night. Oh, ouch. Move out the way, idiot. Look at, look at that. Link is such a lame performer. He doesn't even sell. Yeah. He how can he didn't sell, Gorilla? What do you mean? He's not an insurance. He's not selling it. What do you mean sell, Jesse? Oh, come on, Gorilla. He's not Kane. He's not the demon Kane. He's got to be Kane. He's selling. There are rare times where, I think Teddy Long did it at the 99 Rumble, where um, oh, yes. someone won't kick out and they have to make the three. And I, one of the kayfabe commentaries, Sean Oliver was talking to Teddy Long, because Teddy Long was a referee. And Vince, he even said Vince would rather you just make the three than make it rather than make it look fake. Just make, you know, if the guy doesn't kick out, count him down so it doesn't look fake. And Sean Oliver said he once asked George Steele, what do you do, or one of the old timers, what do you do if it's Hogan's shoulders on the mat and he forgets to kick out? He said you go one, two, oh, grab your chest like you're having a heart attack. <laughs> I remember Nick Patrick fake his neck injury when he was the NWO referee. Nick Patrick. Roll out the blue carpet for Link. And don't worry, folks. During the final battle, we will try to stay on topic. <laughs> right, yeah. There's, gonna, there's bound to be a lot of off-topic banter in this long-ass video. Yeah. We gotta I mean, what, put a disclaimer on this channel. I mean, what idiot makes this video a long wait? Whoa! Right. I did not know about this till now. Those are the we learn something new every day. Yeah, the high roll soldiers there. For high, 
former run back for High Roll High School. High Roll High. Sounds like Highland High. Or High School High with John Lovitz. Uh, oh, man, we got to fight these two big-ass soldiers. Well, at least they're the, not the No Limit soldiers from WCW. <laughs> Storyline that was. Yep. Yeah. That's the truth. Uh, uh, maybe the. I wish. I wish these were Star Soldiers. What do you say, Star Soldier? Oh yeah, baby. I couldn't be here live with the commentary, but yeah, Twilight Princess is a great game. It's better than Mega Man Five. I give it a hundred out of a hundred. Well, Star Soldier, I actually agree with you on that. It is better than Mega Man Five. That that is true. Man. I'll agree with the pansy. Yeah. <laughs> Shane's plug. Check out Let's Play Discuss, Star Soldier's favorite game. That's the name of the video. Let's Play Discuss, Star Soldier's favorite game on the S2K channel. One of my favorite videos on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these guys aren't pansies. Ouch. Jeez. I feel like I'm in the trial of uh, the cave of ordeal again. Ah, you missed. It's like when they ditch their armor, they get these magical gliding powers. Right, yeah. Ouch, man. Uh, shut up. You hit me. Uh. Good. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Bros. Broses? Yeah, bro. I like how Link just kind of, like, flips the sword in his hand, like, Come on! Come on! Yeah. You ain't got nothing. music for this type of battle <laughs> yeah but you know what? at least this music even though it's elegant and peaceful at least it's a good peaceful elegant music unlike the boring music in shadowgate 64 <laughs> that's a running joke here apparently when we deal with the like, games shadow 64 at, 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 shameless just, plug just like star soldier hates Mega Man 5 that's how much i hate shadowgate 64 if you guys don't know what i'm talking about check out our L gen 2's lp from 2010 of Shellgate 64. Pledge a hundred dollars and run your live streamer. Yeah. Donation yeah. request. Support Patreon. Yeah. That would be cool if you could come up with a Patreon. No matter how we can use it. That would be pretty cool. You ever wonder where the the items that weapons I mean in Breath of the Wild it makes sense, but in game in a game like this where did the items come from that the enemies drop? Right, good question. I guess it came from the side of them. Wait. I don't know. <laughs> That's a quick cut to here. You get on the chandeliers. I feel like Paul Burchell here. Hello. Hello. Ooh, 200 rupees, even though I'm not going to need to spend it because I'm at the end of the game. Oh, but wait a minute. I got, the, I got the armor VCW, though. Yeah, I think about that. When I first got that, I'm like, I'm at the end of the game. I'm not going to need to buy anything. I'm not going to leave here and go to a shop and buy something. Once I'm in here, I'm going to beat the game. But I forgot the armor of ECW. You can use that for that. No, he's actually wearing the armor of John Cena right now. You can't see it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Exactly. No. Get it? <laughs> no, uh, Otacon had that in Metal Gear Solid. Snake, there's four guys on the elevator with you. I know that, man, that was a scary moment. When that first happened to me, I go, what? And then you go back, too late, Snake, now I'll die. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> when, he pisses, his, when he pisses himself, and then in the second game, his sister does the same thing. Yeah. Yep. Like, Otacon, though, like, his face expression in the Kodak, look out, Snake, there's other guys in there with you. Oh, man. Don't you hate it when you get on a platform and then you get killed by spikes in the ceiling? That's always funny. Yeah. 
poor Mega Man. Uh, whoa, tor <laughs> tornado warning here as we Kevin Von Erich is uh, <clears throat> running around everywhere. You're Kerry Von Erich. Yeah, he, he, that's right. He was a taste tornado. No, don't roll on the wall, you idiot. A tasty tornado. Texas tornado. Oh, a <laughs> tasty like tornado. That sounds like an ice cream cone. <laughs> yeah, right. Sometimes, Brought to you. A tasty tornado. This, this in honor. In honor of the sequel to Twister, we're going to have tasty tornadoes at the local Burger King. Not a tasty tornado. Tasty tornado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at. Oh, I thought I had to fight that knight. Fight the knight. Sounds like a great 80s cheesy ballad. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool, like a nice power metal thing. I love power metal. I love like uh, Critters, the song that was in was in that movie. Oh yeah, Critters. I haven't watched that in so long. Back outside the castle now, and how real? Ah, uh, again. I love this part. Oh, Ridley's back. Or maybe it's not this part. It might it might be. I don't remember. It's coming up. <clears throat> Come here. Get over here. Yeah. This is the part I like. Right here. What's Whoa. going on? What? What was that, JR? What's going on, JR? Oh, no, it's the owl from Ocarina. Oh, wait. No, that's... Oh, thank yeah. God. Yeah. That's right. It's all our buddies helping out. Nice. Nice. They're all there. The gaming historian, <laughs> Russell, and... Nice. Are they in Hyrule Warriors? No. Uh, that would uh, be interesting. Time to get the big key. Although there is some characters in Hyrule Warriors I would have never expected to be there, like Tia. I don't like Agatha. <laughs> oh, jeez. She is such a weak weakling, though. Back inside the High Royal Castle now. As they prepares for his final fight with Ganon. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Link forgot something. Which are, we are in Princess Peach's castle. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. Now, I... Remember that comment we got in the previous video saying, go in that one door in the castle to stock up? Do you remember that? Yep. It's, it's literally right before the boss. Right before the boss door, right before Ganon. Mm -hmm. And for, for a long time, I didn't find it because it's a locked door. So that room, the, the room we, uh, you had to dig in from the courtyard, and I said I never found it for the longest time. That's why I couldn't get in there because I never found that key. Ah. Uh. And so we will get to that room later as these high rule warriors are uh, very emo right now. They're showing you, showing you the way. I don't think I knew this back then. I think I just had to figure it out on my own because I didn't think of using the wolf's sense in this castle. I know that there's a couple moments. Uh, there was a couple puzzles in Breath of the Wild like that where I, I didn't quite get it, so I just kind of winged it. And then once I realized what I was supposed to do, how the game was still telling you, I was like, wow, that's really cool. I love it when games, like, they, they give you the information you need to know right in front of your face, but it's so subtle that you don't know. Right. 
I like this part. Just the, the music get louder right here as we get closer to Ganon's chamber. I know. It did the same thing in Ocarina of Time, too, as you're going up that uh, spiral staircase. Yeah. I love Ganon's theme. I know, it's freaking awesome. I loved it in Ocarina of Time, too. Oh, enough of these battles with this Twilight blocking us in. We're Whoa. getting there, folks. Michael Buffer is making the announcements right now. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, let's get ready to rumble. Welcome, everyone, to Hyrule Mania, the main event. Who's this? His right hand man? It's a it's it's a Ghana or Aghanim. Get it right. It's, it would have been, it would have been cool if instead they put a, like a mini boss here that you had never seen before. Yeah, right. Like a GameCube version of Aghanim. <laughs> Which is Ganon? Wait a minute, they're the same person. That's gotta be Ganon. That's gotta be Ganon. There's, there's the door right there. Yep. I did not get inside this room for a long time. Yeah, man, here we go. And thanks to, uh, coincidentally, his name was also Mike, who posted that, that comment. I love how the thunder and lightning outside. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to talk about mixed up. I said, Thightning and Lunder. <laughs> Thightning and Lunder. Welcome to WCW Lunder. <laughs> If I ever make, if I ever front a prog metal band, and I doubt I will, that will be the title of our first album. Lunder and Thightning. Nice. Frightening Lightning is the wrestler's name. That's what Vince McMahon would come up with. <laughs> White Lightning, Tim Horner. Tim Horner. <laughs> I just listened to a story about him the other night from Jim Cornette. Yeah, me too. Remember White Thunder, Scott Steiner? <laughs> At last Holla, if you hear me. Yeah. Or Spectre knows my favorite quote from him. I, I said it in the last video. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me the <laughs> mic. <laughs> Man, we're already stalking up here. Remember Head Cheese? The team with <laughs> Hell Snow? Yeah. Remember Harvey Whippleman as the Easter egg? I mean the Easter egg. The uh, Easter bunny. And he goes, have an excellent <laughs> Easter, Steve. And Steve Blackman got so mad and uh, kicked Al Snow in the chest, and then Harvey Whippleman got scared, ran off. Whippleman and Finkel are the definition of company men. They they would do anything that they were asked to do. All right, yeah. Spanky too, or Brian Kendrick today. Oh, here we go. Spectre, have you ever seen the end of this game before? Nope, I've never had. You're in for quite a treat. This is one of my favorite series of Final Fights in any game. I listen to my Final Fights. I know, not Final Fight. No, so, I love Final Fight too. Not the SNES version. Oh. <laughs> I'm back outside the castle again. Oh, but the, the way the sky looks, it looks like you're about to fight Dracula for Castlevania 64. <clears throat> Castlevania 64. Ugh. <laughs> At least I'm that game was meant to be one player. I want to get Legacy of Darkness. I heard that one's better. Yeah, me too. Whoa. What does everybody want? Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoa. There's Zelda asleep or hypnotized or something. You're too late, Link. She's dead. No. <laughs> Whoa, there he is. Bring out your dead. Welcome to my castle. Ding. 
Nice hair, again. He's like, let me get up. I've been sitting here for a long time. Hold on. Yeah. My butt oh, never fell asleep. I've been waiting hours for you to show up. Right? <laughs> Imagine how long he had to wait in Breath of the Wild. Jeez. That, that yeah. smells creepy. Depends on how long you take to get there. Mm, mm, mm. It took me about 110 hours to get to him. Nah, that seems about right, I'd say. They show Ganon right here, or uh, 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 earlier, that, like the his obvious weak spot. <laughs> <gasps> Too bad it wasn't that spot on his forehead. Yeah. Awesome beard. They can win Waker when you jab the sword right into his skull. Yeah. I wonder what he would actually do as king. Well, we got a glimpse of that in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> oh, and Link to the Past in the Dark World. Yeah. I will risk everything to deny you, Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag not my king. <laughs> That should be the title of this video. Yeah. I didn't vote for you. It's like, well, harsh reality is the interview. Yeah. I voted Hyrule Tarion. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go out. I want to go out and burn all the chariots and flip over uh, chariots and burn people's villages and protest. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Wait, Minda. No. My Link Amiibo is watching this. I got that? Looks like she's gonna hit her. You know, like, what are you trying to do? That was uh... Whoa. Whoa! Uh, blocked in again. R runs always look so much more exaggerated when they're holding a sword. Yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah. I think I think Ronnie and I, I, I or me, it was just me mentioned this to you, Spectre. But yes, the first part of this final fight. Is you actually fight Princess Zelda? Oh, fancy that! This is, this is the first time that's ever happened in the series, I'm sure. But you fight her in a very traditional way in terms of Zelda games. Play yeah, some ping uh, pong. Yeah, or exactly. volleyball. Yeah. Like it was an N64. Yeah. Yep, um, and Link to the Past as well. Oh, ouch! Wind Waker. It's like Kamehameha dodgeball back then. Yeah. No, oh, man, I thought the force of that uh, that special spin attack would have uh, got, gotten Ganon the first time. And here's a bit, uh, I don't know if I already mentioned this in this series, but if so, I'm going to mention it again. You can actually use the fishing rod, and it'll still work. Yeah. Wow. They oh. always do that. They always, they always purposely put in, so you could, like, like the bottle in Ocarina of Time, you could use... Yeah, and the fishing, the, I mean the fishing net, the bug catcher's net in the Link to the Past. Yep. Which I thought that was the only way. I didn't know you used your master sword. That's how I already thought was the bug catcher's net. <laughs> I was like, how do you, man, what do you, how do you hit this guy? What are, and then I just, you got to deflect his power back to him, and I'm thinking, well, what weapon could do that? It was a bug catcher's net. I never thought it was a master sword, even though I think they give you all this clue in the game. Because I don't read anything. That's awesome. 
and but right here it looks like you're fighting Elizabeth Bartley from Castlevania Bloodlines. <laughs> Whoa. I love the sky in the background. Right, yeah. Ultimate battle sky. I want to play a game. Let's play ping pong. That's what it sounds like when you think you pass it. Don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the game. No. <laughs> that was short. Anyway. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Yeah. That's right. I agree. You can't get to the you can't get to the destination without having the journey, so that's the main thing that counts. Whoa. <laughs> Talk about giving her a hand. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. At least Midna makes herself useful. Yeah. See what I did? Whoa. Is oh, that, yeah. Is that bees from out of this world? <laughs> Whoa, speaking of Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, it's Shinokuma. Oh, wait, no, that's... I, I love the music during this fight. It's so different than anything else in the game. Dark Brock Lesnar Ganon. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Give me a minute. Hold on. It's wolf on wolf. Hold on, Night Trap. I'm not ready yet. It's beast versus beast. It's Bam Bam versus Brock. Hey, you got it wrong, son. It's Brock Lesnar. Ah, oh, come on, Ronnie. Get good. My friend said he... He... Puts the TV on mute every time Paul Heyman talks. He's about to say Brock Lesnar because it sounds like he's throwing up. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was that? Yeah, that music. EC dub, EC dub, EC dub. <laughs> I love it. That's it's the, so uh, different. It's a crowd in the background, wherever they're at, chanting <laughs> EC dub. Wow! There you go. Oh, get over there. <sighs> Attack him in his weak spot. Oh. That's like the weak spot that uh, It had in uh, at the end of It when he was a spotter. Cool, got a fairy. You what, you're a fairy? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Oh, ouch, okay. Oh, fail. Failery, failery, fail. Let's dance, big boy. Jeez, how many more? I don't know, this part of the fight does take a while. Yeah, when I first fought this incarnation again, and it made me so mad, I was about to rage quit, and I had to get on YouTube and find out what the heck to do. <laughs> I think I was still a human link. I'm like, how do you stop him? The arrows won't stop him. The sword won't stop him. And then, oh, you gotta turn Come to on, wolf. Ronnie. You gotta, you gotta I beat this when wolf. I was five. Yeah, you gotta turn to a wolf. Wolf link. Oh, okay. Well, jeez. Actually, I think I was 20 when this came out. I was 26. That was something. I yeah. can't remember. I think you were 40 at the time. No, I was kidding. Yeah. And then I reverted back to 33. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yes. Yeah. Spectre's real name is Benjamin Button. Indeed. Yeah. 
one, and this should be the last attack. Then you, you should do what a dog does and whiz on him. Yeah. Dang, man. I'm... All right, the next one's got to be the last one. You know what? I quit. Just stop the recording. No, I'm just kidding. We do easy dub, easy dub, easy dub, easy dub. There we go, finally. Hey. Uh, epic death. Yeah. See, that's, that, that's an example of selling too much. Yeah, overselling, like Dolph Ziggler. Like, Sh like Shawn Michaels at SummerSlam. And Hulk Hogan, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what WWE was thinking about doing with Dolph Ziggler's character. It's like, yeah, let's make him a heel, but let's make him as generic of a heel as possibly can be. I'm like, this is crap. Yeah. God. Yeah, what culture wrestling the other day had a top had top ten list, uh, ten wrestlers that are never going to get a big get a big push, and Dolph Ziggler was number one, and I'm tend to agree. Yeah, he did. Uh, he yeah. did get a big push in 2012. Yeah, he was really good then, especially when he had Big E and AJ Lee on his side. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see how that what happened with that. And then his early days with the Spirit Squad. Oh, exactly. All right. Princess Zelda is back awake again. With the classic Zelda lullaby. Uh -huh. kind of funny. WWE wants to think that their fans are ungrateful, but I don't think it's that. I think the writers and everything just don't try as hard anymore. And PG is a big handicap, so. Whoa. Well, here's my man now. Oh, wait. I know what you want better than you do. Yeah, right. Now, stand Pay back, no stand attention back. to the man behind the monitor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vince is the ultimate one that has to say so. No matter what you write, if you don't like it, it's not going to get past him. Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy how he's changed since, since I, I, so long I ago. will say this, though. He may be a stubborn old goat, but when he was on TV as a heel, he always made sure his character got his comeuppance, which is something that Stephanie never does. Right, yeah. yeah. And speaking of comeuppances, you're about to get yours, son. Here we go. With a uh, Super Saiyan Ganon. Where's the Super Saiyan bed now? Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Until next time. We're live back now in Hyrule Field. And good God, what just happened, King? Uh, I'm on fire, JR. Uh. Good. What? Well, liar, liar, pants on fire, King! <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, what's this? Whoa! Well, good oh. God! What? What the bloody hell? <laughs> oh my God! My God! Wait. That's Ganon, King. Oh yeah. Ganon looking epic right here. That's right, folks. For the very first and only time in the Zelda series, you fight him as Beast Ganon, and then the man himself. Yep. Oh man. Whoa. This might be my final, my my final, my favorite final battle in the whole series. Yeah, it's your final ba battle. What's going on here? You better hurry. He's coming right after you. Well, think about it. What's the one thing that we haven't gotten in this game that you get in all Zelda games? Ah, that's right. Invincibility. <laughs> oh, wait. Or invisibility. Whoa. I love this moment. The music, everything. Oh. Yep. This game's so good. Could you shed a little light on what we're going to get here? Ah, the ECW arrows. The 
This place is like beautiful and creepy at the same time. I guess you're on the plane of light. I don't know. The plane, the plane of ECW. Yeah. That's what I thought you were gonna say. <laughs> yeah, you could. So, like, are you walking on water or light? Or light water. Is that also the first time Link and Zelda actually team up in a battle? No. They didn't win Waker as well. No, I mean, it's the first. Oh, wait, yeah, that's right. I came up before Twilight Princess. Never mind. Yeah, Ronnie. I never played through Wind Waker. The game blew. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. I figured that would be your next fault, Yeah. Probably Tibbs is maybe. <laughs> After Majora's Mask. Continue, continue this Zelda trend. Right, yeah. We're like a, a cheap knockoff of Zelda Dungeon on YouTube. Come on, Link. Use your uh, skills you used throughout the game when you would, back when you had to rescue uh, Colin, uh, Colin, Colin, whatever his name is, Colin Powell. And this is this is so awesome. Just considering what just happened to the castle, where you are, the atmosphere, the music. Oh my God, I'm having a nerdgasm right now. Yeah. I like to ride that black horse. Uh, uh, that's racist. Why does it got to be a black horse? Why can't you ride a white horse? Man, I think in Breath of the Wild, I know a pony's in there. There's a white horse in there. I think there might be a dark horse in there, too. <laughs> dark horse. You want to ride the black horsey? Oh. Oh. That was a, that was a major bump he took. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for what may be my favorite final battle, final fight in any game ever. Battle number four of ten. <laughs> An impressive looking blade, but nothing more. Would you hear my desire? Ganon, you gotta cover up that spot, man. It's doing you no favors. Right, yeah. Uh oh, and once again, Zelda's blocked out. For the Dark first Lord. time in the series, a one-on-one, -on -one, single sword each, battle. Man against man. Hero versus villain. Oh. Maybe this, maybe this is the fight that the fishing rod works. I've yeah. never tried, I've only read about it. I love this, look at this, test of strength. Yep. First time I saw this, I was like, my god, this is the greatest game ever. Right. <laughs> no, they use the helm splitter. The... Oh. Hey. He can use all the skills. Yep. Link used the helm splitter. He used the big boot. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Got him. Yes. Yes. Now's the time to go. Yeah. <laughs> top of the ding, ding, ding. The winner of the match, Link. A new high rule champion, Link.
this is really cool. It's never specifically stated what happens here, but I'll tell you what I think when it happens. Again, it's like, oh, oh, the power ain't going to help you now, is it? I love this. It's like, he's standing there. What's happening? Whoa. And then, all of a sudden... I like to think that Zant just used his magic to break his neck. But why? That, that's, why that's what I get out of it anyway. But why? And, and I thought Zant was dead. No, no, Zant didn't die, remember. And um, Ganon used him as a puppet, essentially. But didn't Midna, Midna, Midna use his power and like he just disappeared and vanished? We the, we're led to believe he died. So what happened? Just get banished to the uh, uh, prison or something? What the? <laughs> In the words of Swindoll, don't argue with me, damn it. No, but what happened exactly? I don't write the rules, man. <laughs> no, but I, well, I thought you knew. Like, see, you don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all don't understand the ending. There's always been speculation. Like he just broke his neck for whatever reason, and he gave him his power. Why would he turn on him? And is that dead or not, or just banished to the uh, realm of wherever they banish Ganon at in all games when he loses? Yeah, like the dark realm. Yeah. The gap between dimensions. Here's the moment all the fanboys have been waiting to see. Whoa. Ooh la la. Chicka wow wow, chicka wow wow. Brown chicka brown cow, chicka <laughs> yeah, brown like... cow. Now that's a Twilight Princess. Forget Zelda, go hit that. <laughs> yeah, man. Why would you want to hit her? <laughs> She might wipe the floor with Link. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Am I so beautiful that you know where it's left? Yeah, pretty much. He has a massive he, he master he... sword right now, if you know what I'm saying. I, I would go through all that to hit that. Yep. He doesn't have <laughs> words. <laughs> he never has words. Bum, 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 bum. And that is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yeah, the back in the old Zelda MSN groups, we were just debating like the part where uh, Zan broke Ganon's neck. They're like, "This is the part where you fall down," <laughs> and but he still stands there <laughs> dead. And we're like, "I don't understand what happened. Is it one of those uh, cliffhanger endings? Like, well, just like the timeline used to be. What do you got to guess?" I think it was also supposed to be somewhat symbolic. Yeah, because I never still like Zant gave him his power. Why would he turn on his master? I guess, like he said, to use him as a puppet and Ganon. I don't know. It's it's like Andre turning on Bobby Heenan. Yeah. If that helps. <laughs> well, yeah, but in the game, Ganon never abused Zant. I guess that we know of. You guys are idiots. What that means is, is that Zant um, wanted to take over for Ganon, and he broke his neck. And yeah, you guys are idiots. You didn't know that. Specter's writing his review in the background. Yeah, I sure am. And it's a star-studded review of five stars on five stars on five stars. Oh, Rob Van Dam. <laughs> what a journey it's been. <laughs> My first LP on this channel. Yep. Everything's peaceful again in Crackhead Village. <laughs> and in the Moron Mines. Sh shut up! Yeah. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> okay, I'll stop.
<laughs> oh, there's those sissy soldiers. I thought they weren't welcome in Thomas Bar again. Dr. Wally over there. <laughs> That's racist. Yeah. That's just uh, racist. She's still, she's she's still, she's still a hopeless romantic, still single, looking for that man. Everything's uh, all damn idiots over there doing that stupid dance time, again. Time to have time to have a dance party. Jeez, uh, that was so stupid. I hated that. Uh, in that shop, everybody's dancing. Don't go for cold. Uh, if it was golden, I'd take out all my guns and just slaughter all of them. <laughs> all right, Colin. He's got the sword and the shield. Yep. The next link. Bridge of BCW was repaired. I'm not telling me that wanker, that yokel is still around. <laughs> Gomer Paul with a big pot belly. Welcome to Little House in the Prairie for the GameCube. This is Walmart, <laughs> along with Tibbs and Spectre. Yeah. Will you play as Michael Landon or whatever his name was in the TV show? I forgot. Charles Ingalls. Yeah. Or Swiss Family Robinson for the GameCube. <laughs> oh, there's Screech, your friends. <laughs> when he get out of jail. Oh, right. <laughs> Oops! Ah, oh, Snow Peep Ruins. I forgot about this part. Where are the lovebirds at? Our, our favorite couple. Yeah. Well, where are they at? Oh, I think we know where they're oh, at, Ronnie, oh, right, and that, what they're doing. Oh, they're at, yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> uh, the sacred uh, meadow. There's our group, Shad from Crown Tom, the game historian, and Russell. Thank you for watching this mini movie we did here on the S2K channel. <laughs> This game reminds me of The Walking Dead in terms of build-up. It builds up slow and starts slow and slow. Then by the end of the season, ECW. <laughs> oh, the slowness. Oh, Is that baby Moses about to get sent down the river? Down the river. I, didn't I didn't forget him. I just didn't want him. <laughs> yeah. There's Randy Orton Village. As Lila or Lila wherever return. Yeah, returns with her father, the mayor. Arbiter's Grounds or Gerudo Valley. We are live at the Roman Coliseum for WrestleMania 9. Oh, jeez. Andre Ross, Andre Ross, my toga. This is the impressive Alpha. Yet. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, the Roman Coliseum. I'm getting old. Yeah. There's Bobby Heenan trying to run those uh, hogs or whatever. <laughs> a camel. Oh, wait a minute. That's an attack camel. All cameras are backsta backstage, outside. Psych Metal Gear post credit sequence. Yeah. 
It's going to be like, I want to be the guy. The game's not over yet. During the ending, you better be on your guard. You can still die. <laughs> yeah, I would say that'd be some Dark Souls stuff right there. Yeah. Stupid Dark Souls. The Twilight Zone in the background. Yeah. Well, they're not. I'm the only one. The rest of them are cowards. Yeah. Thank you. Happy trails to you. I got choked up when I first saw this. Oh, uh, you're a wuss. You know this is fake, right? No. <laughs> it's still real to me. With her till ass tear, she breaks the mirror. <laughs> no, don't go. Be, be like uh, Dixie Carter when she was holding on to Hogan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so that in case uh, Ganon or someone gets power to try to do something, then they can't they can't use a the uh, toilet mirror anymore. Yeah. As I was about to say, um, uh, with the whole real stuff, the first episode of TNT that I watched today, they mentioned Doctor D. David Schultz, and I was like, hmm, that name sounds familiar. And then when they showed him, I was like, oh yeah, I know who that is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think this it's is like, fake. A, like a little skit where he's at home with his family being all abusive. <laughs> Jeez, yeah. I think this is fake. And so we're going to get start on the Let's Discuss of Twilight Princess as we show the closing credits. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed doing this LP, and this was this started on the 10th anniversary of its release in North America, or the GameCube version in North America, uh, which was uh, December 12th, I think, 2006. And uh, yeah, so and I had to do it had to be the next LP I wanted to do on the channel. And yeah, so very epic game. I remember having it in reserve since June 2005 before I finally got it out in December of six because it kept on getting pushed back and pushed back. And then by that time, it was no longer EB Games. It was GameStop. And um, the first day I went in, I tried to get it out. Oh, well, sorry, we didn't send us enough copies. So uh, uh, we can't give it to you today, but we should get some more in tomorrow. So I got it the next day. And then right when I was about to go in, I was about to go in. Well, I was about to play the game. I got called into work, which I could have ignored the phone if I wanted to because I had car ID. But it was uh, from a manager I liked to the job I liked, and they needed my help. And I said, okay, I, I got plenty of time to play this when I get home at night. So I played it all night that night and then discovering Midna in the Twilight Realm. And, man, what an epic uh, intro that was for me in playing that game as the Master Sword rests again in the Sacred Meadow. Um yeah, so 
and it, but it took me like uh, over a year, a full year to beat it because life was getting in the way and my job shut down and then I had to transition to a new job and had to drop college because of that and all, all interference here and there. And plus I was getting started on YouTube videos by the end of 2007. And so I finally beat the game at, yeah, like December 2007, January 2008. And uh, it was, it's hard to avoid spoilers at that time because the game's old. And you can't get mad at anybody for spoiling stuff because it's old, it's old by now. It's not new anymore. So but so I, I, th I got accidentally spoiled by somebody that Ganon was the boss. But I was like, well, I'm not surprised either. So I had a feeling he was behind Zant's uh, uh, plan. And so... Yeah, the game was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and it's the, uh, I mean, not since uh, Ocarina of Time did I really sit down and really fully enjoy a Zelda game in a long, long time. And so uh, this is still the last Zelda game I thoroughly enjoyed. I tried to get into Skyward Sword, and I could not. I just ended up selling the Wii and everything all together. Satoru Iwata, rest in peace. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, and uh, at least this game right here, like I said, it was the last Zelda game I already played all the way through. And uh, so, man, that was yeah, like 10 years ago. And at the time, I had the GameCube Wave Pro Wireless Controller. So, man, it was all good. It was fun. And, yeah, I mean, just a very epic game. Very well done. Ocarina of Time on steroids, like we said. And, yeah, I give this game a 9.5 out of 10. Specter? Uh, well, I've barely even gotten into the game, even bothering to play it, so I guess maybe I can just go with you on the fact of giving it a 9.5 out of 10. I'll just go ahead and go with uh, what the majority rule says, I suppose. All right. Tibbs? Well, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess says, you all know, this is my favorite series of all time, and when this game came out, I actually, it's one of the few Zelda games that I didn't play on launch, because... When the Wii came out, those things were selling out like crazy everywhere, and I had a really hard time finding one. I actually didn't find one for almost a full year, and the two games that I got with it were Super Mario Galaxy and Twilight Princess, and I fell in love with Twilight Princess instantly. I thought in many ways it's like Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time on steroids. The story is great. It had the biggest and best version of Hyrule that we'd seen up to that point, and so the mechanics of it I really liked. In terms of dungeons, it's probably the best collection of dungeons in the whole series in terms of my point of view. Best collection of bosses. Everything just seems so epic. And the whole um, – the Twilight Realm, it was very dark and had a lot of unique items like the spinner and the ball and chain. Um, this is really one of my favorite games of all time, and I have to say, is it my favorite game – it's hard to say if it's my favorite game on the system because Skyward Sword was also on the Wii, and if you consider it a GameCube game, Wind Waker was also on the GameCube, so it's hard to say. But in terms of like the second half of the last of the previous decade, it's probably my favorite right up there with the Metroid Prime games. So I would probably give it in term if I'm looking at it technically, I'd probably give it like an eight out of ten or something. However, I cannot bring myself to give it any more, any less rather, than a 10 out of 10. I love this game. Yep. And so, yeah, there you go. And that is the end of The Legend and of Zelda. If, if, if I may, Ronnie, I just want to make sure I say this to you in this video. Thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of this. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. And, yeah, I think I was going to mention that also. Like, this is your first LP, uh, first ever, what, any commentary done on YouTube. Yep, uh, this was my first. And it was appropriate for you to be in the ending. Um, and now we got and J-Man could not be here live, but their pre-recorded comments are going to be added in. All right, guys, and here is J-Man's take on the Let's Discuss, The Legend of Zelda. Uh, Twilight Prin I was about to say Link to the Past, dang it. Twilight Princess. Well, I'm doing three Zelda games on YouTube now, jeez. And so this one is Twilight Princess. For those of you who might be chronologically confused like me, and so uh, J-Man could not be here live, but he's here recorded. We'll do it recorded. So, J-Man, how's it going? Uh, it's going great. So, first of all, I'm glad you said something because I thought we were doing Link to the Past. No, I'm just kidding. That's <laughs> okay. The past. Um, well, uh, 
Toilet Twink Princess was a great. I mean, Twilight Princess. Toilet oh, paper. I, oh, I can't believe I said that. Okay, but okay, really, Twilight Princess. French rush. Princess was a great game. Just not on the GameCube. So you get points off for doing that. Anyways, I played this Ooh. game, on, and I actually never finished it. Sadly, my Wii was defective, and so I didn't get to finish it. But it did a great jump into the Wii... Yeah, whatever. It was not as great as our great, great Ocarina of Time... But it did take on the adaptive Wii remote controls, or whatever you want to call them. It was fun to play. That was a fun experience. Decent story. I think it could have been fleshed out a little bit more. Uh, another complaint is the whole wolf thing. I, I didn't like switching back and forth like that. It, was, it seemed to kind of rip off the light and dark world thing, which in uh, Ocarina of Time... Uh, maybe ripped off of Link to the Past, but they did it so good in Ocarina of Time that it, yeah, that doesn't matter. Overall, I give the game, we'll go 8.5 out of 10. And as we said in the LP, um, Twilight Princess is pretty much the Ocarina of Time on steroids. Yeah, to a certain point, sure. Yeah. All right, J-Man, thank you very much for doing the Let's Discuss. And God bless and take care. Yeah. Peace out. All right. So we guy also has some things to say about the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. He could not be here live, but just like J Man, he is here recorded. Well do recorded. We got what you gotta say. What do I got to say about the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess? Well, to me it is one that lines up in the well lineup of Zelda games as a classic. Obviously, over time, it has, I say, become a classic. It really is just great. I remember the days of just playing this game for hours, both on its original uh, GameCube uh, version and, of course, the Wii port, which I had mostly, but it was still fun to play for uh, on both. I, I was mostly hyped from the trailer in, like, what, 2004? five or so when it when that trailer was shown with that like epic music it was that was like the beginning of knowing this was going to be a classic that i would will remember for a long time and i mean from everything from the for the first time really feeling like hyrule was a a grand land to explore and just still keeping the traditional zelda gameplay with going into dungeons finding the main item getting the keys and just exploring and just finding out just like all the all the things that this game had to offer i mean this game is definitely a classic for me and a man i just i don't know i mean i can praise everything from the music of course the soundtrack is it's got its moments or got its songs that are really memorable some would say maybe too large of a soundtrack that can be a thing at times but i mean there is a lot of tracks in this game and many of which can be memorable to the hyrule theme to of course my favorite the uh, lake hylia theme which has that soft just smooth guitar sound and it just brings back the memories of this game and i mean my god the gameplay ranging from when you could turn into a wolf that was like like oh my god this is definitely a much more major change of pace or gameplay design from the previous Zeldas. And, of course, Minna, a great companion, probably the best in the series. And story was still, I mean, basically engaging. I mean, not too much. It was just the same old, oh, save Hyrule, you're the hero of time. But we got this sort of more cooler, edgy, not edgier, but he would tell this is a more a badass link than before. But, man... It was a I more mean, darker, could... a more darker Zelda game than the rest of them. Oh yeah, following in the wake of, uh, I guess Majora's Mask, since it technically follows the uh, timeline of like that kind that uh, that Zelda timeline, because of course split off from like you know the Wind Waker Zelda, and then like of course 
a good time to Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess, all that. And it did feel like it, of course, the, was it the, the Twilight Realm and the whole everything with like the, was it the Phantos or whatever? I don't know. I don't know what those like weird creatures were with like the weird shaped head they had to kill to like get the warp, the warps. Yeah, the the Twilight, I don't know. Well, that was, that was the race that uh, I guess Minas people were, but it's uh, they're racist. It, no, how about we erased this from history? I don't know. They're, they were racist towards light people. No, exactly. Yeah, and we were the light. We were the light to shine through in this uh, in this adventure. And even though it's definitely the world of higher. Of Hyrule is tame compared to, of course, the newly released, of course, at this time, more newly released uh, Breath of the Wild. It was still, at the time, really fun to explore Hyrule and, like, everywhere from, like, Hi- Hi- Lake Hylia to the, to this, of course, Snow Mountain or the Snow Caps to Zora's Domain and, of course, Hyrule, like, town and castle. Yeah, and it, there's a lot of thoughts racing through my mind, just trying to remember everything. Just like there, there was definitely a lot. This was like the first I say Zelda game that really just had a lot to it. Some could say Wind Waker was like that, but I think it was just padded out with you know boat sailing and all that, and just the large world of the sea, which in the grand scheme wasn't that big. But man, I definitely love. Twilight Princess, that's definitely one that you, you can't skip. And if you have a Wii U, get the HD version because, you know, it's a little nicer. And, of course, it feels like it would, you know, you're playing on the GameCube. Some people, whatever, they'll have their problems being like, oh, they just tried to, you know, make it also like a Wii game with the motion controls or like with shooting arrows. I don't know. And, like, I guess swinging the Wii mote. Somebody say that's like a gimmick that's shouldn't have happened and should have just stick to the GameCube version, but I don't know. That's that's something completely different. As far as how the game is itself, from the story to the gameplay to the music to the story, I think I already said story, but the just engagement, the grandness of this game, it is superb. And of course, score-wise, it would probably be at least a 9 out of 10. Yeah, and music, I loved how they did a rendition of the Hyrule Castle music from A Link to the Past when you first enter Ganon's castle. Yeah. And um, that was pretty cool. More uh, peaceful, as if they took the sleepy music from Shoutgate 64 but made it cool. Um, <laughs> so Yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then it mixed with, uh, it, they mixed it with Ganon's theme. So that was cool how they did that in Hyrule Castle slash Ganon's castle where a little bit of the Hyrule Castle music from A Link to the Past in the beginning of the game, and it mixed it with Ganon's classic theme. Really cool. And yeah, I was going to say, you're the Wii guy. I, I'm sure you prefer to play it on the Wii rather than the GameCube, but um, yeah, to me personally, I was not all about motion controls. I never played the Wii version, but I did play Skyward Sword a little bit, and I didn't, I didn't get hooked on the Wii overall, but yeah, I'm glad I played on the GameCube version. I used my WaveBird wireless controller back in the day to play it a lot. And that was fun times. And But, yeah, um, anything else you got to say about the game? I'm trying to think of, like, something, just something that could make, really make it give, like, that last hurrah of, like, yes, this game is ultimate awesome. But I don't know. I think I can let it speak for itself, you know, as far as the... I guess this one is, of course, considered in the whole traditional style of Zelda, like Ocarina of Time and such. It's It does that very well, but I say still does, exceeds in a lot of areas to, I say, push itself above, of course, Ocarina of Time. Maybe not as classic, but it's got a lot more fun things, I think, to it. It's a lot more yeah, just yeah. different style of gameplay. And I made a one hundred dollar donation that we got to live stream this game tomorrow. Shameless plug. No, I'm sorry. Right. Uh, get right on it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much, we got for joining us. No problemo. So yeah, um, yeah. Thank you, Tibbs, for joining, and it was great to have you in this LP. 
And Ravner Spector, thank you very much as well. Indeed. And thanks to uh, We Got J Man and uh, Jeff and Danny, aka Lancer Truth, who did commentary in this LP as well. Uh, I think Bio Phoenix was in some, and as well as Logan from uh, Outlaw Harvest. If there's anybody I missed, I apologize. It's kind of a long LP and like 30 parts of it and various commentators. So, uh, how can you forget about me, JR? Oh, shut up, Ken. You weren't in the game. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I was. No, you're lying. What, what do you mean I'm lying? It means you're a liar. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so that is it. We are out here. At least this is LDLP. Did not take three years like my Ocarina of Time one did. <laughs> All right, so I'm Ron Moore. I'm Ron Tibbs. Inspector. All right, God bless and take care. Adios. See ya. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 7, Part 1. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wii Guy. Yes, the one and only Ouija. Yeah, so Wii Guy did Part 1, I did Part 2, and I did Part 3 as a tribute to uh, X-Gemini, I believe. And, yes. And uh, you did Part 4, mm -hmm. and I did 5 and 6. And so, now I'm going to do Part 7 for the SNES. Oh, how nice. Yeah, right now it's showing the ending of Part 6, where Mega Man finally captured Dr. Wowie. Oh, good job, Mega Man. Looks like you're going to keep him in captivity for good. Yep, so that's the end of Dr. Wally. So, oh, oh, wait a minute. But. Drama. Dr. Wowie always knew his schemes. <laughs> Might end in that was a fail. Just might that, that was a fail <laughs> imitation. It's not like Scooby Doo trying to imitate him. No, it's not like you're doing like a Tim Allen. Yeah. <laughs> Streets of Rage, uh, Tim Allen edition. <laughs> oh my God, so uh, good. Uh, uh, four Rob the robots had been hidden away, and after six months, four robots. What are you doing, Capcom? It's supposed to be eight. Yeah. Without being contacted by Dr. Wowie. Wait, Willie? <gasps> Dr. Oh, com confirmed it's Willie. <laughs> Dr. Willie? Oh, Capcom and their typos. I know Simon's Quest did that too, but I think that's translation error. Maybe it's translation error. For <laughs> hey, it's the 90s, man. Yeah, whoa. This is before internet. Sonic the Hedgehog on steroids? That's a bad guy here. Oh, wait. Is that the Gustozer? I think that's the. That looks more like a flame dozer. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Well, oh, I ah! guess it is. Oh, mode 7. No. It'd be cool, though, if it was. Yeah. Mega Man's. Uh, how do you say 7 in Spanish? That I, I mean, that's. That's just V I I. That's just Roman. <laughs> yeah. Cies. Mega Man Cies. Oh, I thought there was 6. Oh, Siete. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, siete. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't make look, I got, look, I got a D in Spanish. All right, so. Uh, Mega Man, what's your helmet? <laughs> Can't leave home without your helmet. Love this music right here, or at least uh, my Mega Man Anniversary Collection when Top Man used it. That was cool. That was pretty neat. <laughs> Whoa, it's the end of the line. So it's kind of like Mega Man X here. The intro is at a big city. Well, that's nice. This what? is so far the biggest we've gotten for a Mega Man intro. Yeah. For the original series. <laughs> Wrong wow. half, Mega Man. Ah, uh, jokes. There we go. Dun, 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 ECW. You are Mega Man for reals. Look back there, uh, like a statue of a robot holding the bushes. Oh, well, I can't see it now. All right. Whoa. Oh, good job. <laughs> no, Mega Man. We have no time. Wowie is using the attack of his robots to cover his escape. Look. 
Look! Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, thank goodness that happened. Yeah. Otherwise, you just look like an idiot. Right, yeah. Dr. Wally was slightly off cue. Oh, wait, now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that pod is bigger. Whoa. It's because it's, it's Super Tunnel, man. Everything's bigger. The graphics. Yep. Also, also, how come they make him make Mega Man one word? It's always, it keeps saying one word as Mega Man. That's weird. Oh, Capcom and their grammar. All right, so now we're in the first stage, Mute City. There we go. Man, an intro stage? Totally not like another Mega Man style game. Man, Mute City is run down. <laughs> Mute City. More like mute your audio. Don't do it. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good music. Yeah, it is. Oh, the hard hats or me tools. Whoa. Hey, he doesn't look as big as he did in the intro. Right, yeah. This is oh, a mini dozer? Mini this, guts dozer? This is baby brother. <laughs> um, my baby brother just decided to roll in? Yeah. No, that's Jinchu on steroids, no. <laughs> on steroids. Is it? Aww. Pwned. Wait, I forget. Can you slide in this? No. That's right, you can slide, not dash. I was trying to dash. Oh, there's base. Oh, what's oh, drop the base? Right, yeah. Oh, sweet, he gets his own theme. Uh oh, treble. As good as they say, which is, <laughs> which is crap. <laughs> you better tell me who you are? <gasps> Base and treble. Look at that. Cheeky. That's right. What? We were on the same side? Yeah. How are we supposed to know? And dang it, Mega Man doesn't talk. I mean... It never said he didn't talk. Yeah, well it should be the same way as Link. You don't actually see text. He talks, but you never see text. Oh. Well, anyway, that is the end of part one of Mega Man 7. So we'll continue this LP of Mega Man on the S The original series continues on the SNES. So until then, God bless and take care. That was Megatastic. <laughs>
Yeah, I think it's Shade Man. If you go into his level while pressing a certain combination, the music will change to the Ghosts and Goblins theme. Eh, sing Shady. <laughs> oh, I thought he was saying a Slim Shady. I was like, what? I'm a slow <laughs> Shady. Yeah, I'm the real slow Shady. Up. Yeah. Oh God, I'm, I'm gonna can... sit down here and try to focus on this level. Are your pumps giant... sweaty? Yeah, right. Mom's spaghetti. Did you get mom's spaghetti? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, we need to sign a giant scientist lab or something. See some uh, test tubes in the background or wherever they are. Ah, oh, fail. Come on, Rush. Man. How can Rush can what? stand the spikes and I can't? I don't know. Are you testing your skills? Right, yeah. Testies, one, two, three. <laughs> No, oh, don't fall in this fight. I was, I was worried you were falling. About to fall. Right. You just don't jump too high now. Right. Must be a bow man here. Oh. I mean, that's, it's basically all. All water levels just became like this after two. They were just like, well, oh, we can't do anything else. So, these are our water levels now. Yeah, and burst man. Uh, you probably use that weapon against bubble man. <laughs> Oh man, what an interconnected like Mega Man's one through ten with all Robot Masters and configured, you know, their weapon weaknesses as well. That would be too much, probably. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Amazing, but too much. This giant enemy crab, bubble crab, makes two wrong game. Ouch. Whoa! No! No! Let me. <laughs> Man, let me get my energy. Oh. Man, come on. You oh. lose. Oh, look out. No, oh, man, I thought that was energy was for your uh, weapons, I guess. Good job. Yeah, not too nope. Oh, oh. Fell. Dang it. Stupid water. Make up your mind. Recede or, or uh, uh, what's the opposite of recede? Sink? I don't know. Well, isn't receding going down? I mean, yeah. Either recede, recede or, or arise. arise. Yeah, that's what I meant. There Dang you go. Idiot. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> arise from your grave. There is no pain. You are receding. <laughs> Come on. Nice reference. Yep. Good old Pink Floyd. Looks like I'm going to bash my head against the wall. Right, yeah. <laughs> Donald, Trump's <laughs> Donald Trump's favorite song. Favorite album? <laughs> no album, yeah. Yeah. Ju oh, wow. No, not this, this again. Uh, oh, geez, the man. loop. That uh, part is such a troll. <laughs> I know, right? Man, I hate that in any Mega Man game, even two, especially the Heatman stage. But of course, I use item two. No. I oh. I'm really not familiar with Mega Man Seven. I mean, is this your first time playing it, or has it been like a long time? I think I. I played like years ago, but never really played all the way through it. Yeah, it's yeah. a hard one. This is kind of a blind run. The one with the Oh, uh, you can go. I don't have to go. <laughs> oh, right, okay, guys, well, I should have gone to the before we did commentary. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> That's the, the joke one, I was making. Yeah, one of the things that uh, I find this one to be a lot harder is that um, Mega Man Sprite is way too fucking big. <laughs> Yeah. Because of that, it's really hard to avoid, like, certain projectiles that shoot at you or come at you or anything like that. Right. Yeah, they were really just making it like, look how big he is, because, what was this, 95 when this one was released? So they were just like, look at the, our graphics. Yeah, and the yeah, like it's, it's, it's a nice-looking game, but, you know, it's kind of, like, counterintuitive, though, when that's kind of the problem. Yeah, and the ladders are much bigger, too. Yeah. Yeah, they... It's basically like they had it where you were small, but then they were just like, nah, let's just make everything a little bigger. Right. Oh, oh, that was close. Get the R. Get the R. Are you ready? Right. <laughs> I probably won't get all the letters. I think I'm trying to spell out rush here, and I probably not gonna even do that because I'm in a rush. Today's Tom Sawyer, mean, mean, throb, da, 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 whatever the lyrics are. Yeah, <laughs> mine's not for rent. Don't put him down as arrogant. Yeah. Because they call me the working man. Looks like we got to fly by night out of here. Yeah. 
no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, did you know that uh, Capcom were inspired by a Rush song for uh, Robot Master? No, yeah. it's not. It, the, oh wait, no, you already made that joke. Damn it, with Working Man. That would be a fun <laughs> Mega Man, Robot Master. It's Working Man. Yeah. He, just, he has like a tie in a, br in a briefcase, and he's like, I'm the Working Man. Workman, man, you get overtime shot. I don't I, know. I can't remember. Did they ever make a, a Rocket Man? Rocket Man. No, I, yeah. don't think Ellen, I don't think Ellen John would have liked that. That's why I was always wondering if they ever made that into a real one, because I don't recall them doing that. And I apologize for the right side of the screen being cut off. You can't see his energy, so I feel like I'm playing Shinobi 3 here. And <laughs> it's hard mode. Hopefully I won't fail right here. Like I did in Shinobi 3 in my live stream as I try to beat first man. Yeah, it's just hard mode. It's alright. No, 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 no. Kinda sucks that you kinda have a... Is it insta-kill if you touch the ceiling? Yeah. I think it's a first in the Mega Man boss fight. Oh wait, no, I think Bubble Man had it. Yeah, Bubble Man had it too. Had the spikes. Damn it. Yeah. Capcom reusing ideas no! since the beginning. Yep. Oh, Mega Man 5 bubbles now. Dang it, come on. No, play next, you idiot! Bubble. Okay, E-Tank, E-Tank, come on. Nice. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay. I thought you didn't use that. I was like, ha! Huh. Right, I was about to say. Now watch me. Hopefully I don't hit the spike ceiling after that. No, 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 no! Oh, oh that would've been bad. Spam no, your no! Oh, come on! Oh, well. Man! Ah, game over, too. Jeez. All right, rematch with Burst Man. All right. Now make sure not he doesn't burst your bubble this time. Right? Yeah. Oh, he just burst his own bubble, idiot. This must be Bubble Man on steroids. <laughs> or uh, Bubble Man's cousin. Oh. What is in those bubbles? Oranges? <laughs> oranges or um um. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. <laughs> oranges or uh, Nerf balls. Nerf balls or oh um the balls that you see in like the play pit. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember seeing them in orange, but I think there might have been. I don't know. Oh 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 wow. Oh Both. shit. <laughs> okay. I hope I have yes. I got an E barrel this time. Select it, you idiot. Alright, there we go. And again, I apologize for his energy being cutting off. Uh failed screen capture there and display settings. Come on, it's... jeez. Uh, unless I'm... oh, there we go. Oh, yeah! Yeah. I wonder if I could use the uh, previous... Uh, no, I don't have a previous weapon. That's right, the, the last part was me getting past the first stage of the game. And then, uh, which is neither... Which is not a Robot Master. This is the first one, so... Definitely gotta use your pea shooter or whatever it's called. The thing's right fires out a bomb in case in the bubble, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. But it can also be used to in case other things besides my it's more like Alex Jones rather than Doctor <laughs> Doctor Light. <laughs> Doctor Light. <laughs> you get Danger uh -huh. Zone, Danger Zone, a Danger Rap. <laughs> danger Rap. Well that's a wrap for this part. As we got goes to AWOL from Messi 2K, uh, we'll see you guys in part three. God bless and take care. See you all later. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 7 Part 3. This is Ron Ward with Bio Phoenix and Ash Prophesized three years later, Viper. <sighs> it's been three years already? Yep. Oh man. I haven't even been on here for three years. <laughs> And I'm on cloud nine. I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is Cloud Man. And <laughs> Not to be confused with Clown Man. Right, with yeah. With Clown. We gotta stop clowning He's... around here. And this yes. music right here. This is where I'll make my anniversary collection for PS2. The m remixed version of Magnet Man on there. I was like, that's not Magnet Man's music. And then I kind of found out it's Cloud Man's music. Why did they just put Magnet Man's in there? And, as, and, and for Top Man, they put the intro stage of Mega Man 7 music for him. I'm like, what are y'all doing? I don't know. This is around the time where Kyra was doing, okay, we're out of ideas. I just make stuff up as we go along. 
Yeah. Uh, I, I know the um, that anniversary collection has a lot of weird things in it with this game. Yeah. And like, apparently it wasn't emulated properly or something. Can you kill this thing already? I know, I was like, can you... Forget it, I just slow down. <laughs> that, that's great. I'm just gonna... I'll yeah. you live for now. And the last time Randy Orton, I mean Viper, joined us was three years ago for the uh, one of the parts of Mario Land LP. I think that... Oh, yeah. It's, it's been a while. Yeah, Ron Moore finally made the sacrifice of... And now I'm back awake. If I sacrifice, I mean, he just bought me water burger, and I'm like, okay, this is this is this is good. I'll I'll, I'll join. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and since we guys gone from SC2K, uh, his brother Viper is his replacement. Yep. <laughs> Full time for three every three years. Yeah. <laughs> this stage reminds me of Wire Spawns stage. All the weather changing. Are we in Texas? <laughs> I wouldn't know. I I've only been up there for one day for one day, so I. But your weather is pretty weird. One day it's like, oh, okay, it's hot. Like now oh, it's cold. Okay, why? Why is it hailing? Right, bipolar weather. And whoa, yes. whoa, geez, oh, this, this is trippy. Is annoying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the? Oh, invisible. Uh, okay, partly invisible platforms. Yeah, and those freaking birds that drop eggs at you from Mega Man Two. Oh, great. Yeah, those. Those. Someone said, yeah, those are fun. Yeah, they're bigger on here. Everything is big. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a uh, sniper Joe. Oh, yep. He got an upgrade, and now he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> N E C W. Oh, he's oh there he's back. Dang it. Oh, hey, it's sunny, it's sunny now. Right. Yeah. Yep. This is Texas. <laughs> oh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, I, uh, I want to make a joke from, about that, but I don't know the show enough. Damn it. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> We're professionals. Yeah, all right. Get the rush coil. Go up here. Whee! Don't worry. It's a robot dog, so it's not pet abuse. <laughs> wait a oh, minute. Oh, boss fight. Wait, this is a boss fight? No, wait. That sounds familiar, but... Whoa. Oh, Proto Man. Oh, Proto Man. Ooh, Proto Man. It's been a while, Mega Man. Oh, that's how he talks. A little information. Yeah. Weapons can't be used to discover hidden areas. No, really. Try using the flame weapon in the woods. Uh, only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so we gotta fight Woodman this game? Oh, damn. The throwbacks. Right, yeah, just like in Mega Man 3. Alright, yeah. I apologize power. for the right part of the screen being cut off there. I didn't uh, have the right display settings. Dang, what? <laughs> Get that freaking bolt! All right, Come here on, we... you can do ah, it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there we go. Jeez. Hooray, you did it. It only took three attempts. Man, I mean, what's the rush? <laughs> hey, I see what you did there. Angel. Hey, Angel's with us now. Hey, 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 I like the puns. Whoa. Oh, he that's... sucks. He sucks. Uh, no, he I also blows. He... Oh yeah, I was gonna say he blows. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> the suck is real. Yeah. All right. All right. So, are we are we sure we're not fighting um, um what uh Windman from Mega Man Two? I'm pretty oh, sure I got that wrong. Oh no, oh, well, Windman from Mega Man Six. Airman. Oh wow. They both blow, <laughs> and so does this guy, Cloud Man. Oh damn! I got it. Okay, yeah, that's right. Uh, I didn't let my uh, my head cloud my, be cloud my best judgment, as you are supposed to use a uh, wrap, uh, whatever it's called, wrap thing. Don't Some worry, we wrap. all have those. Moments. Yeah. Damn, you're crushing him, Cloud Man, aka Heat Man 2.0. Right, yeah. Kill Cloud Strife. Right. <laughs> oh, he's got a little bubble. Sh oh, there. Oh yeah, he's going down. Yeah, I do. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! Don't slide I, I, off! <laughs> when I said he's going down, I was talking about Cloud Man, not Mega Man, but right. like, you know I guess I'll, it works. I guess I'll slide off like an idiot. Now, I ain't got much uh, foil or uh, saran wrap here, geez, so I'm gonna have to do the best I can. Oh, damn. You, you, you got like, what, two shots left? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Alright, don't worry. Don't worry, Ron. I believe in you. 
Okay, now I got to use the uh, Mega Bus or a regular pea shooter. <laughs> oh yeah, the Mega Bus dress right. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, just just charge up your beam. Ah, and now it's oh, raining. Come on. Oh, oh, now it is lightning. I gotta ask, does Cloudman live in Texas? Is it my? Right. Is it that might explain a lot? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Alright, come on. I know you screwed up once once already, but you can do it. I have faith in you. I have faith in Ronnie. You yep. don't actually have faith in Ronnie. Oh. <laughs> come on. Oh, oh man. I... Yes. Oh, Got hey, him. you did it! Alright, and that's a wrap. Woo! And the clouds depart and the ray of sunshine is over you, Ron. Yep, it's right off into the sun. Turn into a rainbow. <laughs> yeah. That's right. the sunshine. Rainbow man, that'd be something. The oh Bumble boy. Fires out electrically oh, charged so spheres, right? Oh, spheres? Yes, and it can also be used to power some electronic machines, and I sound like Alex Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Alex Jones. <laughs> you get. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. <laughs> Thunderbolt attack. Thunderlips. <laughs> Very original. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's the end of part three of Mega Man Seven, and see you guys in the next part, part four. Till then, God bless and take care. And Viper, I guess maybe another three years. All right, going back to sleep. <laughs> All right. Later. See ya. Bye. <laughs>
No, this is microwave man, because roaches can survive in microwaves and radiation, so what? <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, at least I know what to do here now. Do you now? That disappears. Cool. <laughs> Well, come on. Oh. Any day now. Flash number three, wait forever that one elevator to the last level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug for those who did not see my live stream of Shinobi Everybody three. Knows. Yeah. <laughs> Check out his live stream. Didn't beat the game, but came daggum close. <laughs> and at least I tried without cheating. Alright. See if I beat this game without cheating and. Hopefully I won't die here again like an idiot. Come on, go! Yes, there we go. Even though that was kind of a waste of time. My energy's full. Go back up here again, try to get on the ladder to the other side there. Will he make it? Oh, well, you don't have to tune in for next time. He's, he's gone. There we go. I wonder if Mega Man ever questions his existence. Thing. Yeah, there's one time where he goes, What am I fighting for? The fighting robot, but not Mega Man. Oh, is that the snake from Mega Man X? I think so. Yeah, that, that is. Look at this stage. It reminds me of Morph Moth from X2. Ouch. Oh, that's lame. You can't stand on top of the snake's body like you can in X and shoot his head and tail. Boo. Ouch. I want to get there for you. Get Paul right here. Jeez. No, select next, you idiot. Which means go to the next screen. And no, I don't have an E tank. Oh man. Well, we're probably gonna die soon. Ah, you'll be all right. Just believe in yourself. Get tired of all this junk. I feel like I've seen this in another game. Like this. Yeah. I mean, in another Mega Man game. Well, let's go! Jeez. Those platforms right there remind me of, uh, like a, an Airman stage in Mega Man 2. Mm -hmm. Where you gotta kill the, this guy throwing, throwing lightning at you, and then you get on the platform. Oh, nice. It's pretty cool. And, oh, yes, I need that. Oh, no, dang, I thought it was for the... Energy uh -oh. is for your item power up. Fail. Jeez, man. See, I'm not familiar with Mega Man 7. I'm still I... used to NES old school Mega Man. Exactly. And Mega Man X and X2. X I'm very familiar with. X2 and X3 I'm uh, not too good at. A little rusty. Uh, X and pretty much breeze through that. I almost, I almost finished enough that challenge, but I died in like the second Sigma Fortress level. Oh, Will you oh. be Junkman? Here he is, Junkman. We're live in the junkyard for this main event, and that didn't work. Hello, use Thunderbolt. You oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ooh, that, that, ooh, that worked, but I died. That def that, that's definitely his weakness. Oh, I came over. <laughs> Dang it, let me start over here again. Oh, no. What? Your ECW mode does not work. Oh, wow, man. Let's just skip through all that and go straight to the battle again. Now what? I have more energy. I'm gonna use a thunderbolt. thunderbolt. Not thunder in paradise. Thunder. Oh, don't remind me of that. Uh, <laughs> I think Tibbs asked me what possessed you to do that video. <laughs> the, the lols. The pain, you mean? That's what possessed you. Yeah. Oh, man. looks like the giant dust block from Mega Man 4 from Dust Man. You Come can't on. beat me. I made it of the best parts in the junkyard. Right. Yeah. He's gonna use me for parts if I die here again. I gotta imagine how, like, Dr. Wily made him, and then he's like, wait, you made me out of junk parts? That's all I had around, man. You're yeah. junk, man. Nice. Pwned. Yay! I got the powers of junk? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what it's gonna be called. You got junk. Uh, junk you wanna guard. see? Hey, Dr. Light, you wanna see my junk? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> the junk, oh, the junk shield will protect the user with rotating spheres, right? Yes. 
But the spears yes. can only absorb the so much damage. They can only absorb so much damage before they are destroyed. Again, is that Dr. Light or Alex Jones talking? But anyway. <laughs> you want a revolution, you got a revolution. Junk shield. All right, so they see you in part four. See you guys in part five from Mega Man 7. Until then, God bless and take care. Goodbye, all. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 7 Part 5. This is Ron Moore along with Viper. Ugh, this is too early, man. It's not even three years. Yeah, it's not even three, like three <laughs> days or whatever. <laughs> As a facing freeze man. Ooh. Wait, are we facing Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> freeze man. Freeze man. So you're fighting a cop? Oh. Uh, it, well, man, chill with the puns, okay? Yeah. Whoa, it's uh, I just killed that thing from Mega Man Three. And now you kill, yeah, now you're killing Coca Cola sponsor or uh, mascot. Polar Bear Thirteen. And, and now it's dead. Congratulations. Yeah. Does it mean well, so much more Coca Cola sponsorship? Oh well, there's always Pepsi, right? Nah, yeah. fuck it. Let's go talk to Pepper. This reason is too happy. Yeah, it is pretty happy for an ice level. But then again, aren't most ice levels kind of like uh, have like that whole happy, cheery, it's icy winter one to that music? Yeah, I didn't like I I did not like Ice Man's music, but I did like Blizzard Man's music. Hmm. Wait, you didn't like Ice Man's? No, I did not like Ice Man's. No. Oh, well, sick dodge there though. Yep. Uh, hey, we got ceiling beams, and they're dropping right. icicles. Yeah. They're dropping them. Okay. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, you gotta wait. Those things, yeah, okay, you gotta let them drop right there in the spikes and then cross, go across. There, there, there you go. I was, I was gonna ask how did you get through that, but. Yeah. Or in fact, I, never, I have never played this game. Come on, flop. Thank you. There it is. Whoa. Whoosh. Wow, that, whoa! You see the background? You almost slid right into the... The background, like all the Wait. skeleton bones and stuff, reminds me of a uh, Skull Man stage. Oh, yes, the edgy stage. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, get the H. Ah! Come on, come on, and... Yes. There you go. Alright, nice. What is the... I have no idea what that H does. Me either. <laughs> Does something, uh, hero, uh, what does, what's a good word for age? Hero, uh, <laughs> Hermione. And Sniper Joe again, or a Swindle would say Sniper Ho. Ah! That's what the H is for. Sniper Ho. Preparation, preparation H, fail. Aw. Oh, how am I gonna get it? Okay, I got it. Oh, oh. I, need, I need to use the, oh, wow. I need to use the douche wrap oh. right here. There we go. Oh, God, these things are back. Yeah. And no one liked these in Mega Man 1. Why did it bring them back? I know, right? In Mega Man... What? I can't control... You know, go down... Idiot. Failed up, weapon. Up. I remember Mega Man 2. Up. These things right here look like bathroom dial cleaners. God. Ah, oh, you got hit. And you're... Now you're just getting hit a lot. Jeez. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, you got the you got the thing up there on the ceiling. At least. Aw, oh, man. So uh, I should have jumped up there. Would have gotten that rush icon, whatever it does. I don't know what it does. Dang it! Oh, look at me. Oh, bear thirteen again. Come on, stop! We don't like your soda. Ouch! Ow! Dro okay, dropping he, icicles, he, dropping icicles on me. You'll shoot your eye out. You'll shoot your eye out. Okay, he doesn't care that we don't like it soda anymore. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah. Oh, grab the ladder, idiot. Hey, 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 you did it. Yep. Snowy pine trees everywhere. Whoa, what? What All the? Right. Ouch. What? Ah, uh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Jeez. Whoa. What is that? That's freaking a uh, uh, sled with bombs on it. And I'm getting pwned right here. I got one notch of energy. Now's the time to use the E-Tank. Now we're gonna face Snowman. I mean, Freeze Man. Whoa, he is frozen. 
You gotta face Arnold Schwarzenegger. What killed the dinosaurs? Yes. The Ice Age. Uh, use the uh, junk power, whatever it's called, junk shield on Freeze Man. Is it literally called junk shield? Yep. Uh, what in the actual hell? You couldn't think of anything else better? Oh wait, I forgot. This is where Mega Man gets kind of going in this little weird stage. Oh, yeah. you freeze. Nice. Woo! Hey, you did it. That was fast. Yep. ECW. Oh, looks like Fro looks like Frozen Man just couldn't let it go. Yeah. Freeze Cracker? Is that what a cop tells okay. the right guy? <laughs> ah, that's funny. Oh, a, a, a cop arrests a white guy. <laughs> oh, that's that's a joke. <laughs> you get Freeze Cracker. <laughs> really? Jeez, anyway. I like crackers. Why would you freeze your crackers? Welcome home. He, he was just there. Okay, okay. The, okay, you just, you suddenly just left for like half a second and then now you're back. Okay, welcome back. Yeah. What do you think of Bass? His actions I think don't Bass, seem I, to indicate a threat. I think Bass is a good addition to any music, but don't but you have to try not to do it too much. It might hurt the ears. Yeah. Threat. Oh. He's oh, the enemy. Oh, oh yeah, he's We're live now in the Titantron here. Dr. Y now. Causing chaos outside the oh. arena. Oh my god! Not the, the, the museum. Not the Robo Museum! We must save the antiques of robots everywhere. He must like... leave now, Mega Man. He did leave, you had him come back. Okay, we gotta save Robo Abraham Lincoln. Oh, cool, Gutsman's remix. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, wait, I thought that was the enemy. <laughs> what the? I wouldn't blame you, what the? Wait, why? Heat Man? He he man? Wait, that's Heat Man. What? Wait, what? Oh, is that? Oh, Whoa. the same as old boss. That's guts man. Whoa! Doctor Wise has got go guts man. Oh, where are you going? Back Come right back there. here if you got the guts, no. man. Oh wait, he does have guts. Uh, well, what the? Oh, yeah. even yeah. Fighting a uh, mixture okay. of uh, fighting a mixture of Bear Thirteen and Bobby Phoenix here. What the heck? What the? What? <laughs> I thought they weren't interested. In it. I thought they weren't in this episode. How do I? What do you do? Let's see, which weapon you use here? Nope. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what the... Uh, well, that did nothing. Nope. Uh, something? Oh! Uh, I think it's doing use something. Your, use your freeze power. No, skip. That doesn't work. Oh! Junk shield. Well, what the mother? <laughs> what the hell do you do? I don't know, I'm at a loss here. Mega, Mega oh, Buster? what? What? <laughs> oh. I did shoot it in his head. Ah! Guess you weren't ahead of the curve on that one, Ronnie. Right, yeah. Don't lose your head. Head, uh, head puns. Yeah. I ran out of jokes already. I need to get ahead. I need, to, I need to step up my game to get ahead of this. He's getting ahead of himself. Oh! No. Oh, he's really just losing his head right now. Yeah. Put your head on straight. There you go. Well. Man, you would lose your head if, it, if I wasn't shooting it off. Yeah, right, yeah. What does everybody want? <sighs> yes, what, what, what the voices in my head are telling me. Yeah. All right, Randy Orton. Ah, they, hey, they talk to me and they understand, okay? Yeah. Ah, okay. How many hits does this thing take? Jeez, a lot. Yeah, apparently. Hey, okay, I hope I don't doubt this boss is embarrassing. Yeah, the loose to a mixture of Baird and I'm uh I I yeah, I, I, I forgot I forget names. Ah Yeah, Bye Phoenix. Oh. Fire Phoenix, yeah. Why is why is the mixture of that a robot clown? I want answers, damn it! Ah, pwn. Hey, there you go. Yep. Take that, you yeah. take that. This thing belongs to the museum. So do you. Ha! Mega Man. It's a dis disaster. Wiley and his robots are rampaging through the middle of the city. Did you expect Get any good, less? Get good, kid. 
<laughs> At least that means you have to get good, Ronnie. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, four more Robot Masters. What a shocker. Ooh, wow. I we'll did not see that coming. Yeah, and we'll see those in part six. Till then, God bless. Take care. I go back to sleep now. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs>
Aww. Stopper Joe. There you go. I'll go back down there, see if I can get that E tank down there. No, I can't. Oh, nope. <laughs> Dang it. It's like a death trap. Oh no, I fail. Oh. Jeez. Well, at least I get another chance to get the E tank. Let's see here. No, no. Oh. <laughs> fail, not that way. Alright, let's get it right this time. Wait, where you going? No. Go back. Oh, wait. Yes, there we go. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that would have taken me like so many tries to get that. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh. oh, shoot. Okay, this reminds me of... Oh, never mind. I thought it reminded me of that giant... Uh, Chain Chomp that would come after you in Yoshi's Island? Oh, yeah. Well, I think it's pretty much kind of like, um... Um... It's the same thing as uh, Mega Man 2 with the dragon. Yeah. The stage, yeah. It's supposed to be like a recreation of that, but, you know, with a dinosaur. Yeah. And at least, you know, you can't fall down to your death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one was not that hard. Oh, because, man, Whoa. that... Dinosaur pisses me off. Oh no, I've disturbed the beast robotic beast nest. <laughs> oh shit. Well, can I beat this level? None of your beeswax. Wow. <laughs> now, this reminds me of uh, Woodman stage mixed with Steam Chameleon stage. <laughs> well, speaking of Yoshi, is that Yoshi's egg? And <laughs> the Yoshi eggs have like dinosaurs in them or um robot well robotic dinosaurs in them yeah that's one bad egg <laughs> here we go finally let me fill up on the energy first because i'm gonna need it now to go up against slash man make it mad my slasher tires <laughs> oh shit Wolf and Goku man with Ganondorf hair. What the heck is what kind of robot master is this? Yeah, this is like so fucking weird. Is like, like he has like you know the Wolf Ring claws. He has like the Goku hair and yeah, yeah I don't know. It's just a mess of things. I was stuck right there in that lava, whatever the heck it was, lava dropping. Ow! What? 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 Oh, oh no! You just got tomatoed. Right? What the heck? Jeez, I couldn't hardly move like that. Okay, I've used my freeze power. Freeze man's power. And it reminds me of a bit of, uh... What is it? Chill Penguin's weapon from Mega Man X. Using it on, uh... uh Spark Mandrill. Oh, yeah. No, I remember that. More lava eggs. Now. Oh, ouch. Oh, man. I'm about to die. Oh! Oh, oh I got him. Nice. nice. Hugh Jackman man has been defeated. Yep. Yep, Logan's been defeated. N not, not Logan Rocky. <laughs> this music's too happy. <laughs> the Star Soldier talks about Mega Man Fosby's being too happy. What about this? Uh, yeah, no, the, the, yeah, I'd say this one is probably a bit more on the happier side. Yeah. All right, well, that's a happy ending right there as I beat Slash Man. See you guys in part seven. Till then, God bless and take care. Yep, see you all later. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 7, part seven. This is Ron Moore, along with Raven Spectre and the returning Gentoo. Yo. Space chicken, it's back. <laughs> Spring chicken, yeah. 
No space chicken. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's time for me to it's time for me to spring into action here. Boy, 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 boy. Yeah, spring oh. man, geez, springs in the er. Uh. <laughs> Speaking of Mega Man, I heard, I heard that there was supposed to be a second collection coming out. I think it was announced. Mega Man Collection Two, I believe it was. Yep, yeah. contains seven through ten. Yeah. 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 Mega Man 10 is supposed to be on the uh, SNES classic. Ah. It's going to be out there this year. Jeez. Oh, yeah, Mega what? Man X, yeah. yeah. Game over already? <laughs> Jeez, wow, that's a good sign. Well, time to stop it, then. Yeah. Well, commentary done. <laughs> looks like yeah. you have no life. Yeah. This looks like Iron Man if he was a, a human slinky. What the heck? <laughs> Mega Man eats food badly. No, that's yeah. if you give, like, a slinky part of the uh, X genes or something like that. Yeah. He became an X-Men. Yeah. And so, wow, Gen 2 uh, may hopefully be back full-time as S2K, replacing the AWOL Wii guy. Who's that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Viper's brother. Oh, you mean Chun-Li? Yeah, Chun-Li 3 and 9. Oh, shut up with that. <laughs> we got Formula 4 and 9. I used to call him that back in the day. Yeah. He claimed he was the strongest woman in the world, so we called him Chun Li. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, with, with, thighs, with her thighs, yeah, especially on how she kicks. <laughs> so you got Mega Man three enemies in here, and well, there's a Doctor Cossack uh, castle enemies, the Slinkies. This is kind of a fun stage. All these springs <laughs> knocking you around. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peebus, this is your favorite robot master. Shut up, butthead. He said master. <laughs> <laughs> master. Bates. Yeah. Master. Master. <laughs> All right, let's get this Trivium right. did a great cover of that, by the way. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to get temporarily invincible right there, so I get across the spikes and just get it over with. <laughs> Do it the easy way. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. interesting yeah. to get through that. Now, if I had Rush's uh, sniffing power right there, you can get some stuff, but I don't. Oh, yeah. Rush sniffing for the drugs. Yeah. Whoa. There's a jackass in the box. <laughs> hey, yeah. Jack in the box, may I take your order? Yes, Jack there. <laughs> 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 that commercial is one of the funniest things I've ever seen when I was a kid. <laughs> and of course, you have people do that in real life. There's Jack there. I think Baron 22 did that one time when I was in the truck with him. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had a Jack in the Box. Yeah, I do right next to me, but they kind of suck. <laughs> All we get is McDonald's, and that's like garbage tier shit. Yeah, they've, they've already fallen from grace, have they? I think they're going to have some automated uh, uh, um, ordering things, like kiosks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody wanted minimum wage to be higher, so they're like, okay, well, we'll just get rid of other workers and just put the uh, automated stuff in there. And they'll still <laughs> fuck up the order. Yeah, yeah. they would be like, well, you workers can kiosk our ass and <laughs> order through the kiosk. Yep, exactly. Yeah, Mega, uh, Mega, well, McDonald's is probably <laughs> like the worst when it comes to fast food. But I've actually read that there is some fast food places that are obviously healthier than McDonald's. Like yeah. Taco Bell, for example, because you're actually getting uh, real, like, fresh veggies and also, like, the... the uh, like the corn tortilla shells are like healthier for you as well. So <laughs> there is there is some uh, bit of have healthiness that can be found in some Taco Bell food. Be better than, than McDonald's, McDonald's, that's for sure. Hardee's could be better too. You can order it without the bun and it's just lettuce wrapped. <laughs> well, well is, is Spring Man Hardy? We'll find out. Oh. We use a slash claw here. Ouch. All right, Dale. Hey, Hardee's has some great sandwiches. Though. Good lord. <laughs> the, the, the Hardy Boys? No. The, the Hardy Boys. I'm using, Bro, this, you roll. <laughs> no, I'm using the slash power here, or whatever it's called. Grizzly slash. Oh, you mean the bitch slap? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, robotic dousing. Uh oh, ouch. Watch out. <laughs> And boom. You just neutered him. I just <laughs> right. saw what the last hit was. Yeah. You just slashed his dick off. That's what he said as you got 
New power. Yep. Bloop, 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 bloop. A purple power. It's Dr. Cloudface. The water coil launches one coil forward and one coil backward, right? Forward and back. Oh god, not that again. Yes, Memories of Final Fantasy XI. Stop asking me questions every time you get a weapon. You ever did this back in the day? <laughs> Thank you, Alex Jones, as Mega Man gets wild coil. We're going wild in the streets. <laughs> uh, right, yeah. Thank you, Gen 2, for joining us once again. Hey, where did my Doritos go? Oh, my bad. All right, oh, guys. Man. See you later. God bless. Take care. Peace. Space Chicken, we'll see you next time. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Mega Man 7. This is Ron Moore, along with Ravenous Spectre. Greetings and salutations to you all once again, and it's me, the Ravenous Spectre. And right now, I want to take on Dracula Man. Dracula Man? There was actually a guy named Dracula Man. <laughs> in, in Mega Man. That's funny considering the fact that the new Castlevania anime came out today. Right, yeah. That's so funny. And. Wait, I can't move. Oh. Oh, I guess we have to see the moon first before we can move. What the heck? I reckon we'll see Trevor Belmont pop up at some point here. I just, imagine that. A Trevor, Trevor Belmont, like, cyborg dude. Right, yeah. Like, robot thing, like what Mega Man is. Yeah. Man. Whoa, Coffin Man. Coffin Man. Better get him some Ricola. Yeah. <laughs> Coffin bad. Man. What would he look like? The Undertaker? Probably. Well, the these. Ministry of Darkness. These heads fall off the knights here. Oh, yeah, there's another one. I guess he's my knight in shining armor. <laughs> the headless knightsman. <laughs> this emo toucan Sam. Get out of here. You can't follow his nose to any type of fruit loops. Right, yeah. They just follow to death and destruction. Yeah. Dang, it always gets me. Watch out. Bro, I'll push you in the mouth. Right now, in the beak. There's those Mega Man bats, Mega Man 2 bats. This is the stage that they belong in. That makes sense. Why are there so many bats in games? <laughs> oh, we got... <laughs> We got the uh, Wampa's uh, cousin right there, those little smushy thingies like the Super Mario Brothers. Whoa, Pumpkin Man, what the heck? <laughs> uh, what the heck is it shooting at me? Green jelly beans or pumpkin seeds? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was like robotic pumpkin seeds. Yeah. Or out of date Halloween candy. Right. Jelly beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. With razor blades in them. And oh, arsenic. I'm trapped. Oh, jeez. Oh, got him. That was good. I hope I got him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, cool. I, I, I ended faster than I thought that it would. Yeah. Oh, Sniper Joe. Oh, that was just a mini boss. Yeah, that was just a mini boss. Yeah, that, no, that wasn't Shade Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's, uh, this stage is shady. Indeed. Look at all that darkness. Yeah. <laughs> now, Undertaker Man, Paul Bear's the mini boss. <laughs> Riding around in his massive uh, Halloween pumpkin, like Dr. Robotnik and Eggman with his little uh, flying ship thingy. Yeah. What is this? I don't remember. Oh, wait, that's from uh, the last boss I beat. Spring Man. What the heck is going on here? I can't see. What is... Oh. Oh, jeez. You did say the level was shady, but uh, the piss. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let me use a Thunderbolt here. To... Ah, okay. There we go. Oh, that works. Now this stage reminds me of Ninja Gaiden, what, 2? The lightning stage where you have to let it lightning first in order to see where you're going? You could have just used the lightning on that bat. Oh, yeah, I could. But I'm, so I guess I'm... I don't know. I guess I was thinking just only use it for a light only. I guess didn't want to waste it, even though I'm not sure if I'm going to need it anymore in the stage. I'm pretty sure I used the 
Spring Man's weapon, or whatever it's called, on Shade Man. Because I was wondering about that. I was like, isn't there some way to like quick select your weapons instead of having to go back and forth in the menu? Yeah, there is. But man, I I'm not used to doing that, and I might I don't identify the weapon icons in the top left. I'm so used to the old school way of doing it. In Mega Man X, I did the same thing, push start and select it, because I couldn't figure out, is this the right weapon? No, is that one? No, that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of these somewhere. Yep. And I do feel like I'm playing Castlevania a little bit here, the Tower of Pisa from Castlevania Bloodlines here. Tower of Pisa. Oh, that was oh, pizza. Pizza. Man, why the... Robotics on this. Oh, what the energy and the bolts and see they fall through the ground. Why they fall through the ground? Uh, the, the elevator floor. Now on the elevator so I can get them. That sucks. And give me some energy instead of all these bolts. Jeez. Oh, old school. Oh, am I in church now? Oh, oh, in a castle. You have, you have entered Symphony of the Night on PS1. Whoa, ba <laughs> base. It's so stupid you'll be defeated so easily. Maybe I should give up and lead Wiley to you. Yeah, that's right. No! no we are a team! Dr. Wiley will be glad to fix you up! Right. <laughs> Thanks. Glad that I had a friend like you. I didn't even know that him and him and uh, Bass or Bass or whatever. Ass, yeah, buddies. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Ass, yeah. <laughs> hey, Ass! Yeah. The buddies. Ass, ass a, buddies. Ass of Bass. Yeah, exactly. Kick his ass, Seabass. Kick his ass, Seabass. Yep. All right, here we go. Against the Shade Man. Or is it Alucard? Is Alucard in that Eric battle suit? All right. Ah. Uh, oh no. Ah. Uh, it's like sucking the blood. The blood. Sucking the life out of. Mega Man, and it adds it to his own. Check him the oil out of him. <laughs> yeah, well, that sucks. Indeed. I need to refill my energy tank. No, you idiot. Hit next and go to the next screen. Idiot. And then, there you go. That works. Use the W coil. Oh, man, how you get away from that? Jeez. It, <coughs> the NWO coil. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, got him right there. Wouldn't that be funny if it was just like a weapon that just constantly did that in the Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then use like sound waves to be able to attack your enemies and attack the bosses. And yeah. just play that with sound waves. Oh, got him. Hey, you know what? I forgot. I can actually fully charge these weapons. <laughs> Idiot. Sweet. So what do I got now? Dracula's Power or uh, Simon's Quest or Dracula's Curse? There's Dr. Cloudface. The Merge Quest generates a powerful sound wave, doesn't it? <laughs> Dr. Cloud, you didn't give me any balls. Yes, you can amplify the wave by absorbing the reflected wave with your body. You get noise crush. Noise crush. What? What does that have to do? With, did he even use anything like that? All he did was just suck my blood. What the? The NWO uh, crush. That was right. My life. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Make me to have blood. Kind of oil, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> whatever he runs on. I don't know. Oil. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, rainbows and sprinkles and sunshine. Yeah. All right. So that's the end of Mega Man 7 Part 8. See you guys in Part 9. Until then, God bless and take care. Peace. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 7 Part 9. This is Ron Moore along with Raven Inspector. Yo! All right. And only one more left. And that's Street Fighter 2 Turbo Man. Turbo Man. Man, why not Tire Man? No, no, no. <laughs> so does he have like Street Fighter, maybe like Street Fighter esque moves or something? Considering he's Turbo, you know, like Street Fighter Two Turbo. I guess so. <laughs> All right. You like a Street Fighter kind of power? Whoa! What? What the heck?
Let me move. Stupid game. That doesn't look safe. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I guess they better run and get away from him. Kind of reminds me of that scene out of Roger Rabbit where uh, the dude got ran over by the, with the uh, steamroller. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. No. Yeah, oh, oh, what? Man. Cheap. Oh, shoot. He's backing up. What'd you say? Oh, no, no, nothing. That's all I'm saying. No, I was talking about him. He's like, what'd you say? Like, backing up, trying to run over. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> As I fight the evil VLC media players. Man, VLC doesn't work for me. I've tried, like, a few, like, numerous times trying to get the daggum thing to work for me, and it never does. I just set the heck with it. Yeah, this is my chance to get even with him. Boom. Yeah. Him. Whoa. All right, be careful. Oh, better made that. No. What? Oh, man. What the? Oh, jeez, really? <laughs> Down his way back. Man, I destroyed him. <laughs> well, typical Mega Man games back then, like you had to fight these kind of mini, super mini, mini bosses twice. Or whatever they are, mini me's. Before you get to the Mega Mega boss. Yeah. Ah, VLC media players again. Dang it. Alright, I find this le this level tiresome. <laughs> but I'm dumb, Tiss. Dang it, I am tired of Sniper Joe. Music's alright. Indeed. Is it double? Oh, what? Man, that's it. I retire. <laughs> you definitely retired there. Right, right. Holy yeah. crap, you gotta start back over again? That blows yeah. donkey schlong. You know, you know what, Jim? I find you tiresome. <laughs> so it's just like Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to destroy the douche. What is yeah, dude, it's like, it's like I mentioned before uh, when I commented on your Spyro commentary. I was like, dang, I didn't know they were doing like Spyro. I hadn't really played a lot of Spyro, but I'm kind of hoping maybe there'll be a remaster or something that comes out for it. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously I'm a big PlayStation guy, so I definitely would like to be in commentary when dealing with the uh, old Sony. Well, too bad. Anyway, moving on. No, <laughs> He's like, your opinion means nothing. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I got to go through these VLC media players. Oh, I forgot about Dang it. Holy shnikes. I forgot about that, man. Jeez. Yeah, the tractor tires and their big ovalness. Ovalness? Circularness? Jeez, yeah, right? Sick and tired of this. All right. Holy shnikes. How am I going to make this? There we go. Now I'm going to make oh. this. Jeez. Come was on. that like a oh, quick yeah. save or something you did? Yeah, because I got tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, those, my puns are getting tiresome. Indeed. Oh, tires with spikes in them. <laughs> oh, traffic lights now. They're going haywire just like they did in Die Hard 4. Those tires don't seem like they'll be practical in today's usage, or even they would even be street legal. But then again, they would work in a Mad Max X universe. Yeah. Oh, jeez. On oh, this, is this is Flame Man stage now. Ah. Hey, just go, just go, just go. Oh, there we go. All right. Whoa! In the face! What is this? The stage six Contra? Jeez, it's flames, or they remind me of quick beams now for quick man stage. It does like a one hit kill, but I did have half an energy bar, but I'm not sure if that was it or if it was a one hit kill. Sure. Ah! Come on. There Several we go. Don't know nice. when they're going to kick in. Right, there we go. Oh, oh, look out. Holy snakes! Ah, I missed the E tank. All right. Danger. Danger. Mother trucker. <laughs> yep, that's one big mother, and I bet it's got a trucker. Yep. Well, it is a truck, so. Yeah. The king, king the road match now between Dustin Rhodes and Black, Black Tall Bully. <laughs> 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 oh, jeez. 
<laughs> Wait, how do you... How do you freaking hit him? Where else do you hit it at? Jeez, man. Well, this is... Okay, I don't know what to do here. Oh, jeez. Really? If you can't hit in his eye, where else can you hit it? Man, fire truck and... <laughs> right, oh, my here. gosh, not this again. Yeah, oh, you finally got the extra life. Yep, and yes, the E-Tank. Yes. So what you got to do is use the uh, oh, wow. electric shock, or whatever it was called, so it shoots in his mouth. Well, I guess it's hitting his mouth or in his eye. I, I don't. This is what I <laughs> had to look up on YouTube, like, because I didn't know what the heck to do. Electrocuted in his face hole. Yep. Yeah, it's your opponent right here in a minute. Yeah, that's right. Stupid truck. Brush your teeth. <laughs> What's left of him? Fix your grill. Yeah. That early. I was all up in his grill. Yep. Now, what does sure. that mean? In the chat log, you said, I want to be all up in your grill. What do you mean by that, sir? <laughs> 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 okay, using the noise C. Use the noise C weapon here against Street Fighter 2 Turbo Man. Yeah, exactly. It's just to do some Hadoukens and some, some uh, yeah. whatever else other sounds Street Fighter 2 fighters make. Yeah. Oh, dang it, get your timing right. Like the timing's hard to predict right here. Ah, oh, come on. Jeez. Well dang, what's the timing? Like, man. It's unpredictable timing right there. Alright, round two. Okay, I think Ronnie goes, we gotta jump real quick. Seems like it. Oh, Barry made that. <laughs> Jeez, jump, you idiot! There we go. Ah, one more hit. Here we go. Booyah! You win! Imperfect. <laughs> That's puffy cloud face, man. Yeah. Yes, and the wheel may also. Will Gator? You got Will Gator's weapon? Did you know they had a promotion back then? Will Gator Will Gatorade for Mega Man 2 promotion? Really? No. All right, you oh, got Scorch, okay. Scorch Wheel. Oh, okay. All right, and. Whoa! Dang, Mega Man, you leave for one second and everything goes to hell. <laughs> kind of be interesting if Gatorade did have something to do with Mega Man. Because the Gatorade would be blue, but you'd have like the whole E thing on the yeah. on the uh, the bottle there. I mean, it's interesting because since Gatorade kind of gives you quote unquote energy to restore and replenish electrolytes, it'd be funny if uh, they had something like that dealing with Mega Man. Although I could probably only see something like that happening in Japan. Yeah. Uh oh. It's Dr. Wowie. What? Yeah, you stupid idiot. What, oh, you son of a... I'll make you pay, Wiley! Man, I wouldn't want someone coming after me with that kind of voice. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's you're gonna pay, Wiley. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead. Sounds just, sounds just like Jim Cornette. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mega Man and Cornette having an argument over a podcast. 
Oh, that'd be hilarious. Yeah. All right, so that is the end of Let's Play Mega Man 7 Part 9. I guess in Part 10, Dr. Wally's Castle. Dr. Wally's Castle's next? I guess we'll find out. Until then, God bless and take care. Peace. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 7 Part 10. This is Ron Moore along with Raven Inspector. Greetings and salutations, all you taters. Yeah, don't be a tater hater. That's right. Now, we are in Skull Castle to face, don't, we're not face Dr. Wally quite yet, but we defeated all the eight Robot Masters, and now we're at the Skull Castle. Skull Castle. Hmm. Isn't this where you have to fight each one of the bosses before you actually get to them? Yeah, they usually do that in Mega Man games. I'm sure they do it here, too. Yeah, no doubt about it. I always hated that in games, man, how it's like, yeah, well, here you are, you already defeated these bosses, but we're going to have you fight them all again in a gauntlet-style battle, and I'm just like, oh, crap. Yeah, I hated <laughs> that. I'm like, really? Like, is that necessary? Yeah. That's that's the day, that's the days when you actually were glad that they had uh, Code Breaker and Game Shark and Game Genie and things like that, so you could just be invincible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this... Oh, what the heck? Why'd it go dark? Whoa. Wait, what? So you step on those platforms, it gets dark? That's kind of whack. What's this, Dark Man stage? <laughs> it might be. You probably have to face, the, it might be the first one you have to face. Yeah. Oh, well, I could use Thunderbolt, but no, I could just, oh, oh come on, landed on that, man, you gotta be kidding. I just uh, keep jumping up and down, up and down to see where everything's at. Yeah, I won't have to waste Thunderbolt. Th Thunderbolt Patterson. <laughs> Thunderbolt Patterson. Thunderbolt Patterson team and Pat Patterson team up the Pattersons. <laughs> Speaking of Thunderbolt Patterson, uh, I believe actually my uh, girlfriend's dad ended up meeting him because I believe he got his autograph because um, he actually has a couple autographs from a few different wrestlers. He also took some pictures with Lex Luger and he has like a couple championship belts. He's a really big wrestling fan, and I saw that he had like a. A signed picture of Thunderbolt Patterson hanging on his wall at the shop that he works at. Oh, cool. Oh, it's it's the same wrestler I'm thinking of. Dang it. So, oh, oh, that was stupid. I was trying to avoid the spike tire and I found the spikes anyway. Got him right in the toe and he exploded. So, that part, everywhere you step on, it gets dark? Jeez. That blows. Look at the background. It kind of reminds me of Sigma, Sigma, Sigma's Fortress a little bit. Yeah. And the color scheme in this. Castle kind of does remind me of a bit of Sigma's Fortress. This stage has a cool track. I hate those things. Those things where I think Mega Man 2 or some of the older Mega Man games will pop up from the pit and get you. Mm. Uh, making a big return in this one. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, a little bit too, uh, too early. <laughs> yeah, I like to hear a power metal uh, ballad of this. <laughs> yeah, power metal gamers on YouTube. Indeed. I'm pretty sure you can do it with flying colors. <laughs> yeah, that's one bad egg. Yep, definitely is. Eggman. Oh, wait, that's the Sonic, I guess. <laughs> uh, here are two of my biggest fans. <laughs> I remember freaking Johnny Swinger in ECW. He was standing in front of a fan that was on. and had on full power. And Simon Diamond goes, what are you doing? Can't you see one of my biggest fans is blowing me? I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, crap. That's awesome. So what to use? Yeah, Rush Coil to get over there. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Robotic Scooby-Doo. Uh, more of these platforms. Jeez. No, flipping around. I'm about to flip. Mm. Oh, jeez. Plus, it gets dark. Dang, Capcom had a dark sense of humor right here. It's one thing if you happen to go and just ride them across in the dark, but knowing they flip around like that, that makes it even more challenging. Yeah. Reminds me of Bright Man stage. No, have you played Mega Man 4? Uh, no. All right. Oh, uh, what? Man, how, how, how am I supposed to jump the screen 
the, the roof or an invisible roof that you, uh, knocking me off right there. I can't jump high enough to jump over that gap. Yeah, Mega Man 4. Mega Man 4 is a bright man stage and things get dark there. Yeah, it's a cool stage. and uh, But this one, I guess, pretty much took a page out of Bright Man stage, uh, Bright Man's book. And what a bright idea to put this in this game. Yeah, I honestly have never uh, played much of the Mega Man games. I've played very little of them. And what little I have played of them, knowing how it seemed, how challenging they were, the challenge just kind of just threw me off and I just couldn't get into them. Um, but knowing that uh, I believe Mega Man 10 or something is actually going to be on uh, the NES Classic, uh, NES Classic, SES Classic, uh, yeah. I, I believe I'm going to give it more of a shot and we'll see how it goes for me. I don't know if they're going to include one Mega Man game on there or two. I'm not really sure. Yeah. And I'm an idiot. I could have just used Rush Coil right here this entire time for this part. Dumbass. <laughs> Wait for some new uh, people post new comments. You're a noob. Get good. Get yeah. good. <laughs> That's where you come in and say, "F you." Yeah, exactly. He don't need to get good. He's just playing because he feels like it. He's not yeah. trying to impress you. <laughs> it's about us having different skill levels and different lives. It's not just about get good. Shrug your shoulders with a funny look on your face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly how I see people like that. They just they just freaking stupid. Freaking just, condescending. I, just, I had to deal with one of those people in William Graham's group a while back when I was failing at Mario sixty four. Man, this is easy, fool. What's wrong with you, fool? And like basically saying, get good, kid. Yeah, exactly. I say, no, it'd be easy if you shut up. <laughs> well, hopefully, we have better luck this time at this stage. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. And see, I don't uh, see. I don't have the uh, rush jet here. I didn't collect it earlier, so jeez, I'm gonna have to figure this out. What would be really cool is if you had some type of power or something that would just light up, uh, like put a spotlight over you or something, give you a little bit more. And see, how am I supposed to get past that part where there's no room for me to jump up over that gap? Yes. Uh, anybody in the chat room? Oh wait, this ain't this ain't live. Dang it! Yeah. We're doing it live. <laughs> We're doing it live. It's 2K Live. Big Man Seven. <laughs> People come to the chat room. Do this, you idiot! Do that, you yeah. noob! Get yeah. you! <laughs> I should make you a moderator. If anybody comes in the chat saying that you're the get good poner, you pony anybody that says get good. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> instead, instead of the band hammer, you give the band finger. <laughs> the band thing, yeah. I've never actually been a moderator in one of those chat rooms before, so I don't know exactly how how that would work. How, oh, it's how easy. Yeah, really. Just right click on their name and click ban. Okay, that works. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Okay, I'll just rush through this. Hey, yeah, that works. Yeah, so I got, now I got all the items. You can get, you can go online and look for a password generator for these Mega Man games and get any password you want nice so now I got all the power-ups oh it just keeps freaking spinning that is such BS yeah oh, this is, yeah such a pain if you watched, I forgot what part it was I think it was Viper and Jeff in the part with me I, I, the way I died one of the stages I, I forgot the robot master's name but it was funny it's like an elevator thing and you got to use a thunderbolt to power the elevator and I got crushed when I, it took me up to the ceiling I was like oops uh. All right, now I'm fighting bass or bass for the second time here. Maybe bass or bass, yeah. Maybe this guy will shut up here. Boss. I still like how Mega Man 8, Mega Man goes, bass, we don't have to fight, and they interrupt him. So he goes like, bass, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mega Man wins round one. All right, so the stage is still not over yet. Jeez. Excellent. Mega Man, I guess there's a fan on his back. Look at all that. I got everything now. <laughs> Alright, so who are we fighting here? Well, let's see if I've got the guts. Guts Man reincarnated. Wow. Fighting Guts Man again in Mega Man 1, and then Mega Man 2, you fought him as a giant guts dozer. And then now here. Actually, you fought him again in part. Uh. 
No, you don't. Never mind. I'm thinking Mega Man 3D fight the enemies in part 2 again. It takes a lot of guts to beat him. So, the ceiling's coming down. So, if it came all the way down, wouldn't they end up killing him first, knowing he's, just, he's taller? <laughs> right, yeah. Good point. I guess it's a suicide pact thing. Like, yeah, I'll die, but you'll die with me. <laughs> right, yeah. If I'm going down, you're going down with my... You're going down. You're going down. Girl, <laughs> yeah. River Plunge. <laughs> yeah. You're going down with my... With my, with May Young? Oh, ooh. And give birth to another hand. <laughs> well, give her a hand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I think Cl Clarence Boddicker from Robocop would love to have been there for that. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell, you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what I buy for a dollar, and the, ne the next part, that's a failed segue, uh, we'll see you guys in part 11 with more Dr. Wally Castle action. Until then, God bless, take care. Adios. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man 7, part 11. This is Ron Moore along with Raven Inspector. What's happening, people? Part 7 -11. wait. Ah, gotta love the slushies for the slushies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whatever. Dang it, we should have done this on July 11th. No, not really. Um. All uh, right, Doctor Wally, stage two. Man, this ain't Doctor Wally music. Oh wait, no, this ain't Mega Man two. This is a little. I got a shield on his back. What's up with that? That's uh, his Captain America shield. Oh really? <laughs> is that like? Is that like a, a power that you end up getting from one of the bosses, or was it just an item that you picked up somewhere? I think it's an item you pick up somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to use... I kind of had to use ECW mode here, because I got tired <laughs> of losing. So is it kind of like uh, when you also got... What's his name? Zero the dog, or whatever the dog... Rush? The dog? Right, Rush, yeah. Last time? Oh, okay. Yeah, what's up, Joe? I got a shield too. Now you ain't the only one that got a shield. <laughs> yeah, what? Hmm. <laughs> That's like mega cheating 101 right there, no, obviously. Yeah. Mega Man's gonna let that slide right into base. Round two. Yeah, here we go again. Base and Mega Man, round two. Oh, Treble now is gonna interfere. And we just fight him earlier. Like yeah. yesterday. <laughs> yeah, the first Dr. Wally stage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I got Rush. Now what? Oh. <laughs> master versus Master and Dog versus Dog. Yeah. Oh, this is a better fight right here. Pwned. Well, that was a short-lived match. Hey, yeah. It's like one of Brock Lesnar's recent matches. <laughs> the shortest piss and not as entertaining. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's conveyor belt platforms here. Well, at least it's not getting dark. Oh, man, not these again. Feels like I'm in Flame Man stage or a Fireman stage from Mega Man One. Or use the the uh, Ice Man's weapon on the flames in Flame Man uh, in Fire Man stage to freeze the flames. Flame Man's in Mega Man Six. Or these Castlevania bats again. 
Yeah, I don't think his music is quite as good as the first Dr. Wally stage music. Yeah, it kind of has a little bit of a repetitive sense to it. Yeah. Although some people would state that uh, some of the Mega Man tracks and some of the soundtracks actually sound pretty awesome. Because um, there's actually been quite a few remixes that I've heard also on um, uh, ocremix.org. I don't know if you've heard of it or not, but it's like yeah. a... Uh, a remix website for different video game music. It's all like, you know, uh, free to, to download and, and listen to and all that. It's all like, I guess it's all like royalty free. Nobody's asking for any money or nothing. They just want to make remixes of their favorite music and, and share them yeah. with people. Yeah, I've heard that site. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Whoa, it is. Turtle Power? <laughs> Not really, but this reminds me of the turtles that you had to deal with in one of the Dr. Wally stage, the first Dr. Wally stage in Mega Man 3. It's definitely not Ninja Turtles, so it's slow tortoise. <laughs> well, that's kind of freaky. It starts popping out little babies right out of his shell. Yeah. Oh, don't hurt the baby turtles. They ain't do nothing to you. Now they'll never go and meet their Papa Rat, become the Teenage Mutant Ninja Robotic Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> they had that one weird looking turtle in Meridia and Super Metroid. Uh, I don't recall. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that a little bit. I kind of remember the turtle from uh, one of the Contra games that has that long bald neck and it fires, I think it fires like fireballs at you and tries to knock you off of different platforms. I think it was in Contra, maybe it was in Hardcore or it was in um, one of the Contra games. I think they also brought it back to it. I think it was also in Shattered Soldier on PS2. Why well, that turtle got pwned? Huzzah! Yeah. Mega yeah. Man lives to fight another day. <laughs> yep, and he would continue his quest in Skull Castle in Part 3. I mean Part 3. Uh, no, Stage 3 in Part 12. Until then, God bless you. Take care. Adios. Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Mega Man 7. This is Ron Moore, along with Raven Spectre and Gentoo. Space Chicken has returned. Greetings and salutations to you all once again. So this is actually the final part. I didn't realize that until I started working on this. I'm going to finish the final two levels here. And as Star Soldier will say, oh yeah, baby, we're at the final level here. Woo! Yeah, so this level should be pretty short. Mega Man with his fan. Special jetpack, jetpack fan, or whatever it is. Oh, the Sniper Joes. Well, I like the uh, that fist that he shoots at, at his enemies. Yeah. Oh man, this part. Jeez. With the hard hats, the me tools. Oh crap! It's kind of like that dark level thing you dealt with before, in a ways. Yeah. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> With a super fist bump. <laughs> Oops, oop, sorry. A projectile bro fist? Yeah. Who was it that projectile vomited against the amazing red? Austin. Austin. Uh, Consequences Creed? Yeah, Austin or Xavier Woods, whatever his name. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. He did some sort of move on him, and then just went. <laughs> yeah. I gotta look that up. I just haven't looked it up yet. It's in TNA. Oh wow. Yeah, like the impact was pretty heavy, and his projectile vomited in the air. <laughs> well, yep, TNA impact. That's why it's called it. That's why it's called impact TNA. Taz. That's why it's called impact. You get so impacted you throw up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not these. They had to bring these back in Mega Man. Jeez. It's the best part of the game. Shoot. Stable. Worst part. Remember Heat Man stage? Jeez. Of course, oh, yeah. a, a skipper say, use the jet ski. Wait, Heat Man had those things? Everyone just used the freaking. Yeah, I know, but if you, did, if, you know, if you didn't know better, <laughs> you would yeah. like, oh, how to get past this? 
Whoa! Is that Dr. Raleigh? Dr. Raleigh. Uh, Pat Raleigh, yeah. Dr. Wally robot? <laughs> For real, it looks like a satanic Dr. Wally robot with Japanese letters in the ears. What the heck? <clears throat> wouldn't say satanic. Hmm. If I knew how to read Japanese, it'd probably say something on there. It's yeah, more than likely. That was easier than it looked. Hey, you use its weakness. I, I, or, man, like, harder. It's actually, like, if you really don't know what to do at first, it's a real pain. Yeah. See, that's in this stage. That was too short. I said, forget Let's just go to the next one. ECW. Now, ECW Castle. Here we go, Skull Castle. Oh. Oh. Man, that's an inside joke, Rabbit Inspector. Uh, Go back and watch. Let's play Batman Part Two. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is the this is the boss rush. Forget it. I'm I'm skipping it. Forget it. Here we go. Now this is after the boss rush. This is go to right at the final battle here. The boss rush. I hate the boss. This is stupid. It's the same thing. Me and Spectre talked about this. You got to fight all the bosses all over again. It's stupid. Yeah, that's one thing about gaming that I cannot stand is having the, oh, wow, we're going to take you to go fight this final boss. But first, you have to go through every other boss that you fought and defeated beforehand. B.S. Right. I think it was like in a Final Fantasy game. Was it Pope? Actually, I think it happened in Final Fantasy IX, as a matter of fact. They were like crystal versions or something before the final boss. I was like, oh. what the piss? I haven't beaten on yet. This is Pinocchio yeah, robot? Either. Okay, you got this big nose robot here shooting Dr. Wally in the face with the the, uh, the thunderbolt. Maybe dead in real life. Just imagine if it was like Final Fantasy XII, you had to beat all the bosses again, including the Azmat. And it'd be like, oh shit. Metal Gear Solid. I'd probably give up. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, oh, like 50 million HP. He killed his own child. That's messed up, man. You don't kill your own child. There actually is a game that where you have to prepare to fight a boss on the, on the P PlayStation Vita that uh, has to deal with you taking down a boss that has, I think, like 50 million HP. But you have to do all this preparation and stuff to be able to finally take him down. Jeez. It's nuts. <sighs> or 50 billion HP, something like that. It's, I think it's 50, I think it was 50 trillion. I think that's what it is. And we saw this coming. This can't be the end of Dr. Wally that easily. It's always the second battle, at least. Okay, this is, uh, I might have seen this, seen this, yeah, I've seen this before on YouTube, that's right, I did see a, a full play of this back in 2008 or 9 with, uh, Clement and Jay, um, he did a full playthrough of all the Mega Man games, uh, and, yeah, I remember this, this, this boss battle right here is real similar to Mega Man 5. Yeah. Good thing Star Soldier's not here. See? This is a stupid thing, I recycle Mega Man 5 garbage, <laughs> I think this one might be slightly harder because the way the it seems like those bullets are kind of unpredictable. I think. Yeah. Use your freeze power. When there's trouble, you call Doctor W. You mean Doctor Light? No, I was making a Dark Ring Duck parody. Oh. So what what happens right there at first before he appears? Looks like his hand, like, I don't know, I guess his hand grabs him and puts him in the air right there. I don't know. Let me fill all of my items here. I love the final... Boss battle music in Mega Man Five. Is this supposed to be the final boss battle here? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But usually, like, because you see on the map, the Skip Rogers Skull Castle map, that you go to the skull, which you would think would be the final area. But remember, though, Mega Man games, there'd be another skull after that, indicating no, this is the final stage. Yeah. But not in this one. That was kind of a letdown. I haven't thought that would happen. Right, one more hit. Oh! He got flamed. 
postponed. Yeah, right. Wait, he can't do that, JR. He can't harm humans. Ah. I wish we had voice acting back then. That would have been nice. <laughs> now, nah, rather not, because Mega Man sounds sissy pod. I am more than a robot. He he can't kill him, Jr. He can't he can't harm uh, humans. He's partially human, damn it. <laughs> He's a partial human being. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on, Jr.? Ah, what, what, ah. <laughs> What's Batista doing here? <laughs> Go over there and help him, Jr. Now wait a minute. What are you doing? He who hesitates is lost. We shall return. That's totally not Pace's voice, but whatever. I'm trying to make it sound douchey. Uh oh, better get out of there. Yeah, that had a nice little beat going to him. Yep. We get Mega Man walking away like a angry child, not getting his way. An eighties, an eighties action film, walking away from a huge explosion. He yeah. just burnt the McDonald's down because they were out of chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> he looks cool though, right here, because he's not looking back at the explosion. Zero exactly. fucks given. Yeah. Well, there's the ending showing up all the robot masters and the designers. Yeah, him walking right here. The ending's not as epic as it was in Mega Man 2. That flame back there was like kind of like a dragon face if you look at it closely enough. Close enough. Yeah. Like, like a dragon heads or something opening his mouth fixing to blast out a, a thing of fire. A yeah. ring of fire! Junk man, jeez. Junk man, he's made out of two balls. More like punk man. Oh, what? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> CM, <laughs> CM Junk. No, they try to yeah. have a new wrestler and, and because of copyright, they use CM Junk. <laughs> he, he shows up in Global Force Wrestling. What's CM Junk doing in the Impact Zone? <laughs> that complete parody of him, that'd be funny. Yeah. First man from Burst into Tears here. Jeez. He explored. Yeah. Do you think it's funny, Butt Hyatt? <laughs> Do you not? Do you or do you not give a rass ass about your companionship for Bavis? Uh, uh no. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have like the entire uh, like series of Beavis and Butthead that came out on DVD. It was like twenty five bucks or something. It has the entire series with the movie and all of the music videos that played during that time too during those episodes. I'm yet to finish it. No, nice. cool. Special designer. Hiroto, uh, Hiroko Saki. No. Kawasaki Hi Ninja. Yeah, Hiroko Saki. Is that Shredder? <laughs> Kenji Ito. Oh, Akiro Inuma. I have no idea who that is. I have no idea who any of these are. <laughs> It's Boner Man. There's your favorite Beavis. Shut up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Quit specking your monkey in the bathroom, Beavis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember <laughs> <laughs> you know that time I'm playing bumper cars? Hey, you got stuck in the corner and everybody was kicking your ass. Shut up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Goku Man or Super Saiyan Goku Man or whatever. Wolverine. Yeah, Wolverine. Yeah. Robo, 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 Green. Yeah. 
Wolver Robo. I can't make a good name out of that. And this indie music's eh. Dracula Man. Robo Batman. Yeah. Batman with a cannon. Yeah. Where's Helper H? Triple H? No, Hamburger <laughs> Helper. Preparation H? No. <laughs> <laughs> what does his finisher move? He goes to TNA. There's the Preparation H! Now, this the Panic here. Turbo Man burns so many rubbers as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah. And you! Oh, wait, Cap, come off, Stab. Well, at least it doesn't say cannot. Yeah. This video has been copywritten by Konami? Yeah. <laughs> that partied by Konami. Or Star Soldier say Konami? That robot. Th and there's Beat. And there's Otto and Eddie. Yeah. Eddie was cool, Mega Man 5. When he gave you the Until EK. he kept giving you... Yeah. Yeah. But it's weapon upgrade, you're like, Fuck you, Eddie. Yeah. So that's the end of Mega Man 7. Now time for the Let's Discuss. So Mega Man 7 just felt blah to me. Very average at best. Don't think it's a bad game. Soundtrack was eh. Uh, overall, I mean, the game the game was eh. Even though it, cool upgrades uh, that you got in the game. And the game was much better when you utilized the full upgrades to the fullest. And yes, but Mega Man 7, I mean, I never played this as a kid. I didn't really play it ever until I was an adult, like years and years later. Um, and yeah, so this game didn't, didn't really do it for me. I mean, I have to give it a, I have to give it a 6 out of 10. Gentoo? Um, I remember getting it at a Blockbuster once. I had a fun time playing it during the weekend. I had it, and it's pretty difficult if it's like your first time playing through it. It's yeah. one of the hard, kind of difficult ones. And I thought it was pretty neat. So I'm going to give it like 8 out of 10. All right, Spectre. Uh, <clears throat> well, from what little I've actually seen of this, um, it seems to me like, well, I, I guess I can't really give it a uh, rating since I've never really played too much of the Mega Man series. But from what little I've seen here, it seems to me like it would probably frustrate me slightly because one of the things that uh, is heralded in the Mega Man series is the difficulty. And, um, yeah, I guess from what I've seen so far, I guess I could probably see myself giving it maybe a five. I'll just throw it out as being average. <laughs> All right. So that is it. We are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. That's a wrap of Spectre. And the space Chicken. Yeah, Lowell's the Space Chicken. Yeah. All right. God bless and take higher. There you go. Biscuits and gravy made me a man. Where's my Doritos? <laughs>